Hey, welcome everybody. It's Prusa Mini Kit time. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting. You know, I got this back on February 23rd. They said it was going to be 16 weeks to wait on it. And it came in 13 weeks. So, woohoo, I got it three weeks early. Yeah, and then once I got a tracking number from them, what was it? Like two days later, I got a FedEx tracking, then bam, two days later, it was here. So once they said they were shipping three or four days later, FedEx brought it to my door, and that's pretty cool. And we're going to unbox it today. I'm going to build it. Out of all my other prior live streams where I built something or installed something, I've done that taped, and then they're edited, of course, or, you know, sped up, whatever. This will be a live build. This will be my first live build on a live stream hangout. And if you would like to drop in and hang out while we're doing this and talk about the proofs that you might own or what you've got, you're very welcome to do so. There's a link in the description. And I've got Liam in the back here. He's going to pop in. He's there somewhere. Pop yourself in, Liam. Hey, Jerry. Hey, how you doing, Liam? Good, good, good. And you? Oh, real good. Yeah, Liam has total control over my stream, so he can completely wreck it if he wants. <laughs> I'm going to change my title to the new and improved, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Matt German, hello. Uh, Kristen Clark, Andrew S., Carl Fenton, uh, Nonfam, uh, Gary T., hello. Uh, and basically, I'm going to start unboxing and working on it. And then when I want to switch cameras, I can pretty much do a close-up view like that. And uh, Liam will talk to people, and I'll hear him, and we'll go from there. And if anybody would like to follow along with this build, I put a link in the description to Pruce's uh, knowledge base, which has, you click on it, it goes straight to this build step-by-step. But let's get to unboxing. And if anybody pops in or wants to join in, Liam can reshare the invite link or just scroll up a little bit in chat and you'll see it. You're welcome to come in and talk about Prusa and what you got going on. So with that being said, let me break out the razor knife and see what we got here. Hey, Gary, how are you? Uh, anybody who's a – oh, more filaments, nice. A full spool. Yeah, um, it was, I think, like $339 or $349 for the kit. $50 more if you wanted to pre-assemble like most people have, where you only put four or five bolts in and then uh, hook up a few wires and you're done. So I figured, okay, fine, I'll get the kit. I'll wait up to 16 weeks, and then I can buy a roll of filament to go with it. So I went ahead and went that route. Oh, you bought the filament yourself? Yeah, well, I bought the filament. Actually, the film and the printer was bought by all you guys. You know, over a period of from December to February, I got donations from the community that bought both of these for me. But that's a real pretty blue. Yeah, I love blue. Yeah, I like, yeah. pretty blue. This will be my first roll of proof of filament I've ever owned. I wonder what, what comes with it in the kit, if any. What's that? I said I wonder what comes with it in the kit. Uh, I don't know. Because... These, uh, these small strands that the companies are sending out with printers today are a waste of time. Oh, yeah. It's only good, for the, it's only good if you have a 3D pen, you know. Yeah, you basically could maybe do a bench with them. That's about it. I don't even think you can do that. I think you might get, you might be lucky to get a calibration cube. So I, I'm going to go through the chat. I'm going to bring up the chat on screen. Is that okay, Gary? What's that? I pop up the chat on screen and see what everyone says. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. You're, oh, you're okay. in charge. Let me scroll back because there's a lot here. So, Nonfam has been around. Hey, Nonfam. Victor. Yeah, he's got. The, he joined the Prusa Club. At the end of the stream, let me show you guys real quick. I'm going to have one giveaway. I'm going to give away one of my 3D HP stickers. I have an extra stick it, sticker from DeWitt Tim in 3D in Canada. He has an awesome channel. Honey Badger over in the UK, I have an extra sticker from him, and then I have an extra 3D printing nerd. So around the end of the stream, we'll do a giveaway through StreamYard, and I'll give all these away to one lucky person. Free shipping worldwide. I pop them in an envelope and mail them out to you right away. Cool. Hey, Kenny. This is the day off playing in the dark. Just to come hang out with us. That's nice, Kenny. There we go. Original Prusa Mini Plus kit, it says on it. Hey, Andrew. Kieran. Hello, Kieran. Carl must be sick of seeing my face because you see me. He, he was on the stream with me already today. <laughs> Aha, we've got airbags. Niagara Falls. Sweet. 
And in the box, what do we got? All kinds of goodies. Let's just unstack everything and then we'll see what's in That brings me back to the old days of when you would actually get a computer, um, a printer delivered as a kit and you spend two hours putting it together because not one thing was attached to the other. And any of you people out there that have the Prusa Mini, please let me know in chat if you're already seeing more boxes than what you had with yours. Because from what I read, this year, this kit is something new. They came out with doing the kit version. And then the one that you probably already have, they jacked the price up on a 50 bucks. And we have yours as well. Nice. got two loose bearings in the box. And a little cap for something. And that's it in the box. Well, Matt, Matt wants to join us. Okay. Hey Matt, how are you? Hey, how are you guys? We're going to see. We're going to see the master builder build the printer. No, I'm not, not a master builder. <laughs> yes, you are. You're building more for longer than I do, so you're a master to me. <laughs> We've got a list of everything that they check out. The materials, nice. Filament sensor, or that's a case for it. it Appear to be three D printed. Yeah, my Prusa, what I had 10 years ago is nothing compared to what I see already. I mean, my Prusa was ready assembled. I only had to put the thing on top. I bought a second hand. That was 10 years ago. And here's what we got for filament. <laughs> got a couple of samples. We've got uh, vanilla white and black, a couple little tiny samples. Hey, Tim, how are you? So, oh, yeah, th those little cool. spools, I do not like those things. I think they're. Oh, oh no, that's yeah. no, that's worth. That's worth <laughs> every, every, every pack. Every pack has one, and <laughs> if Prusa doesn't send you one, they send you two. Oh yeah, not yeah. One in the now you can't say you never got them because otherwise they shipped you too, Jerry. Yeah, it's on video now. You can't say you never got them. Hey, Colorado, how are you? <laughs> You see that, Jerry? Kieran said it just like Naomi Wu. If Jerry can do it, anyone can. Yeah. If I can do it, you can do it too. I think that's the word. How about we rename Jerry to Bob the Builder? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And there's a hole over here. Lots of bearings. The spool holder. Print head. Jerry's gonna, Dan is going to troll. He's going to hang out in the background. He's going to lurk in the background and troll. And then we got spare parts and a diagram of the exact size so you can size them up to see what you're holding in your hand. Print head. More 3D printed parts. Are you going to print the base for it, Jerry, that they announced the day that you saw? Yeah, today? yeah, I have the files. Once this build is done, I'll have to uh, print all that out on this printer, let it print it for itself, and then do another video on it. Jerry, did this stuff there? 15 pan, hot end, everything. What kind of hot end is that on that? The kind of heats up. I don't know what specific kind to print on. <laughs> I'm a cooker. And then we got the heated bed here. You're making us jealous. You're at a cookout. Now we go on to another box. Okay, we got three stepper motors, a lead screw. Or four okay. stepper motors. One has a lead screw built on it. Yeah. So we'll just leave them in the box for now. Let's see. Hey, Luby. Power brick. Nice big power brick. So then got the partially assembly kit. So he, he used four bolts to assemble it. Oh boy, another big giant box of parts. And we got some lube for the bearings right here. X, Y axis bolts. X axis bolts, pulleys, belt.
And whoever thought I could do this in 20 minutes, yeah. <laughs> I don't think Superman could do it in 20 minutes. <laughs> y axis. We're still on mode and parts. Buddy board, they call it. I think you need a second table just to lay out the parts, Jerry. Yeah, I might have to have a table behind that. And here's a box for the control board. And now we're getting an orange part, Jason. Ah, oh, the 3D printed parts. And we got tools. A little wrench, a pair of needle nose pliers, and some Allen keys. And the uh, Y carriage. And that box is done. Okay, now we got more boxes. Of extrusion. <laughs> Two pieces of extrusion. Are they, is it tapped? What? Is the extrusion tapped? Is it fast? Tapped. For the screw, for the bolts. Oh. No. Okay. Rods for the Prusa. Rods for the floor. <laughs> That's what that white cap was in the bottom of the box. That white cap that came off in shipping, and I just tipped it the wrong direction. Stand by, I'll be back on camera in a minute. Okay. If you got a welcome to Team Orange. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what the white cap was for. I tipped. They're, the yeah, they're line. normally taped on over the end. If they're not taped on, that's they always find out. And there's two large uh same trods. Well they might be in now. <laughs> two more small ones. That's that's why there were two small bear uh bearings in the box loose. Makes a total of four little ones. Okay, yeah, for each of the, for your rails, yeah. Okay, so we set a few things out of the way here. Do anybody else in chat have um ha have built a Prusa kit? I want to come in and offer some advice to Jerry as he builds. Yeah, run. Well, the first thing we're going to have to build will be the white carriage, the bed. Yeah, the base, yeah. That's the PEI sheet, lay that out of the way. I think my dog's wondering who am I talking to. So, guys, sound off in the chat. How many of you have Prusas? Anybody? I know Dan has one. Yeah, Dan has a pretty so many. Yeah. Tim does have one too. What? Tim. The only other person I know that was going to order the kit like this was uh, Shane with Pugatech 3D Printing. And I think he wound up canceling his order because he was headed back to America from where he was living. Okay. And he ended up canceling it. Or he would have been doing a live build on it also. And I don't know anybody that I've seen online and all the pla places I've searched. Anybody that got the kit for him like this. Well, if you have a funny and here's that, that, that cap that causes problem. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Jared owns, um, and, and an MK3, the same as, um, and uh, Tim has the, the i3, MK3, and the Mini. So we have a few owners out there. Uh, I personally do not own a, I'm not part of Club Orange. Um, ooh, lots of uh, Prusa owners out there. Cool. Yeah, I don't have a Prusa. I have a mixture of everything else, though. Aha, we've got stickers. Cool. <laughs> With Joe's face on it. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Very nice. Stickers. Love stickers. Remember years ago, I put bumper stickers on my cars and trucks. That was back in the day. I don't won't do it now. I've never done that. Some people say to put down the value of the car. Ah, they can they can be washed off. Hot water will wash it. We'll, we'll get them off. But raise the blade. Yeah. Now most people get it pre-assembled because the fifty bucks saves you having to deal with the kit, but the, and you get it delivered faster. 
Oh, I see. And simply mantle that way, and then you flip it over to the 3D printing handbook. So oh, nice. and then I have the PDF online. So you'll get That's me a mini. Cool. Okay, everybody, you've all heard it. Dan is going to get me a, a Prusa mini. Me too, please. <laughs> <laughs> and here's all the parts in this mini kit. That's a lot. I yeah. saying, I remember, it reminds you of the old days where it came in individual pieces and you, and it, they weren't as nicely bagged and you had to dig through parts to figure out what went where. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, now that I think about it, should I spend 50 more bucks and got it in four weeks? Probably, but I didn't. So. <laughs> but here it is. So. All right, Tim. Take care. Or the U.S. says you have now have more stickers to give away. Yeah, yeah. Let me take a break for a quick second and uh, sure. Let me pull that up on screen. I'm looking like eight foot away at my monitor here. Oh, you bring up the instructions. Yeah, I know. I gotta work on the y-axis first. Let me hit the next. Yeah, the Y carriage part, parts. So I got to grab the, three of the bearings, three of the brackets, and the bolts and nuts. Okay. Yeah, he has it on the, on the screen is what he's using. Yeah, I'm looking way over there at one of my monitors, and I'm Liam is there, and, you know, anyway. And I got chat really big over here on one side. So. <laughs> All right, Colorado, take care. People are just popping in to say good luck to you and some of them have to leave. Well, take care. Thanks for stopping by. And once this live stream is over today, however many hours it last, two between two and four, I like my normal hangouts, I'm going to uh, edit this video down and have, you know, condense it into like 20 minutes where it just has about the build itself. Okay, okay Y-axis here, the bags have Y-axis on it. Okay, them are the brackets, all right. Yeah, um, Liam Astro Printer, did you have a, did you have a build this morning, a uh, resin yes. printer or something? I had a build this morning of the of a kind of unknown printer right now because it's brand new. It's the Seed Maker. It's a 4K resin from Seed Maker. They're a new company. Um, and that went really well. Um, and I'm actually running another print on it as we speak to do another test on it before I decide to go and do a, a large um, build on the resin. But it's a nice printer. The first one I got was all in pieces. It was uh, smashed up in, uh, in route, so, and I thank DHL for that. But the, the second one arrived in a wooden crate to make sure it wouldn't get damaged. And that's a good point, actually. Everybody should hit this, the like button out there. Those thumbs up really promote the channel. And Jerry is trying to hit them um, 2,500. Uh, he, he's going to do a giveaway when he reaches 2,500. Um, he's also, um, also also remember to subscribe to his channel, okay, guys? So those thumbs I'm up at, and hit subscribe. I'm at 2,411 right now on subs. Oh, you're very, very close. Yeah, I've got a lot of companies and people that are donating to my giveaway. So as soon as I hit 2,500, I'll get it scheduled. Ruby, everything's going well at the moment. Thank you. Yeah, so those who are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, please, and, hit, and ding that bell when you because you know when Jerry goes live, he does hangouts, and he does builds, and he does videos, and he does reviews of products, and so on. So it's a good channel to follow. And if you're not already a member, go over and join the 3D paint, Printing and Painting uh, user group as well on, on Facebook. Trying to figure out which one of these bolts. Well, it's a different style of bolt than what they got in the picture. Well, they call them screws. I call them bolts. They're showing a round head, 6 in 3 by 10s and I've got a socket head, basically. It's different. Is there any round heads in the kit anywhere? No, in the one packet that there's not. Okay, I gotta lube the bearings. Let me find the grease, which is right here. Yeah, there's a screw on lid as well. Okay, you got it there. What's that? 
I said there's a screw on lid as well to the, for yeah, I got, plug got it that, easy. Got yeah. right here. I'm gonna pop this up to help to help for the help of the stream. You can actually do one time donations to Jerry to Jerry's channel if you want to through PayPal. So let, let's see what else is going on out there. Who else is chatting? Let me turn that off and go back to our chat. Let's say Nice piece of crucial kits is those labels and each bag showing the important parts of scale. Yeah, I, that is a good idea, actually. Yeah, exactly. I wish other the, 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 the labels in each kit to show the parts to scale. And they say once you put this in, you turn it to lock it and then and squeeze carefully. Oh, that's to, to force it into the, into the bearings. That way it lines up with the ball bearings in there. Yeah. And squeeze it until you see it coming out a little bit. That's a little bit too much of to wipe off that excess. Well, you can do that after you put it on. To, uh, after you put it on, you just clean off around it once you run it through. Because you want to run it through on the slide a few times, because some of it will get deposited on the the rails anyway. Jerry, move into frame. Jerry's actually on um, on close-up camera, so we can all see what he's working on. What's that? I said Dan is saying you should move into frame, but you're on close-up trying to show everyone what you're working on. Yeah, I can do it like this, but you guys can't really tell what I'm messing with unless yeah. you just want to look at my all these models behind me. I can switch it back and forth. Okay, we've got one to go there. I think Dan just misses your face is all of this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just guessing, I'm looking at the paperwork. That's how that's going to go. Let's see what you have. I am printing a test part on my the new resin that I'm testing out. And after that, I will then go into um, printing the, the tracks for my droid build. Because I got my TPU today, and I've been drying the TPU, getting ready for uh, printing. It's been a long time since I put together a printer as a kit like this. If anybody wants to come in and hang out, hang out and chat, you're welcome to do so. Yeah, guys, if you want. The link is there. If you don't already have it, I can paste it in. Just let me paste it for everybody. It should already be in chat, but here it is again. You can click on that link, come in and join the conversation if you wish. Um, I'm, the, I'm building the the BR uh, for you for you. I'm and that's the one I'm printing right now. I like to, I shorten it to the drink droid, where the back of it opens up and you have two cans inside in this. So. The part, they're all the printed parts other than the tracks are done. And then beyond that, um, I have some of the electronics. Some of them would be here for Wednesday. So I'll start working on electronics then. But I am I did some sanding today of the, of the body work. And I'm going to um, I'm going to prime it tomorrow. Yeah, or BR to you. That's a correct. Thanks, Gary. And I will um, get it ready uh, for painting after that. Okay, it takes dialogue nuts. Okay, I'm wondering what my problem was here. Hey, Big Mike, how are you? Chris, how are you? Hey, Mike, Chris. I think we have the usual suspects. Because half the guys that are here were on mine this morning as well, Jerry. Okay. Well, new people are always welcome. Yeah. So yeah, so what are, what's everyone else working on now? If you anyone wants to come in and chat, you're willing to do so. I know Matt's in the background. I can see him there, and he's yeah. I'm doing some maintenance on my crypto. Oh, okay. Um, Did you get him working yet? 
yes, I got one working. Was it what I said it was? Uh, yes and no. Yes and no, okay. Uh, yes, uh, one printer, yes, one hey, printer, Jason. no. Hey, Jason. Okay. I think hey, we, Jason. Got a, we got oh, you yeah. printed away there. How's life, Jason? Oh, hold on. Dark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Gary T is doing the egg bot. I got one of the wrong screws in the hole. I'm trying to get it out. There we go. So what year did everyone started 3D printing and what printer? Oh. Um, I'm trying to remember what my first printer was. I've been through so many, I can't remember what my first printer was anymore. It's been a while. Mine was a CR-10. I had C I had my I think my first CR printer was a CR10 Mini. My Ender 3 V2 I sold that other day to cool you know, lady That's one down bought it. That's one down and two was it two or three more to go? Uh, you have the electronics are actually documented in the in the guides on how to build the printer. Uh, build it, so it's not that hard. It is, it's step by step, and we have a group called I'd rather be 3D printing. And you can, in that group, all of the guys who are in that group um, have built droids already, and they're there to give advice. So you don't have to be worried about building it. These screws are too small. It has me under three. Cool. A and A eight. That's probably. I think. I think my first one was an A net. Evening. Hey Sam. How's life? Hey Sam. Hey Sam, how you doing? It's late over there. It's what, eleven thirty at night now? Yeah, it is. Xbox kiss. Is Matt it's stuck or is he frozen? No, Matt is busy doing maintenance on the printer oh, in the background. Okay. <laughs> hey Risen Phoenix, how are you? Printing a Super Bowl trophy for a friend. Nice. I can't remember the name of, of the first printer I built. It was. I think mine was one of the ANS, but I can't remember. I think it was. It's been so long. Well, mine was wood, made of wood. So it was it was like a red stop, rep, rep start, red rep start, rep. I can't remember. It was garbage. Mostly because I made it of wood, but <laughs> those you know. yeah, those printers were those ones with the wooden frames weren't great anyway. No, well that was that was before we had you know shops on the internet and stuff. You had to go to Home Depot to buy most of the crap, if not all of it. You know, yeah, it was not a good time. <laughs> well, Thomas, but it was fun. Yeah, just seeing the printer ten years ago. Yes, um, I know um, um, Matt's first printer was 12 months ago, or a year and a half ago, wasn't it? Uh, 14 months ago. I 14 bought, months. Uh, yeah, I bought my G-Tex. But 10 years ago, I had a Prusa and another one. I don't know which one it was. Mm. And uh, sadly, I, I went on holiday and it got nicked. I don't know if Bruce was around that long ago, was it? Huh. Yeah, like nine years ago, maybe? Free I don't know. Food. It's it, it's quite a long time ago. Oh, replacing okay. a fried E3 board. What are you replacing it with, Jeff? My Xbox uses threaded rods from Home Depot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> been there, been there, done that. Not a good time. <laughs> Yeah, those, um, it's going to be the ugliest trophies I'm, as I'm using up all my rolls of filament. Oh, so it's going to be multicolored. That's what you, that's what paint is for, right? <laughs> I had the last of my stuff coming in for my dry, my, my, my electronics are coming in Wednesday mm. for the, um, so I'll start working on, I, I did a bit of sanding on the body work today. So I'm going to get the rest of it done in the next, um, I guess I'll get a, a prime probably tomorrow morning and then sand it someday next week. And by the time the stuff comes in, 
I'll be ready to do the final paintwork and get it out the door. Nice. Yeah, mine's sitting there ish. Yeah. I had uh I finished up the wiring and then went to paint it and I um I gave in on the color choice to my wife and after I saw it she was voted off the island so we're going to oh. change the colors. <laughs> yeah. Well, how you doing? Hey. Hey, Kieran. You're you're you cannot hear you, Kieran. Your you your mic is muted. How's that? Now there you go. You. So what do you do? Turn it off and on again? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, basically, we're not doubt. We're not doubt. That's the one. That's the one. Always works. Yeah, but then um, the uh, my son wants it um, white with red highlights, red, red colors on it to highlight it. So. Um, even though it's already white, I'm sanding it and I'm going to prime it, so I'm going to still have to paint white anyway. Mm. So I'm going to I'll do it white, and then I'm actually thinking of doing the head silver. Okay. So just to be different. Just all silver, or you got some? No, I'll put other colors, colors in there, but I'll do it mostly silver, like okay. the, like an R two D two head. Like an R two. That's cool. Yeah. What which um which droid body and head are you using? I'm doing the R five. Okay, J Jerry. Before what? you tighten your bearings in, make sure they're aligned correctly. They have the ball bearings showing two rows at the bottom, not one dead centre in the bottom. To make yeah, the lows at the bottom, not directly straight down. Yeah, correct, correct. Yeah, like yeah, a wide. That's the, that's yeah, the one. Put my third one in. Yeah, that's that's because uh, you don't want to load be, um uh, load test the bearings on one spot otherwise. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to look at them when I put them in the bracket to see where the bearings were. There should be three rows, correct? Yeah, so therefore on the bottom there should be two rows, left and right, bottom, left, bottom, right. So that it sits on two rows, not one. When the when it's sitting there on the weight. You built the kit? Here. No, no, I, I, I watched I watched the video and I've gone through the manual. It's one of those things in the back burner and the, and bearings the, the bearings are very crucial to make sure they slide freely and you don't want them sitting on one row. You want to spread the load and you on your load carrying for bearings. I thought it might have been four rows, but it's only got three rows of bearings in it. So you want it bottom left, bottom right. Yeah. If you uh, you have if you buy it as a um, mostly assembled, I think it's about four parts, and you stick those four parts together with a few bolts, connect a few cables, and you're done. Yeah, 3D printing nerd did it with um, Richard Harris, um, and that was a funny sh stream watching them play with the damn things. But that was just like four or five bolts, and you're good to go. Yeah. So. You pay fifty bucks to have it done that way, and you they deliver it within four weeks, or you save fifty bucks and end up waiting between. Jerry was waiting thirteen weeks, but they yeah, thirteen to sixteen weeks. You get up to yeah. sixteen weeks. And then you get tons and tons of parts. You learn all about printing. Yeah. Well, that's part part of the fun because you need to take it all apart again to to um, assemble the um, the base the, up, the base upgrade you have to print. So you might as well know how to put it together again anyway. Yeah, I'm going to print that. Once this is done, I'm going to let this printer print my upgrade, and then I'll do yeah. another video but on that, that upgrade them. was definitely an improvement to the, the Mini. It definitely gives it a bit more functionality with the height and the clearance and the um, power supply and that and the cabling. Makes it look a lot better. It means more than 14 weeks. Yeah, well, they say between fourteen, between uh, 13 and 16 weeks is what they say. Isn't that quite funny that it, it takes longer to get the pieces than it does to get the printer? Yeah, a few weeks ago I messaged them because they'll take, they got chat 24 hours a day. And they said, oh, we'll be out in a couple weeks. And I waited two weeks after them. They said, oh, we'll be out in a couple weeks. Asked them a third time, oh, we're probably going to be shipping it in a few days. And then it happened. I suspect that someone else assembles the part kit and somebody else assembles the um, entire kit. So you've got different time frames from different places. Yeah. Because there's a lot more work. Splitting up the bags, cutting the screws, making sure the packages are well, all together. Well, I'm sure so. they buy them in as kits. I'm sure they buy them in already done, because they probably you know, most companies use a a third they party buy. and they use a pick to light system, where it comes down and they say grab one of these, one of these, because they're already yeah, yeah. pre done, um, in, in a in a kanban system or in. Uh, as I said, I worked in in, uh, in the computer industry. Hey, and, Liam. Yes. What does it say about tightening these up? Anything? Where, uh, tightening which up? The, the bearings? Bearing. The bearing. Yeah. Nice. It just says secure it. That's um, step nine, correct? 
Well, I'm not sure what step it is. Um, I, I think you're on. Yeah, because you've already the bearings in place. Yeah, yeah and then I, I put the brackets on, on, and I put the bolts in. I'm snugging up the nuts. Yeah. It doesn't specify. Let's see. They have to bag all the parts for a kit. I'm surprised they have to do it because most companies do that. Uh, LT, uh, NLT uh, MW says don't over tighten them. Yeah. yeah. Mike, never let the machines win. What it stands for. And Mike, I, w I, I went and done laundry. I was going to wear an orange shirt for this, but it was, it was an old work shirt, so it didn't look good, so I couldn't wear the orange shirt. Well, never let the machines win. I, ne I don't know you, so hi. Um, so. <laughs> There's a few people here I haven't met before. So most of the people here. Are yeah, Mike has a channel. He does lots of stuff on his, his his channel, and he's a mod for uh, Joe Kelling all the time on when old Joe. Oh, all okay. So you work, you do some stuff with Joe, okay? Hey, Liam. Yes, sir. With your replacement resin printer in your wooden crate, was the inner box the same packaging as the original, or just was it repacked completely inside it was the wooden a crate? Completely different packaging. It was a thinner box. Um, and it was perfect, it was in perfect condition, yeah. Yeah, just wondering if they've gonna do that for all their shipments. Take care, Kenny. Yeah, no, I don't think they will. I think, see, normally they ship them in bulk on, on pallets. Yeah, this yeah. was a ship in, in an, as an individual, they got banged um, around a lot to get there. Yeah. And I and I, I think it was dropped from a height. I think someone <laughs> threw it out a window and it landed somewhere, and then they put it on, a, they put it onto a container. And then you see they've already been opened. The box has been opened as well. So something well, no, it was just damaged. Yeah. It did tape it back together so they could actually deliver it. But when I picked up the original box and I lifted it up, you could hear the, the lenses for the UV rattling around. Inside. And I went, that doesn't sound good. No, and never the guy who delivered it, he said, he said, you know, that's what they gave me, he said. He said, yeah. and I, he was careful with it. I saw him bring it up because yeah, 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 I have a camera in the front of my house. So um, it's kind of, it doesn't matter. They've, they've sent the replacement. The, re the replacement is, is fine. It's printing right now. I'm printing um, uh, one of those test rooks to see how it does. Yeah, Holy yep. shit. With the, the fire on the What's wrong, Gary? No, these, these are completely wrong. Remember I said they didn't have a rounded head on them? Yeah. yeah. That, would, that would have. These, yeah, these are the wrong ones. They're in that little bag right next to you, aren't they? Yeah, well, they're there on the <laughs> table. They're black. I'm not supposed to. Yeah. They're like buttonhead and they're black and they're in front of me and I got these silver ones on. These are wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So see, if I would have done a video, I would have cut this part out. <laughs> but then, they, yeah. then you're lying to people how easy it is, right? Now they're saying well, that's, how that's hard the whole it is. Thing. That's why I like the live stream to see the issues that people yeah. that's why Joe I like Blow will have putting it together. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you want to see. That's what you yeah, want to see. They see. Yeah, see this little black one? Yeah. 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 Not these little silver ones. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. When I went to the next step, I realized I made a boo boo. Like my yeah. my test print this morning didn't come out right. It happens to anybody who does a first print, right? But that's happens. how you want it. You want yeah. it. There's no way on earth you see all these edited, trimmed, at lights added, and all editing. It works first time. No, there's no. That's crap. It's all crap. Well, you uh, print all my prints first perfect. time go, but you have to pay, <laughs> they, they will work straight out of the box. But you pay four grand for it, and it will work straight out of the box, right? Well, that's it. Depends on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it comes pr with the technician to set it up for you and make sure it's all calibrated before you press the start. Button. Yeah, and and, and and he stays around for a week to make sure every time you hit exactly, print, it works. exactly, and then it works fine every every time. <laughs> my battery's going dead in my mouse. Let me get another battery yeah, for my mouse. Yeah. My screen's not responding. Okay. A battery right here. Yeah, triple check the screws both to use. Yeah. So yeah, when you have when you pay two nose for something, you get a high quality you'd machine. You expect to, you expect yeah. to get a high quality machine, but but, but like when yeah. you are building something yourself from from a, from a kit, you expect it to go wrong, right? It's part yeah, of it's part of being a maker. Part of the experience, part of the building experience. But yeah. it's not only that. As makers, we like to tinker. So if something's not right, we like to play with it to figure out what's wrong and get it going right. Okay, that's half of. What the community is all about. Come on, Mouse. I don't know. The, the part I don't like about that is, you know, you assemble it and you think you did it pretty well. 
and then you move something like let's say you move the hot end around and then you start thinking is it supposed to sound like that or is it supposed to be that hard or that move that easy or is that belt tight enough or not and then you yeah. don't you don't have a reference to go off of for that machine that's the part that gets me usually and then i'm just i just give up and like well let's see how it prints <laughs> We'll see what happens. If there's no smoke, it's a good start. Yeah, well, you, we all know the one thing you need to remember about electronics, especially you, Jason, because that's your that's your job, half your job, right? Mm -hmm. The one thing mm -hmm. you need to remember about electronics, electronics work by magic smoke, and if you let the it, magic smoke out, yeah, it's it's magic smoke. Stuff. yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it's blue. If you've never seen it, it's blue magic smoke. It, it is yeah, not always. Not electronics. always. Not it's always. It can well, be not brown. always. It can be those, brown. I've seen it brown. High and, those are the high white, quality and, parts. And, and, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Liam's seen it more than one color as well in his time. Yeah. Never, never always yeah, blue. That's true. Um, that's true. I've, I've seen, seen the flames smoke. green and the and the smoke a different color. Well, that's, yeah. that's yeah. the top of wiring <laughs> burning. Yeah, yeah. Well, once once the flames are let out, then there's no going back, I'm afraid. True. Yeah. True. The magic smoke is one thing. The magic fire comes out, you're done. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. One thing I can attest to is Halon works great. <laughs> oh, I've been in, as, as long as you're outside the door, inside the door. As long as you're out good. of the room. Yeah, yeah. No, it, I was it's inside. It's amazing. The room. It's an amazing chemical. <laughs> I was in the data center when the Halon system went off. Oh How God. long did you hold your breath for, Liam? Huh? Oh, <laughs> right. it's one deep breath, and I ran for the door full speed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we had in one of the jobs I was in, we had. Um, Liam is faceless. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm incognito. <laughs> Maybe yeah, we'll yeah, move yeah. Matt up there because his back is to us. We'll hide Matt. There we go. There we go. There we'll hide go. Matt. What? <laughs> well, I see. Bring it back. You're gone. <laughs> Matt, you're now the face of it of 3D HP. Yes. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> the, 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 well, the face you don't want to see. Yeah. He's back what in you? the door, so he dumped him out of the room. <laughs> oh. What oh, a We love you. Again? <laughs> but... Um, the we I was in a data center once. So basically, you have to look like, and uh, yeah, you have to look at one side. Yeah, wow. but um, and a security guard, you know, you have a you have a power kill switch for a data center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had a security guard try, trying to open an outside door, and it wouldn't open. He was a new guy, and it wouldn't open. And he thought it was a push button release, and he hit this red switch in the wall, uh, and yeah. he killed the whole data center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power kill is what he hit. And he wow. now works somewhere in Vladivostok, I believe, in the middle of the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I say Vladivostok because I believe that is the coldest place on, on the planet Earth. I think it's the coldest town on Earth. It's often colder than the North Pole there. So, um, hey, Tim. The. But yeah, I think he was. I didn't see him working there for um, any more after that. Oh, Cham, how you doing? Yeah, he came back. He's no longer sitting on children. Yeah, thank Is you for that, that really cool sticker, Cham. I appreciate that. Yeah, I still owe Tim my logo because he probably because he was going to. Uh, I think about a year ago on, on one of Dan's streams, I won um, stickers, and it was Tim was supposed to be doing it. I've never, I've, I've never got the logo to him yet. <laughs> I think it's expired by now. <laughs> so, what are you working on, Kieran? Um, I'm printing off pit droid parts at the moment. Okay. For awesome. the racer, or or yeah, a for the racer, yeah. For the racer. Yeah, for the racer, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get ahead because if I, I'm so far behind, so I thought I'd jump ahead to one. Uh, I'm I'm doing the um, the BR for you one. And BR to you. Yeah, whatever. The drink droid. <laughs> the drink <laughs> droid. Yeah. yeah. I'm only mess with you, Tim. But I'm doing the, the, the drink droid. But um, I, but I'm, I, I put in the upgraded motors in it. Yeah, yeah. So it will have the speed reader speed. It just won't because it, it has a, the larger motor set inside. Which is what I'm doing. You put in the 35 Ds in. Uh yes. 37 Ds, yeah. Nice. 37. Yeah. yeah, 37. That's what yeah. I'm. That's what I put in mind, and it's it's a lot quicker. Than the well, I haven't was. built the electronics yet. I mm. have most of them. I have a few coming by um, between now and Wednesday, and then I'll have the bodywork ready, and then I'll, I'll start um, assembling. Come this weekend, come the latter half of this week. 
Speaking of need for speed, how's the leg healing up, Jason? It's um, it's almost gone. It, I think it's going to leave a scar. Actually, <laughs> that's um, a good memory to have. My the one, my first um, high speed bot it attacked me. So you can actually you can actually tell your family members what happened. You would say I was attacked by a robot. You have other scars, yeah. you, Jason. What's that, Jerry? You have other scars. You're in the military, right? So I'm sure you got dings everywhere. I I do. I've got a couple bullet hole scars too. So. Yeah. Yeah, not not a AD, good AD, AD holes don't count, though, Jason. <laughs> Which holes? AD holes don't count. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. And the paperwork for one of those isn't worth the effort, right? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> mostly, mostly you get laughed at. Mm. You know, it's like you have to go to learn to duck class, and yeah, then yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, it's I'll not. Say, yeah. Not a Hang good on time. to the pin and throw the grenade, not vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I I I've done. I was I was the pyrotechnics guy, so I did the explosives and so on. And I've had guys um, throw grenades and never went off because we were training them, teaching the guys. And I've had to walk out there and put C4 around it and and walk back and blow it up afterwards. Very very. I, I was the guy that actually walked out in the range with the with the the, the C4 in my hand. So you were either new or not popular. Yeah, I no, like that. Yeah, no, or was, both. Was, I, was the only, I was the only one in in that in that group that actually had um, that actually went and, and did the pyrotechnics training. Wow. Um, so like we don't call it, we don't call it an explosive training. We call and, it. And look, he's got all his fingers still. Yeah, look. <laughs> and he's got the just extra hand. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> So if anyone ever asked me to give him a hand, there you go. go. <laughs> hey, Jason, yeah. What ESCs did you use for yours? The the the, the small cheap ones. I did. I used the um, those five amp, two times five amp, five amp dual yep. channel, yeah, or dual yep. output. I did. Um, what I found though with those is they're a bit leaky. Um, in terms of signal, so I ended up pulling the 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 five volt output from the uh, the channel two signal and just running a um, a UBAC five volts over to it uh, to power the receiver, and that helped a lot with the voltage control and took a lot of the jitter out. Not that it had a lot, but took some of the jitter out of the head and the neck um, and the arms and um, gave them better control where I was having some problems with like one arm would go forward and the other one would go like this oh. and, and, you know, slowly go down and so my, um, my, that my, seemed to help. My issue was I've only got as far as wiring up the, the belts to test the actual drive function. And mm -hmm. I found my ECS got, ESC got bloody hot, mm. really, really hot. The only time I've had that is when, um, I had that in Eggbot, and the cause was it was if I tied two separate ground loops together, um, then that caused an issue where it got really hot. So I, I took the the ground loop for the which is stupid because you can have two ground rings; it all goes to the same ground it, it, in the end. Uh, but if I if I bridge two ground loops, it they would get really hot for some reason, and yeah, it I mean, just made it, no it, sense. I've got I've got um two sets from two different sources. Um, I've mm. only tried one, um, so I've got another seven to go through in just in case you've got a dodgy one. But uh, yeah. I just wanted to get Which is possible. Um, yeah, I was yeah. helping uh, Dennis. Um, yeah, you know, Dennis had Dennis. a problem with his, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, he bought 12. Seven were bad. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's, <laughs> yeah. Well, they're cheap. They're only, they're only cheap yeah. little, little yeah. ESCs. Um, what what um, batteries did you run with, Jason? What's that? What batteries did you run? Um, whatever, whatever, uh, Michael Badley had in, in terms these. of size, the 11.1s, but, I got oh these. no, um, I have, I got, I got, these are 55, there are 5,500, so they're the 5.5 volts. And that's the other thing Mine too, because they're, the, the, the ESC is only a 5 amp, so I got a smaller battery, I only got a 3200 milliamp hour just in case it's a load issue, so I've got a, a mm -hmm. smaller yeah. unit. 
it's still the 11 volts, it's still a three cell battery. Um, yeah, but it's just, but that said, the ESC was just getting hot. But I've got minor from gens, two different sources. Yeah, um, I bought them from a, um, an RC hobby shop oh. local. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jerry, um, Jared said you should be done by now. The 20 minutes is already up. Stop moving. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll be here Come another on, hour. I'll be done in an hour and a half at least. Uh, like, like I said before, it's, it's it's four hours of preparation H, and then it's 20 minutes of assembly afterwards. So. Well, I've spent a week on that thing, so yeah, my mouse done in an hour and a half. Screen. You're doing amazing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. My mouse, for some reason, isn't talking to my computer. It could be the distance, because you're kind of far. Oh, it's wireless. So I'm only like four feet away from the. Oh, okay. Mickey, you plug in. It should be working fine. Oh, so D was gonna tape gonna hook these up to a car battery. That should be fun. Yeah, the the amperage on that should uh, make it make it run really really fast and melt the wires. I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I, I I got these ones. They are they're only the they're only fifty five hundred, so they should be fine. Um, as, oh, they're but they're tons. Power. They're big. They're tons. I mean, they're, 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 the not like it's... Is, they have um, their C rating is eighty, so they maintain power and they um, for a long time. And because of 5500, because of the size of them, they, I'll get a lot of running. I'll get maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes running out of this, out of each one. More, more, more. Maybe more. But, oh, I you're gonna get them. more than that. Um, the yeah. I have one that's a 5000, and I ran Eggbot for over an hour. Well, I Easily. got two of them, Easily. so. Yeah, so that that's gonna be you're gonna you're gonna kill it, um, overkill oh, it. With two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, there's, no, there's yeah. no batteries in the mini pools. <laughs> that's funny. But def definitely get the um. The alarm for it, the, the LiPo alarms. Oh, I, I, yeah. I have five of them, so yeah, I got yeah. a set of those. I got a, I yeah. got um, the low powers. I got the, um, and I, I will add a fuse in line as well. I haven't done it, but uh, like when I build electronics, I'll add a fuse in line. But um, I have that, and I have um, I bought a controller because I didn't have a controller. I bought a charging kit as well for the whole lot. So hmm. nice. So I'm ready to go. All I need now is um. They're off my components. I'm missing bearings and stuff that won't come in till later in the week. You know, if I would have had that screen close to me where I'm looking at what I'm supposed to be building, I wouldn't have put the wrong screws in. It's like I say, I'm eight foot away from it, and the screen is slightly blurry from here. Can't you bring it closer? No. Oh. I have to walk. I just walked over and looked at it real close. That's when I was on this camera here. So, uh, do you have you have a you have a um, uh, TV, right? No, I don't have it hooked up to it right now. Oh, okay, because you can just use the HDMI cable to the TV to give you a large view of it. Yeah, I've done that in the past when I rearranged everything. My TV is just for TV and my camera's outside. Oh, by the way, Tim is saying you should not click to the mouse to the doohickey. You should be onto the thing of Bob and said. Yeah. Say again? Or the, or the watch Tim said you should be connected to the thing of Bob with your mouse, not the doohickey. Or as Kieran yeah. said, you could also use the watch recorder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, doohickeys are never reliable. You can't trust a doohickey. No, no. the whatchamacallit is the preferred device. <laughs> yeah, true, true, sure. true, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you could use an e bike battery. That you'll get, and you'll probably melt the wires, but you get a lot of power out of it. Uh, yeah, well, you, you need a, you, it'll, it'll, it'll just fry the controllers, those small controllers. Cause, I mean, they're only, I said they're only five amp rated per channel, so that's what I thought I was. Well, well yeah, they say they're ma they max out, they start at six. So you get you can get yeah. five, five and a half. But you can't go over yeah. that you, you'll yeah. blow them. But those, yeah, those 37 Ds are, are beefy batteries. Um, beefy motors, those 37 Ds. Much bigger than, much beefier. Yeah. Well, that's why I got them. Hey, Tripod, how are you? Yeah, I tripod. got them. Tripod. Hey, John. Yeah. That, yeah that's I made, I a, like, go ahead, I made a thumbnail for this stream, and I thought it looked really good, and then I showed it to John and, and uh, Jason, everybody. Next thing you know, Tripod, like, send me your logo. And then he sent me three alterations. He, uh, I guess he thought that he could make me a better one, and I got some other opinions on it, so I want him going with one of his for my thumbnail. The orange and black one is the one that I made, and then the tripod has other ones. But once I'd already had it uploaded to Facebook, I went to refresh it today, and it's still showing mine. The old one. So once the you old actually one, so yeah. YouTube yeah. change it. But, yeah, they look really good. Uh, suggestion, it does. Gary. It does look really good, John. Uh, uh, if you move your camera further back so we can actually see a, a more area of the, of the table, and we'll also see what's in your hand as you're working. There we go. That's, that, that's yeah. Oh, down. Back and down. Yeah, that's back better. and down. Down, back down slightly. Well, that's yeah. okay. If you're going to be walking up there all the time, we can see yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, we can see what yeah. you're working on. 
so we can we can all critique your work while you're while we're, while we're here. <laughs> Everybody's a critic after all. Yeah, but yeah, everybody is. Whole, but you know, it it helps and sometimes because sometimes you just don't you just don't see, see you know the one screw you need in the in the pile of a thousand screws that are on the desk. But somebody may have. Yeah. You know. I built a lot of engines when I was younger, and it sucks when you get all done and you got extra parts. Well, it's a European, it's a European build. You're gonna have past if I have guaranteed. Well, for, for, yeah. for, for me, it, for me, it was um, it was radios. I take it, I take apart the family radio, put it back together again, have pieces left over, still work, still work. Still work. Still work. What, what were there for? There's no point in them being in there, right? Yeah, I've engineered. <laughs> Actually, I, 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 I read one for a of them. When I was a kid, and I am, um, we could end up tuning into like the frequency. Was that we? I could actually extend the frequency, and we could tune the radio into listen to the police channels. One thing I don't like about these, I got them off Amazon. But you can't get that set screw tight enough. When you try to snug something, it spins. And take it no out. Get that set screw, like, get set screw tight enough. You need yeah. to buy a better set. No, take it out. Grind a part of it. If mark where it flat. needs to be. Grind put it a flat, flat and put it back in, and tighten the screw. Put a flat spot on it with the try that. Yeah, that was that because that's what they do with all stepper motors and everything. You have a flat spot you, you screw against. Yeah, if it needs a set screw, it needs a flat spot. Yeah. Wait till the rat rig live build. Now, rat rig live build. I so um, Tim is planning to go live for a week. No <laughs> sleep, twenty four hours a day. No sleep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Week. <laughs> That's what. That's about what it's gonna be. Yeah. 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 yeah, I was wondering about our live stream this week. That's why I asked about it Monday, and then here comes Tuesday, and then Wednesday, and then I haven't worked on my uh, that build for two weeks. So since we're going to go live next Thursday, as soon as this is done, I'll start working on it probably tomorrow. So I've been yeah. busy with other projects. Other than priming mine, I won't be working on anything else until the last electronics come out. Prime and paint it probably. And then when the, uh, I might roughly put it together to see where I want to put the different colors. tracks will and, take a while. Um, I had to go one one run link at a time because mine kept on basically well, self destructing. I have so. the added bonus of having an IDEX. So I can do yeah, one link at a time on each side of the bed at the same time. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah. yeah. So, and, uh, I, and I have three IDEX. So if I, I can set them all up, I can print six of them. Six, six one at a time. At a time. Okay. So I print all, all six at once. Yeah, and I, that was brave. What what TPU did you get? I got the Yusu. And that's I've been what, 95? That's 95? It's 95, 95 yeah. yeah. And I want it pretty stiff because you want it hard wearing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't want the well, 85. I, I don't want, like, Ninja yeah. Flex. It's too soft. Yeah, I use, I Cut use 95. Cut your walls down, though. Cut your walls three, down three a bit. 3, 3, and 10. I use 3, 3, and 10. Yeah, three, 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 well. three walls max on the on the 95, or it'll, yeah, it'll be otherwise it's really... Too, it's that's my standard anyway for walls. I only go up if I want a stronger part. Yeah, I do two with the ninety-five, and they they Yay. last real good, and they stay a little flexible. But the um, other thing is temperature. I found that five, I had to go five degrees hotter to make sure um, it fused on the on the tapers because you, I, well, I had it at two hundred. No, yeah. no, no, TPU. Yeah, yeah two hundred will be good. Two hundred five is perfect. About two thirty. No, no, yeah, yeah two hundred five, two hundred forty depends yeah. on the the TPU. Depends on what my, my max temperature was rated at two yeah, well, two fifteen. I'm going to try my TPU anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do one of this, one per side and see how it goes. And if that goes great, then I'll, I'll bump the numbers up each time because, mm. like, I can do. I, I, I said I have three IDEX I can run. I can get them done pretty fast. Yeah. Now it took me it took me over ninety hours to print the damn things off after a few days. Yeah. Yeah, and, I did all sixty at once. Yeah. These are mold injected. These are not 3D printed. Yeah. How much? How much did you have more string than tracks doing 60 at once? Injection mold. No, actually, they they all came out really good, except for okay. except for about five of them. Five okay. of them came out a little chunky, um, but they were fixable, so that that was fine. But I'll tell you, I won't do that again ever. It was it was <laughs> very <laughs> nerve wracking because I was just waiting for the first one to fall, and then all 59 behind it to just go like well, a set of dominoes. You could also put multiple and say, and, 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 and print them one at a time. No, you haven't got the clearance. You haven't got the bead clearance for move that. Over and print the yeah. next one, then move over and print yeah. the next one. If you start at the back of the Y, and then mm -hmm. walk your way forward at a diagonal across the bed, it will do them all one at a time, but it'll finish one, move over, yeah, and then but, start the next one. You won't have but enough room. I, I wouldn't have enough room. Yeah. You, you have to leave enough room for the print head to move around, with, you know, from the first yeah. one. Yes, so, do, yeah. It just, yeah. So, 
It, it works and out better for like, me if I do 10 like tall. at a time. They're quite tall. If they're smaller, they'd be okay, but they're quite tall. Yeah, but I, um, well, as I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, do it with the Idex printer. So I'll, get, well, I'll do one on each side, see how it looks. Yeah. Cal calibrate two. it first and then, then go for it. Because I, yeah. I started at 200 and they look good until I squeeze them and it split, it split yeah. the... Um, no. On, on on the end, yeah. T yeah. So then printed like five degrees the different. Right. That's five yeah. degrees. You print it slow, at about thirty millimeters a second or thirty-five. No retraction. Like no retraction. No retractions. All. Well, I have direct right, so I can do the retractions because I have doesn't all of need, my. Doesn't need the retraction anyway. Yeah, but I'm just saying I can. Um, a small bit of retraction, and then I have um, you do about two thirty, two thirty-five is about the right temp, like you do with PETG. It depends now, Karen, on your. You, you print them on the CR six. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, well, you can use retractions. It's such yeah. a short Bowden tube. Um, yeah. I, usually... I, I didn't bother. I didn't bother. I just tried the one with no retraction. It came, it came out good. Oh, good. And then I went, I went to two, and mm -hmm. then the stringing oh. pulled, them, pulled them both off. It went to three. Ah, nah, so then I went back to one and just did them all at one. There gotcha. you go, Tim. Tim, you, you, you can print an upgraded version of the tracks, mount them under your CR30, so as it prints, it, the part stays in place, and the, the 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 printer moves forward across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to do it. No, that would be impressive. <laughs> oh, Justin Bieber. Oh, that's slow. That's slow. That's a low blow. That's slow, Sam. Oh, John's a believer. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is finally out. John has been oh. out. Sorry. Sorry, John. But that would explain the upskirt cam, though. It, it would. It would. <laughs> it would. It would. It and the poster on the sense. ceiling above his bed. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of things now. <laughs> <laughs> so what's next, Tim? Um, Jerry, you're moving on to doing the Y-axis front parts, right? Yeah, I'm doing this front cover. I'm just trying to find all the right bolts for it. It says M5 by 20. I need four of them. Yeah. So I'm trying to find them on the paperwork in five by twenty. I'm not finding that same package. Oh. You're gonna wash your mother with soap after seeing that. You know that, Tim, don't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought you disowned them. You disowned them by now. If they haven't, they should. Yeah. <laughs> We make allowances for maple syrup and, and Canadian bacon, but that's the only two exports we allow. Anything else? <laughs> nah, it doesn't count. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, those bolts are ground-headed as well, Jerry. Yeah, I, think it's, not, I, think, not... I think it's these uh, big ones right here, actually. Ground-headed? What's ground-headed? Round. 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 Oh, round. 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 I got you. I got you right. Buttonhead. Oh, Buttonhead, gotcha. yes. Buttonhead, yeah. Gotcha. Now, see, when I call someone a button head, it's not what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He still lives there, probably. I don't know. He lives in Mummy, probably. M5 by 20, four of them. Um, mini white plate front. Yeah, it's just 20. With the logo on the front, this is one I have. Are the bags labeled, Jerry, or do you have to? Yeah, the, of... yeah, the bags say Y axis, and they say different things on an X axis. I'm trying to. My mouse isn't working right. I'm trying to scroll to the top of this uh, picture to see what it says. And Liam, do you have this picture up? I have the it's it's, front it's, part. Yeah, it says y -axis. M5 by four, M5 by twenty R's, no, four of them. So they are button heads. That's what it looks like in the even in the image. It looks like button heads. Yeah, the second second row, second row, second from the left. Yeah, that one. That's yeah. a button head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I shall try to find that one down here. I'll there's tell you, that, what, there's like, none that were in that bag unless I already used. I already used everything here, and the only button heads I had were the ones that hold the bearings that were in that bag. Yeah, I just said. Look around. They may be coupled with something else. I got spares stuff, but that's just a few of this and not of everything. Because I'll, I'll usually end up like just going into my bin of screws and using what I have 
because like looking for those little bags of screws they're unlabeled they're 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 packaged inside another package and they just just takes too long to find <laughs> just use my own stuff and then when i'm done i just put everything back away in the bins Okay. Yeah. So I'm on the I'm on the, the same section as you, Jerry. I'm trying to keep keep track as you go. Yeah. In five hey, by Matt. 20, in five by twenty. Hey Matt, was that yes. was that your was that your drink droid that had the Heineken body? Hey, Justin. Uh, like no, it's Jeff. I made. Oh, okay. The, uh, the lithophane, basically for him, and he printed it out. That was no. that was cool. That's not a button head, Jerry. Is this no? no? No, that's a cap head. Yeah. Did you finish it yet? No. Yeah, mine. Well, oh. it, I had it together working, then I took it apart because um, I got to paint it, and now I got to repaint it. Yeah, and oh, right. those are button heads, Jerry. If you want to have a little paint for your droid, print droid, let me know. I designed one for you. Do you have if you have that um, that Heineken one made? I'll take that one. The Heineken, okay, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I'll send you the file over. Oh, thank you. Uh, recommendation: cut the bottom off and print the top separate because this is big one for the empire by twenty and access it. Sorry, okay. what, what did you say, Jerry? It's these big ones that were in that other bag. Yeah, because they line up with the picture, and I line them up and lay them over top of it. It's that one right there. Yeah, there yeah, yeah, okay. They were just in an unmarked bag, so. But Justin says, "Welcome to the Prusa Owners Club." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate uh, that. Hey. I wish they would put all the screws just in their own bags instead of in the pot. Yeah, in, in, in a bag, in a bag, in a bag. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your, here's your X-axis module. Here's your Y. Which other well, ones? Well, even do? if they yeah. yeah. gave you all, what if they just gave you all of the, uh, the all of the same screw together, and you could lay them out, yeah. and then yeah. you yeah. Say, okay, I need buttons. They're here. They're in this bag. Yeah. I need this. Yeah. Instead of having to go to individual bags, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Two ways. It's, two ways of doing it, which work better. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's like they're trying to make it like the Lego kits, where you get a Lego kit and say, in this bag you build this component, and in this yeah. bag you build this component, but if they're not on the, in the same bag, and it gets screwed up. Exactly. You know? that's, that's how it should be done. If you're going to do a Lego type thing, all the screws and all the bits for that component should be together, but they don't. They split them up. All other yeah. printers will never measure up. Yeah. I, I'd question that comment, Shane. Oh, by the way, Shane, I reached out to Jim. He hasn't responded, but you said this morning he, he was going to reach out to me about um, the printer. So I reached out to him but on email, but he hasn't responded yet. Shane told me on my stream this morning that then Jim and the booklet is different than the PDF file online. Yeah, they the PDF yeah, I think the much PDF more online up gets updated yeah. more frequently and gets yeah. Yeah, plugged in. Yeah, and I think it has. I think it's kind of interactive too, where people can put tips. Or yeah, it's almost like a whatever um, notes. A, a wiki where you can actually update it. Yeah. Yeah. Liam, when do you get that? When do you get your new uh, Creality printer, the 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 um, smart one? They created allegedly. They created, the as you know, they actually created a um, a shipping number. It's actually mm. from the last time I checked, which was this morning, was it's actually in the process of getting ready to be shipped. So it's got cool. a shipping number sometime this year. Sometime this year, I'll get it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they made the shipping number just like the twenty one guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah, well, this year. I don't know. Um, if, like, I know gonna, it looks like they're going to do. Um, uh, they said, "What? What did they say?" I have to go check what they said. This one, they, what? What was? Let me check it. Um, go to Liam. Go to step twelve. Go to step twelve. Yeah, that's where I'm at. If we're on a twelve-step program, guys. <laughs> First, admit you use the wrong bolts, Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, initially yeah. I used the wrong bolts. Yes. Yeah. 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 Take yeah. action. Yeah. Trust Incorporate. Okay. Oh, I got a pin today as well. Yeah, the job. Yeah, was it job? Yeah. First step is admitting you've made a mistake. Yeah, mm. in assembly. Yeah. That's it. Now yeah. saying take the short extrusion and slide it into that corner. It slides yeah. it into the end. So it should yeah, slide well, in. Wow. That's crazy. It should be tight. Extrusion is yeah, much larger top. than that corner. This looks like 30 30. That looks like 20 20. 
Mm -hmm. So that right there ain't going to go in there. Is that the, that's not, is that the right rail? What about the other ones? Are they the same? Yeah, it's got the Prusa logo on it. No, 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 no. I mean the extrusion there. Yeah, there's only three of them. There's two short ones and a long one. Oh, wait a minute. No, I got more. It says the it's shortest two short extrusion ones and a long one. the left inner side. So it should be inside, and it should, it should fit over that. that yeah, that I know. It's, it's, it slides into the notch right there. Yeah. So that's the wrong extrusion. So I've got to find out what my other extrusion is. I would say have a hurry bow and look for the path. Have That's a hurry the first bow. thing I would have opened was the bag of Haribos for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that German written on it? Because it does look like it's German. Yeah, they're uh, German. Yeah, I know they're German, yeah, but uh, I don't know. Though. If it's English writing well, or Well, the extrusion, writing, I've only got yeah. three pieces for the printer. i got the two bottom and then the upright, which has here. I've got these three right here. One, two, three. Two short ones and one long one. So I take one short one, I slide it into that corner, but this extrusion is too big to slide in there. Unless I'm doing something wrong here. Um, show me show me the connector. Show me the it's show just, me, okay. it's, it should slide over that piece of plastic sticking out in the middle. That should slide into the into the V slot. Yeah, I know how it goes in, but it's probably just me, I'll give it. Hey Tim, do you do you know you built yours, right? Do you know if they're if they're supposed to be all thirty thirties? See if he answers. Do you see it on screen right here? And that, that really not slide into in. the extrusion. It looks like it might fit really tightly. Yeah, move, yeah. It, like over, move it over. To well, it has to be really right. tight. Fit. Yeah, like like a twenty twenty might there. be too small. Yeah, 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 I'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yes, All right. I got to figure it out. We didn't, we didn't deal with it. I got to figure it out. We didn't deal with it. It, it, has, it, has, it has lube on it. It doesn't go down inside there. No, yeah, it's no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got to yeah. figure it out. See? Oh, yeah, Tim, that's a really nice fit. It's the engine. Oh, we have one second. I'm sorry, Dan. I didn't see you hanging out there. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It I is. was just getting ready to chime in and say it doesn't actually go inside. The extrusion doesn't go inside. It goes up next to it. Yeah, yeah. Stand, stand stand proud. Stand yeah, proud. yeah. yeah. It's kind of buttoned up next to it. It doesn't actually yep. fit in that yeah. crack. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Was, uh, that, that's what I was getting ready to chime in and say was is no, it doesn't slide into it. It just butts up against it, and then the screws go in. And that yeah. was me, yeah. um, Justin. That was my fault. Yeah. So. Now it all makes sense. <laughs> all, all good, all good. I, I was yeah, just more or less sitting here watching Gary and cringing, and I'm like, no, no, it doesn't go inside. It just goes next to it. Hey, you know how this is live streams? You got you see the guy doing something wrong, and everyone's like, no, 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 read your chat. That's wrong. Read the chat. Yeah. And then they never at, least, at least the option. The problem is when you're when you're trying to build something, you can't read the chat because you're busy right. doing this. Oh, I, that's, <laughs> that's, that's why that's why the video like, jumping in is good. At least yeah. you got the option of help. Yeah. I just wish my, my, my mouse would scroll properly here and it's not yeah, there it goes. Well once you've that done, there is um you have to put in uh the other side. Do it with the M five twenty R's, the same type of bolt you had a while ago. Okay, I got the one right. bolt in right here. So now I put the other side on, right? Yep. You can come in, sir. You can come in, Phil. Misery loves company, Tim. Come and join the party. <laughs> so how you doing, Dan? What's going on? Uh, just cleaning out some parts I'm testing in, in PLA, and then going to have uh, probably have Zach running for me in polycarb, and I'll pick them up from him at Merck this year. So. Has Justin sold his printer yet? That's a good deal. Uh, he, he has not, but you know, Colorado to Vegas ain't that far, Jerry. I think you know, no, I don't have, I don't have the money. Oh, so there should be two <laughs> screws in those, each of those, Jerry. Yeah, you got it. I'm be, I'm being yeah, Jerry Cooper. 
So as they went in doubt, put the screws through the holes and then just line it up from there. That way you don't have to worry about trying to guess. Yeah, and there's that no would, and that would have that. to put it all together as well anyway, so. Yeah, there's no fun in that. Yeah, he's using the online manual, but it's a distance from him. So it's a... Um, yeah, I got old glasses. eyes, and I'm looking eight yeah. foot away from my monitor, and I can't read it real good. And for some reason, my mouse, wireless mouse, doesn't want to work, even though it's only about three foot away from the computer. Are you using a wireless mic, Jerry? No, I've got my regular desk mic right in front of me. I stretched it over here. You hear me all right? Yeah, 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 it sounds good. Yeah. Oh, sounds no good. problem. Yeah. And then I got my stream deck right here in front of me, so I can switch, you know, between it like this. Oh, this go back. It right was here. better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, the inhumanity. <laughs> hey, Dan, what's next? Okay, the link on um, 14 is the idler belt parts for the Y-axis. So there's a mini Y idler, a pulley, which is a, a 623 QZ pulley. Um, you have the, nil the nylock nut, uh, the nut itself, and as M3 by 20 screw. So the, you're going to assemble that offline, and then yeah, yeah I'm going to have to find a look at that picture of that. Yeah. Oh, great! The screen closed. One mouse. Be back I'll be right there. back. All right, I'm going to make a strong three. drink. This is killing me. <laughs> oh, hey Jim. Hey Tim. Less ice this time, Jason. Oh wow, okay, I see what you're talking about. Hey Tim. Hey guys. What's up, Tim? Hey. So, so for every five minutes, Jerry goes over to 20 minutes. He, uh, he was told it takes to print it. He owes us all money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody made a comment that I'd have this put together in 10 minutes. And I said, dude, it's a kit. It's totally in parts. He goes, okay, 20. Ha, ha, ha. No, maybe an hour and a half or so. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's play. I have a feeling you're sli being slightly optimistic with the hour and a half, Jerry. Yeah, I know. I, I put the wrong bolts in to start with. Jerry Outside needs to be playing Prusha Pong. For every wrong screw, he takes a drink. By now, he's a half a bottle down by now. <laughs> you know, he'd be on bottle number two of whiskey is what he'd be on. That's what he should be doing. Push, Why push a pong. Melt? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah. I, I agree, Justin. I, I have a feeling this is going to go on for more than an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. No, I'm like, I like stream up to four hours, so it'll be done by the time we're, I'm done. Yeah. So, well, I, I'm we'll here till eight. eight I can be here till eight thirty. After eight thirty, I need a bounce because I have another stream to jump on before nine. Okay. Well, well let, let me know. Let me know about an hour in advance. I'll get somebody else. I'll give to, you, it's another hour to go. Don't worry. Control about it. Set your heads up. Either it'll be four hours, or there'll be a pressure shaped hole in his window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find that part that I need. Which one? The wide oh, belt yeah. idler part. I'm looking it's for the wide belt. Black, uh, black plastic part. Okay, and all the 3D printed parts are in this one bag. Okay. No, we're getting paid. You just get this the one right here. Yes, that's it. Yeah. That looks right. A little bit of ringing on it, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty, pretty nice, so there's a little bit of rain. No big deal. Oh, Sam says your beer will be ready in time for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, mini idler, pulley, blah, blah, blah. Nylock nut. M3 by 20 screw, which is bolt, actually. M3 by 20 is probably this one. No, don't tell me. Oh, Tim, they let you in. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah. You know, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> yes. You yeah, know, you Tim, you got Prusa minis, don't get. you? I got what? You have Prusa minis, don't you? I have one Prusa mini and an MK3. Okay, yeah. M3 by 20. Oh, And now the nut, 
there's a um, wait now. It says here uh, using the M3 by 20, don't fully tighten the screw. Um, and then after that, there's a nut that needs to go in underneath the pulley. My lock, it looks like. Uh, My lock to hold this one in. I think it's a, it's a square nut. Oh, the night lock is there, yes. But there's a square there. Yeah, the the night lock goes in there, and then underneath you have to there's there should be two square nuts and two more uh, M three twenties. That's funny. When you Take get the older, your finger gets the bigger than a hole. Take out the yeah. screw and push the bolt in separately. Obviously, the, the, the print is not calibrated. <laughs> but well, you can back yeah, pull them in. in there. You can back pull them by tight by threading the screw in and then tightening it down till it pulls the nut in. Just make sure it's it's oriented in the right shape, I guess, so Way that you around, yeah. round out the hole. Yeah. Trying to get that mylock compressor. If you take the the bolt and screw it, screw it in backwards, and then press it in with it. Yeah. Yeah, just get a bigger hammer. <laughs> hammer time. <laughs> Please, not with the pants. Yeah. So tighten it enough so you can still rotate the bearing freely. Yeah, doesn't even feel like it's skirting. Well, you know, Karen, I have to remind Tim quite often that just because you have a hammer doesn't mean everything's a nail. So. Uh, so if, you know. if the only tool you have is a hammer, is a hammer everything is a nail. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Screwdrivers are designed to take screws out. You don't have to use them to put them in. <laughs> True. No. True. No, no. You don't even need one to take one out, actually. You don't, but I'm just saying it makes it easier taking them out, but you can put them in with a hammer. No. Okay, that's way too short. Is that the 320? Maybe the, 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 the nut is not pushed all the way in to grab. Yeah, or, so thank you. Or is there a um, recess and you've got yeah, the nut in the bolt hole? The nut wasn't Are you leaving, Dan? Oh, yeah. bye, Dan. Dan. Cheers, Dan. Here, Dan. He just yeah. waved and disappeared. Yeah, the nut, it wasn't pressed in far enough yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. No. Tim, did you build your, your Prusas or did you get them pre-made? I, pre -built? Built I built the MK3. took me eight hours. And I, uh, but I bought this could be a long string. No, the MK3 is a much, it's a bigger build that, well, mind you, that was back when I first got into 3D printing and I knew nothing. So, um, I knew. probably could build it in four hours today. So, yeah, so I have at least an idea of what goes where. From what I've read, please correct me if I'm wrong, that these, this kit just is something new they just came out with this year. Yeah. And that's why I was waiting 16 weeks to get it. Is that in the past they were pre built where you just put, you know, four or five bolts in, a couple wires, and you're done? Yeah. You are correct. Well, I've been searching all over YouTube and uh, Facebook, and I haven't, I've, I haven't seen nobody that had a kit like this and parts on the menu. No, no, everyone's done the pre assembled one. Mm. Yeah. That's Which crazy because I think it's kit. a six week lead time now, right? Four to six weeks, yeah. It yeah. was 16 weeks, and I got it in 13. Yeah. Yeah, but then I mean the full the kit the partly assembled one is four to six weeks lead time. But if you want to put that use that upgrade for the new the upgraded base, you have to strip it down to pieces anyway. So you might as well work out how to do it oh, once. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, you have to take it all apart to add those feet on for the mini. The feet, 
pretty pretty much yeah. disassemble it to, down to the rails and um yeah it's a, and power supply apart going to add the extra wow. cabling it's quite a big job yeah, the, the, Tim, that, these... that thing looks cool it, it does, does. It, it definitely looks much better with the upgrade yeah. kit than it does cool. with the yeah. Hey. Whoa. Oh, oh, Jerry, you made that one complete. Those what? nuts you put into the into those, they said make sure they're pushed all the way in. They are. I checked them. Okay. I took an Allen wrench and I made sure they're pushed all the way in. Okay. Step 16, preparing a mini wide belt idler. You, uh, Well, you've done that. So you're, you're moving on to 17 to attach it to the base. Okay. Because you've already right done the here, seen this here. already. It goes on with the bolt opening pointing upwards. Liam, I need you on my next printer build so I can have you in the background just keeping me on track. <laughs> Jason, yeah. you've already done that. Stop. Move well, to the next. <laughs> okay, so this slides in here like so. It only goes in one way. Correct. Um, yeah, it should be upwards. Uh, yeah, pointing upwards. Yeah. yeah, that's why I invited Liam in today. I knew he didn't have a Prusa, but he's great at talking to chat, and he'd be perfect for this. Now, the bolts that hold it are the bolts that hold it are are M320s. There should be um, there should be two of them, and it says do not tighten them at this time. Leave a gap of one or two millimeters between the mini Y belt idler and the mini Y the Y plate front. So. Get them in there so it's holding and stop it because you probably have to run the belts before you tighten anything up. And that's probably your tension adjustment for the belt anyway, as my guess. It is. Yeah, it is. So basically what Jerry just said, that I'm good for something, right? <laughs> <laughs> I find it interesting. Contrary, that went contrary to what we've heard, right? Contrary to what everyone else said. <laughs> it's interesting they went mold injection for the front and back piece now. Well, they need the strength because it's stronger than a 3D printed part. Yeah, and Liam's got total control stronger. like we do when we all stream together. He, he logged in as me, so he can do anything he wants with uh, whatever. So we'll kick Jerry out. We'll have a hangout, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Okay, hey, that's done. <laughs> okay, so you have, have that one well, on. Then we'll have to put, but I've kicked Jerry out. We'll have to pick on Liam instead. Now you have to do the the the, 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 the rods prep. Take two of the shorter rods, and we're going to start working on prepping those. The ones I dropped on the floor earlier? Yeah, that's the ones, yeah. yeah. The bent the ones. U, they got the U-bolts. The U-bolts, the the <laughs> yeah. The big U-bolts. Take two of the smaller ones, right? Two the two of the shorter ones. It should be four short ones, two long ones. Yeah, four short, two okay, I got two so short. Here two two rods with a smaller diameter of eight millimeters. Now I grease them up and insert. Um and you need an M3 N E nut by three of them. I know what you're thinking, Kieran. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so you need the M3 N E nut. Any I'm trying to see which ones those are. They are they're the square nuts. Oh, they're the square flat ones. Yeah. You've still got lots of grease left, Jake, so it's okay. So once you have that ready, you're going to run the the rod through your rails. Stab it. <laughs> All right, if I can, let me find them. I don't see them. I thought I saw them on the table a while ago. You need. What's he looking for? His nuts. Yeah, he's yeah, got square nuts. Yeah, square flat ones. <laughs> Very interesting for his flat nuts. <laughs> <laughs> These look like. Prusha, show me. Prusha does sh shame for their rods. These look like end stuff or something yeah, here. Um, that. That's, that's a T-nut. That's, that's a slide that's a nut. No. Yeah, it's not that no, one. No. Is it not? Is it? Uh, no, they should be the same all the way around, I think. I can't. Let me see. Let me zoom in here one second. Actually, that's them. You need is three of them. Okay. Yeah. They're going to go into the rail. Yeah. You need three of those. Oh, okay. I got three of them. Yeah. I thought they'd go on the rails. Yeah. So run the rails through the, the, um, through the, the rods through the rails right now is what you have to do next. And then you're going to mount a Y carriage. Just got somebody so, popping in. That was Tim. He popped out. And he had probably clicked the wrong button. My, no, my internet went out. Oh. I had to go upstairs and reset the router. That was fast. Mine, is way, mine takes, long, long, takes 10 minutes to come back up. 
run, run them back and forth a few times, yeah. Jerry, to spread the grease around before you do anything else. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Jerry's got his feet. Yep. 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 That's, that's, it. It. that's it. Pretty good technique, yep. Jerry. You yeah. rotate, rotate, and, th and thrust. That's the story. Um, come on, kid. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to run the um, the two of them into the end of the um, the, bar, the, the 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 extrusion, or at the end of the the plastic end that you have there, the extruded uh, molded part. This should fit into two holes at the end of it. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, it should be it should be a, a recess from the drop into. Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah there's two little of um. Raised areas with the hole with, for, with the holes. With. Oh, this is the build plate. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, that's your wire. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This already looks more complicated than the rat rig. Holy crap! <laughs> but there's a lot less wiring in this than the rat rig. <laughs> yeah, my hard wiring. Job. It's not the same well, wiring. It's longer. My hypercube didn't come with instructions. So you had to watch other people's videos, read what you could find, and then once you built something, you'd realize they made a mistake in their video, but they corrected it in the next video, and you had to go back and fix everything. Yep. So, but uh, teaching um, Michael has been doing one, a great job on it. One second. Oh, wow. um, Jerry, can I see the whole length of that? Can you see the other end of that whole rig? Like, zoom out, Jerry. The other rig. Um... The two should be on the short side. So he should flip it around. You should flip saying? it around. You, you do a one eighty, so one wrong way around. Flip the that top piece around. Should be on the other end. Yeah. This over here. Because on yeah. one end the plastic sticks out. Um, the rail. Oh, overhangs. I forgot. I forgot something right here. Anyway. Yeah. Liam, so, how did you let him forget something? You can just take it off and, and spin it around and slide it back yeah. on again. Why? What's different about it? it looks oh, well, identical on both well, sides. No, if you if you look at the rig, one side the y-axis um, base sticks out further, and the, the okay, the, you're right. Yeah, so the, the and the one with the larger opening in the center that you just you just highlighted should be on the shorter side. Where the um, okay. does that center the rods over the extrusion? Is that um, what you're saying? It, it sent no one. They're actually offset. On the, from the extrusion, they're not over okay. There. Okay, I forgot to put one of these. Uh, tip your camera down, Jerry. There you go. He's, he's playing cool. Christian Paul, he's just filling his glass up again. Yeah, that again. looks right now. Somebody's got a lot of kids in the background. That's, Tim. That's you, isn't it, Tim? <laughs> There's one child upstairs. Five-year-old upstairs. You can hear him from there, from this mic. Wow. Oh, yeah, they can hear the kids up there talking, yeah. Young child, maybe five or six. I don't think it's anybody yeah, else. Yeah, there's someone the up there screaming, yeah. Which mic? I think I'm using the wrong <laughs> mic. Hang on. It's not me. I'm the only child in the hey, house uh, right now. That looks Tim, right you now. Have him him and it's not Matt. That's the you, Tim. Yeah. All right. That's good to go. Yeah, that's good. So yeah. your next stage um, oh, yeah. is... Work it, work it some more, Jerry, and then get the rid other of your excess grease. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Say that again, more. Karen. Say, work, work it for, all the way to the end of the rods. The, right to the end. Right to the end. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, right all the way up to the end. Yeah. Hit the end yeah. Right up against the hit the end. Yeah. Get that grease light at the end, yeah. That's yeah. It. Well, he can add extra on it anyway in a while. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, yeah. And so, so you put on the other part with the, the other four um, M3 or M520s. And then we get on to ex attaching your uh, stepper motor. The fun, the fun parts. So check that the Y belt holder on the carriage will be aligned with the pulley that you that you just installed. There you go. Yeah, it is. It's, it's aligned with the stepper mount. Um, the the stepper mounting plate, which is just where your hand is, Jerry. 
That's we're going to attach a stepper motor there for your Y. Can I go ahead and put four bolts in? Uh, you put in four bolts, yep, and you attach that. And you also have to get a um, the Y axis motor, M3 12 screws by three, and a pulley, which is T16 2GT, one of them. The pulley's okay. got here, the pulley in the bag in front of him, so he's got the pulley there. Yeah. I would say get it to bite somewhat. Don't tighten anything yet. I would say wait to till you have a step runner before you pull all that together. Yeah, I just give them snug and stop. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Facebook Marketplace is where I sold my under 3V2. I was asking right. 200 for it. The lady said, Will we take 175? I'll make sure. She came out and she's an older person that you know doesn't know much about printers, but she's in a small group where they're tinkering with that same printer. So I gave her a manual and all the wrenches. I told her a little bit, even though I know it kind of went over her head. And I gave her one of my cards and I wrote down and told her a little information. And uh, she paid me through PayPal and they took like another six bucks. So I think I got like, like 169 for it. Okay. And then I got my T Bush Ranch Pro up for sale once I sell it. And it's loaded with all kinds of bells and whistles from TH3D. Then I'll move on to my other enders. Okay, that's done. Okay, now attach the pulley to your, um, or sorry, yeah, attach the pulley to your to your Y-axis motor, and then we're going to mount that onto the undercarriage of your uh, of the rails of your Y-axis. Yeah, I got two identical motors, so it shouldn't matter which one. Yes, it will. It's not long now. On the pulley, the the tooted part should be towards the motor. The flat end, the flat end where your grub screw is should be pointing away from the motor. The way you put it on. Okay, I got to see which motor because I got three different lengths of cords. The connectors on. It should be marked Y your Y motor, I believe. Check on the cable. Okay. Hey, which one am I looking for? The Y axis. Okay, I got it. This this one, all right. And you're going to put a pulley on it and tighten up with a grub screw. But you're going to make sure that the part where the grub screw is is pointing at is at the end of the shaft, not in towards the motor. And that mounts in the back, okay? That mounts underneath. Yeah. Um. So it actually it sticks out, so it lines up with your put with your the pulley you put on in the front, your idler in the front. Which way does the wire run out? And the wire runs out underneath. Okay, straight down. Uh, yeah, I pointed. No, that's pointing. Which way is a? That's got to yeah. go this way. No, it should be pointing upwards towards you because it should be pointing. Um, no, no, no. The other way, Jerry. The bracket, the way the bracket's mounted, has to go in right here. It, yeah, but turn it. Um, or turn it no, 90 no, degrees. No, no, he's right. He's right. He's right. He he comes, not by the up. picture here. It lines up no, with the idler. It does. So. I mean, the art is where the cables come out. The yeah, yeah, the cable, right. yeah, okay. yeah, I move the cable to the bottom. Yeah, yeah right. okay, that's yeah. correct. Yes. Yep, yep. But before you do right that, here. put the yeah. idler on the end. The, the, Just wait. Yeah. There should be an idler going on the end of that. I got a loose one laying here. The other way around, Jerry. So the grub screw is pointing outwards, away yeah. from. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, screw in. Okay, ready? Here you go. Here's your plug here, Jerry. Go. It's a like when I'm subscribed. Absolutely. Excellent. There you go. Good job. You, what are you looking for? Paint? Yeah. What kind of paint do you need? Um, I mean, did you say please like and subscribe? Colorful. He did. He said like and subscribe. Yep. I need colorful paint. The messy paint, Tim. Colorful. What if we don't want to like and subscribe? Why, Mike? Well, you don't have to. You guys hear me? I'm doing a birthday stream next Saturday. A birthday stream? It's your yeah, birthday? Yeah, my birthday next Saturday. I'll be 57. So I and since I stream on Saturdays, that'll be a birthday stream. Yeah, wait a minute, minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You've been saying that you're 57 for a while. You're going to be 58. No, I'm born June 12, 1964. Uh, there you go. Yeah. 
Two twelve sixty four. What's the last four of your social? Yeah. <laughs> 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 What's I bet you don't know your mother's maiden name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, the city of birth. That's going to be hard to tell you those screws in there. Yep. There should be three M um, M three twelves. Three? No, it don't take three grub screws to hold the motor in. It says three. It says three M three twelves. Oh, M three twelve. They say grub. No, the grub is to hold the idler on. M three twelve. That would be weird to, to mount your your motor with grub screws. Yeah, they'd rip up the belt. <laughs> <laughs> so the one thing I really like about that base uh, is if you look is the filament going right underneath there. Yeah, perfect. It looks Beautiful. nice, yeah. And it works like I don't have a I have to get a longer Bowden tube for it, but it works perfect like that. I printed a benchy and it went flawless. And rerouting right. the um the, the cable and the SD card as well looks like oh it's, it's awesome I I need a longer USB extension cord the, hey. hey Tim or Kieran the G code files um instead of SDLs for that base they have them there they have, they have uh, G code files well those for the mini or the Mark three or whatever it's called mini there are G codes okay. for the mini oh okay. there's a question there for you Tim does the uh, filament spin for the mini really? Yes, it does actually. It turns. It actually spins quite freely, surprisingly. Is it so, mounted on bearings, or is it? Um... No, no. The the it just sits on. If, let me switch to the picture again. There, um, it just kind of sits on. I'll see if I can get it closer up to show you. Hang on one sec. Oh, how in the hell do you get that third one? In? Yeah, it's it. That's got to be mounted before he puts his hand cap on. That has uh, well, to be not the order in which they said to do it, but okay. It ha I mean, it has to be. I can't get in there otherwise. You can take it off then and, do, and, and put it on. I guess Betty booped it and popped in yet. Have you seen her in chat? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Probably sleeping. But no, it just turns. It's, it's touching very little plastic on plastic. It's just there's little oval grooves on each side that the edge of the spool dips sits on, so there's very little resistance to it. Will it wear out after a while? Probably. You should buy some Teflon. Yeah. Little Teflon pads and put it over them, and then yeah. it will become seamless. It'll last. Yeah. I was yeah. going to order through cement in orange and black mm -hmm. just for that purpose. But since I just got this roll of blue, I'll probably do mine in blue and whatever, orange or something. Does it feed better than the included spool stand, Tim? It feeds just as well. It's, it feeds just as well. I, I mean, I've only run the benchy to begin with, so. But um, it'll be smoother once I get the Bowden tube right down, because right now the filament's coming up and rubbing on a piece of the uh, frame. I just don't have any Bowden tube with me here. It's out all, all downtown. Yeah, now I can get to the screws. Okay, there you go. Tim, you have like 10,000 of everything else. How do you yeah. have no Bowden tube? Yeah, Tim's I do. It's down at my office. Um, <laughs> although, no, to be truthful, I do have some here. I can't find it. <laughs> um, it's buried under all your other Amazon orders. It's Tim, buried under something. what buried. does the shark logo represent, Tim? That, well, the sh I just threw those in the spares. Um, those are my stickers I did for my diving, scuba diving. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, here, uh, and then I had the here. custom stamp. I had custom stamps made for DeWitt. There's where I put them right there in the bottom. Nice. Nice. Order some orange Capricorn tubing. I've never seen orange Capricorn. No, no just really. blue or dark blue. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I normally go with, with the um, the excess. Yeah, the, the darker blue. Yeah. Yeah. Grayish. There's a there's a company. I can't think of their name, but they make um they make them in in different green and blue and red and black oh. and um I can't think of who it is. They're not. It's not the most exacting tolerance but it's you know it's good enough and it depends on the printer too because some printers you can't have 
like like the Daedalus. I can't run Capricorn hey, Zach, on it or I'll get jams. Hey, Zach. What's up, Zach? Hey, Zach. I was on his stream. I think Zach is live streaming today. We're going to live stream on her. Lots of streams today. Yeah, I like the, the, the white slash clear that the Bruce and Mini comes with because you can actually see the filament go in it. Yeah, but um, those have a lot of a lot of leeway. There's a um, lot of play inside those, though. Yeah. Repost. If you want, repost the uh, uh, invite link if Zach wants to hop in. Sure. Let me get uh, Let me. I think I already have it in my. There you go. <coughs> then whoever's at top behind my logo, move them. Move move you guys around a little bit. So I'll move get me up. I'll That's hide Matt. my face yeah. and I'll bring Jer I'll bring him, uh, Matt down. Oh, this looks way better. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You see, uh, I know where to go to get complimented. And it's not here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking just good, going, Liam. Looking going. good. Yeah. It's the best coach. image of me ever, right? Thanks, Liam. Oh, Liam, you lost some weight. <laughs> <laughs> but you've gained a lot of weight. So that's good. Mm. Is it in shape, though? Rectangle's a shape. Rectangle's a shape. Yeah, hey, pear is a shape. Round is a shape. <laughs> Round's a shape. Yeah. <laughs> Hey Jason, those i i wis um, crimpers you recommended are amazing. Man, they, they are smooth and they work mm -hmm. great. They're pretty good. I've I I mean they like anything else you know on Amazon. It's hit or miss. Um, like one yeah. of the one of the ones I've got from them, I had to take it apart, dry clean it, clean it off. They were they were overly lubricated but i think the lubrication oh, okay. was dirty so i had to take it apart and lube it up um stop it karen i had to lube it up and uh <laughs> <laughs> i didn't say a word i clean it up a little you didn't have to i saw your face <laughs> <laughs> oh, and and that helped a lot it was a little um it was a little jerky when you yeah. When you pull it in Karen. and out, but for the most part, they're okay. Karen. <laughs> well, there's only two rules. When in doubt, use a bigger hammer or use more lube. That's, that'll fix up both that's your problems. It. So that's, that's it, basically. That's it. You know, I, I spent a lot. I've spent enough time in Australia, okay? I know what you're thinking. <laughs> well, I'm a Kiwi, so I, I, I've got a big tolerance. Oh, okay. wait, wait, you're a Kiwi. I'm a Kiwi, yeah. Kiwi. Oh, I'm no, worse. I have I'm a worse. shirt. I have a shirt in the closet that I won in a um, in a in a game of strip poker from a, a Kiwi Air Force person. We'll just say we won't say who if she was male or female, but we'll just say I won the shirt. <laughs> yes, I did. I lost exactly. other things, but I won exactly. the shirt. Exactly. <laughs> we'll just <laughs> well, what's your initial views on the um the two hundred? What's up, Zach? Yeah. Zach, join in the debauchery. We we've uh, <laughs> we're being anyone. horrible here. <laughs> Zach, I can't hear him. Debauchery. We we've uh, we got feedback. Yeah, you got your um, yeah, YouTube a little bit. tuned on, Zachary. Zach, do you have YouTube as well? on as well? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's going well. Yeah, Pause YouTube. the YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Zach, do you have YouTube on as well? YouTube. Uh, no. Yeah, Pause the YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. So better? Um, I think that's better. Yes. Yeah, let's try. That fixed it. That got it. Yeah. Your mic's a little low, though. Yeah. Yeah, bump the, the volume, the output of your mic. You can change it also, Liam. You can uh, click on yeah. the settings. Yeah. Let me go in and edit the mic settings, and I'm going to bump him up. Is Liam still here? I'm still here. I'm hiding. I can't He's see him. Not allowed. <laughs> not allowed. Not allowed. I don't want to, you know, over... Everybody. Can you put the people on the left instead of the right? That way the logo's on the right, or no? I don't know. One of those buttons down there. there no, that's not it. No. One of them does it. Um, no, it doesn't. Okay. No, I can either put them on. I, can, I can't do it. There's no option. Turn, turn my logo off, then. Okay. Can you move the logo to the left? I can move the logo. Let me go to the back. Okay, if you can now. move it, see if you can move it. Or um, whatever your left is. I can move it, but I don't want to do it. Alrighty, that part's together. 
Yay, Step Step one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it does say to put the motor in first and then tighten it up, which I just did. It won't let me move it. I have to put it in a, in a stream somewhere. Let me see if it'll fit down here. No, it won't move. So I have to put it there or I have to put it in here somewhere. Nope, that's not Whoa. what I want. No, that's not what I want. Oh, not a pretty <laughs> sight. Thank not you. Not what we want. Um... Let's see. Any vibration pads, uh, parts preparation? Yeah, I can't see the change of position. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's, it, yeah, that's them, yeah. Preparation, I guess, is pop them out. Yeah, and peel off the, the back of them. Look at this. I'm completing this step really fast, guys. Whoa. <laughs> step. Done. Six of them? Well, and they go on to eat candy. Yeah, it's supposed to tell me when, they eat, when I can eat candy. It hasn't happened. So they I guess I'm moving too slow. They go on to the oh. underside of the of the V-rail. Just stick them to the end, right? By, just before the plastic, yeah. On, just stick them on each, um, one on the end of each. I can't see where your hand is, so... Yeah, yeah exactly. stick them there uh, uh, on, on both ends, and, you're, and that's it. Then we move on to the belt. Oh! Huh? Let me guess, with the sticky side on the ground. It, yeah, st uh, sticky stuff always falls like a cat. Sticky side down, always. It's like when you butter <laughs> bread or toast and you drop it, it always lands with the butter. No, I thought bread. you put the sticky side up so it'll stick to the table better. You could try it, or you could stick it to the wall and see if it'll print. Oh, yeah. You can print on the wall or on the ceiling. It's actually, the ceiling is better than the wall to print on. And I got two extra, so they go in the middle. Uh, so it doesn't say to do that, but you can, I'm assuming. Well, unless there's another purpose for them. No, there's there, there. sticky things fall. Do they land non sticky side up then where you are? Say that, Tim. Uh, it's always the same. Tim, the <laughs> they go in the middle? No, I wouldn't. They'll save the stairs for when you build your base because you're going to have oh. to tear the other ones off. Okay. And if, All right. you, if you happen to damage a couple of the other ones, you have some stairs. All right. Okay, that's done. So your next part is the is the uh, is the Y axis belt. It's a 496 millimeter Y axis belt. Is that 496? It says 4820, a bunch of, uh, part number. It doesn't give me a part Belt number. Y mini. Yeah, that's it. Why? <laughs> why? No, I'm not asking why. <laughs> why? Why not? But but why? But why? Yeah, why? I, yeah, it, if it says why, then it's probably the right yeah, one. Both of them are the same. Yeah, so. I'm sure the lengths are different, though. So one end of that attaches, you have to flip it upside down. There should be an adapter on the carriage that t uh, that actually where your belt is crimped into. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. Because I got the pulley and then I got, okay, I'm just trying to figure out. There should be a little black, it should be actually mounted in the mid piece. It doesn't look like you have it in there. There should be a part in the middle where you're you're missing it, I think. Yeah. Could you let him skip a step? No, Liam? I didn't see it anywhere on it. But there's this should be a um, a bracket that goes in, that goes in there. Yeah, Glenn. Okay, let me scroll up and see where I missed. It's you know insert the in both of the lower groove of the mini Y belt. Yeah, I didn't see a mini Y belt holder anywhere, but it's calling for. Oh, I never belt. did put those metal doohickeys in here. I mean, I got to take them back off because I never slid these in there. Oh, the doohickeys will get you every the time. The watch recallers. Yeah, got to get the watch recallers. Sure they're watch recallers. Them above, aren't they? Yeah, they got to go in there. So I got to take it back apart from them. Uh, it back. doesn't say that here anywhere yet. I'm looking at a picture, step 24, where there's in there. Look at I didn't see them. I didn't see them. Sorry. Look. My bad. Whoa. 
I'm trying to scroll up where it shows putting them in. At some point, you told me to find them. Yeah, take it off and slide them in there. Hmm. All four of them? Secure both parts uh, with two screws. One second. Uh, don't see the the mini y rear belt. You need in total four pieces. Uh, three goes on the outer side. And uh, one goes on the top. That's a nice bench. We did mention it was only 50 bucks to have it pre-built, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't have this. The many wide plate rear all the way on. It doesn't say how many of them are to go in there. Yeah, I think it's... Manning, I don't see what step talks about them at all. Step 20, look at one. One, one second, I've seen them up here. It talks about them on step 18. 18. Can we go to 18? It says the three of them, and then it stops. So I'm assuming two go in one side, one goes in the other. But you, it doesn't talk. But that um, tensioner needs to go in the middle of that plate as well for the the clamp for the for the belt. Okay, it's saying three of them. Yeah. Okay. But which side have two? Let me scroll ahead and see uh, which side uses two, mm -hmm. and I can give you the answer. How about that? But in the meantime, I gotta take this apart so I can. That noise was a manual hitting the floor that I'm not looking at. <laughs> I'm just looking. I'm, I'm scrolling ahead to see where those two. Is it my internet or is it uh, Jerry? Something. Uh, it's yours. Is it's it's smooth. yours. Yes, it's mine. This end. Hey Zach, were you live streaming today, or are you live streaming later? Or? Yeah, you live streamed this morning. Yeah, I was on. Oh, he was on on. Yeah, it's well, on the yeah, he was on with the um, the CR two hundred, the new yeah, the white one. enclosed printer. I got up early just so I could watch Liam. I don't normally set my alarm and get up, so I don't sleep well at night. Oh. And I got up early, so I wanted to check and say hi to Liam and everybody. What time is it there, then? Well, Loopy, how you doing? It's hey, well, it's, well, well, I'm, I'm, it's five o'clock in in Vegas. Um, it's eight o'clock for me in Michigan. Yeah, it's five o'clock. Eight p.m. Yeah, it's yeah, behind yeah, me, Liam. Yeah. Yeah, so here it's just uh, almost two o'clock in the morning. Talking yeah. about a global stream. Yeah, okay. okay, I took that back apart. Yeah, usually when I'm, I'm doing live streams, it's always around my time, uh, half past nine o'clock in the evening. So it's still good. Um, I, I imagine they go on the top because that's that I, have to I know the they go on the outside. They go on the outside of the rails because they're going to hold up your Z axis. But I'm not, sh I think it doesn't show very clearly here. Um, one second, I'm trying to figure out which way is which because the images are. This is the front right here. So I'm assuming right here when you say outside rail. Correct. This should be. This should be one. Probably two here and then one here. Maybe. Um, there's one on top. Uh, is there one on top? Yeah, there's one goes on top and two on the outside. Yeah, because they hold that holds the Z axis in place. On the right side, obviously. Uh, correct, I believe. Yeah. I got an Amazon delivery. Hold on. The dog agrees with you. Quick second. I'm I'm also watching it through the uh, <laughs> through the instructions, but indeed it's yeah he's he's only on step. Let me scroll back. Wipe it. Wipe it. You can turn off your porn. Come say hi to everybody. Yeah, he's only doing the he's only doing the belt tensioner right now. So he has to, he's attached the bell tensioner. He's on step twenty. 
Come on. He'll be on step 28 once he gets the end reattached. Oh, look at that. And is that water? Come on. You're doing it wrong. Water and nice. chicken. Should be a nice glass of white wine. You should be shy to come and say hi to everybody. <laughs> what we figure out? So no, you you are right. One on top, two on the side, and then you need to put flip everything over. You need to put the end back on, flip yeah. it over, and put in the belt clamp in the middle. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Love you too. Like three. Oh, dude, you're not, my mics are all turned off. Well, no, you're Your camera mic is on. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a Sony A5100. It doesn't have a mic. Well, if it's off, how are you talking to us? We can hear you. So. I don't yeah. know. There's a mic on somewhere. Okay, hang on. Oh, that's, that's, the one that, that's the one I hid in his house. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's the other stream. Uh, that's a special stream. <laughs> wow. Gotta be careful what I say. Mm. Why? You've never done that before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's that now? <laughs> So yeah, so and then once and then once that's on you put the belt clamp into the middle of the plate. So we'll actually can set up your Y belt next. Belt clamp. Yes, it's um it's the top of it actually it lifts up and you, you can have it's two the so it actually you can put the, the, the belt in there and it can clamp on top of them. It's the Y axis belt holder is what they call it. Is it 3D printed and looks like this? Uh, no, yep, yeah, that kind of looks like it. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So that goes on. So. Um, well, that mounts right here. Okay, in the middle. On. So you're in your. In your so you have, well, flip it upside down, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There, I'm doing it again. I was. They kind of teased in spring a long time ago about her going, yeah, yeah. Making when she when people talk to her, and then I started doing it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, by the yeah, way, yeah. The, the, the openings where you slide the belt in should be pointing away from you, Jerry. No, Lee, that's fine. That's fine. Put I know. I'm looking to see which way is away from me. No, 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 no. Put that down the way it was. The part that's in your hand for the belt to hold the belt, if there's there's grooves in it for the belt to slot into. Yeah, I know that. Turn the slots away from you and you attach it. Correct. It and this would that, be way. that would be facing the right side if I mount it like that. Yeah. Because this is the left side of the printer. Okay, I don't know which is left and right, but I just know what um, the orientation of it. Okay, and then the bolts that hold it down are... The bolts that hold it down... Uh, one second, I'll find that for you. I'm looking for the picture also. Because we talk about installing it... It's two of the M five twenties. Oh no, yeah, M five twenties. I think it is M five twenties. I think. How long until you have to go, Liam? I have to leave in about thirty minutes. Uh oh, Tim, can you jump in on that? Can I jump in? Sure. When uh, mm -hmm. when Liam takes off? Yeah, let me find the um, website. Did you right. just log in with my email? Put it in private chat, uh, and then Tim can drop in as me. I'll give him the code. Yeah, I'll go to private chat and I'll send it to Tim. One second, I have it here. Look what I, I found, see... Tim. What's that? Nice. That's an old, old, old one. Yeah, it's an old yeah, penny it is. one. Take, yeah. take a look at take penny a look penny. at that picture. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> M3 by That's what? I think it's M3 by. Um, is it, no, is it M? No, it's not the. It's M3 by 12s, I think. M3 by 12. Okay. I believe. Just one second. I'm just getting your email for Tim. Okay, M3 by 12. I see two. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, Cheers, Zachary. I'm gonna head for bed. Well, thank you thank very much you for coming everyone. by.
Hey Matt, you, I'll email you about that. Um, that's the thing. About that body yeah. for the yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank All you, right. thank you. Say he did too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, Tim, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. the email address is in private chat. Okay. And that'd be. And then song? Jerry will send you the, the 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 number when he gets it. Link. Now, is there a link on our website I gotta go to? No, you just go to Streamyard, Streamyard. and then you oh. log out as your name, log in with his email address. Yeah, like we do with you, Tim, every week. Yeah. Every oh, week. Oh, 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 okay. And then <laughs> that way you can control control chat. Chat. the manual from them, but do you have a manual? Of, of, where are you reading from, Liam? I have the manual online, and it's in private chat as well. Oh, yeah, okay. I posted it in private chat earlier. You might want to. You post it again. I don't see it because I joined late. Okay, I can take care of that. I can just copy and paste. One second. Yeah, you don't have to. If you guys are busy, I mean, I can do this by myself, but if you have time to help, that's great. It's more fun. We can interfere. It's much more fun interfering. There you go. They're both in. It's in private chat now, Tim, as well. Okay. Perfect. Well, I, I can have fun with this message. Liam's astronomy group is more important than the 3D printing community, so he has to go. Well, <laughs> yes. Well, I wouldn't say it's more important, but. Um, other commitments. I'm, you know, I have other commitments. Yeah. yeah, we already talked about this earlier. Mm -hmm. What step Not are you on right now? Now? Sorry. What step are you on right now? We are. He is going. He needs to attach the centerpiece, which he's doing right now. And after he's done with that, he's on the. He's attaching the belt. So twenty-eight. Step, step 28. twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Okay. I can, my mouse doesn't work that well, and I do have it open on the screen, but it's kind of hard to see from here. But I'm kind of following it. Okay. And then William's backing me up. So um, when you're ready to log in, you'll have to log out here and then log back in again, Tim, with okay. his email address. Yeah, with my email, and then I'll give you the code. Okay. There we are. Step 28. There we are. Okay. Uh, so the belt goes into that, um, Jerry? Into the bracket and around the pulley. and then goes around the pulley, and it, you put in the bottom one first. So the teeth should be pointing upwards towards you. Okay. Not the motor side, the other side first. Don't put it, use the idler first, not the motor side. So when I got the bracket turned around wrong, because if I go into the bottom bracket, oh, the bottom bracket is the one closest. Yeah, to so, so no, don't feed that in there yet. Just feed it through the idler first. And down through the idler, so that when it comes out the other side, the, the teeth are facing upwards. Yeah, the teeth will be against the smooth pulley. Yeah. Yeah. Not the smooth side of the belt on the smooth the pulley. teeth always are always in against the pulley, correct. Yeah. The smooth side should be outwards. Correct. Yeah, that's right way around. And that yeah. slides into the bottom one, the, the bottom part of the clamp first. Yeah. Which is, since it's upside down, it's a top part. Uh, no, it's a part nearest the um, nearest to plate, the build plate, which is underneath. should be at the bottom. Yeah. It should be on tip, the bottom. Tip it back the other way a little bit. Like, the part that's on the front of you, Jerry, tip it down. There yeah, you go. Yep. Yeah, that's in right. Yeah, it so slides like the into picture. the bottom is what it should be. It slides into the groove yeah. there. Yeah. On this side, the notch is closest to the bottom of the printer, where it slides in. Right there, it doesn't. I don't go, think it matters. It doesn't it matter does. as long as it's held, because all you're doing is going to get a belt to hit the hole in place, and then you're going to tension it afterwards. It doesn't. I don't think it matters which way is which. Does it, guys? It doesn't, because they don't overlap. Well, I don't. I don't know if it off centers, but the way he's got it matches the photo. Yeah. In the, um, yeah. In the instructions. Now bring the other one around. Tripod garage. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you very much, Tripod. Did that play? No. Oh, now it did. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. There's no, there's no smoke in this one so far, John. This is a real good one. He hasn't got yeah. power to it yet. There's plenty of time for smoke to come. It's well, not a real printer without magic smoke. In the other guy, don't subscribe to type tripod to garage, please do so. He's a great guy, there's a lot of great videos out there. Uh, Jerry, before you put that in there, loosen the idler on the other end a little bit to give you more play because that's your belt tensioner. Yeah, because right now I don't have enough room to even reach it because I put the first belt in all the way in the bracket. Oh, you put in too much of it. Okay, well, loosen the idler, you might it might give it. If not, you'll have to reseat the, the belt again. Oh. 
Now don't don't take it off. Just loosen it so it's you got a bit more play. Yeah, like Jerry, I don't know if it makes a if it like I don't know if your belt length is different, but in the picture it shows the side coming from the motor going into that clamp about halfway, and then the other side on the idler going in all the way. But that could depend on the length of the belt they gave you. Okay, with that clamp loose, that's probably going to work out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Put it tight, get it in there, and then you can actually um, adjust your tension. That's funny. You should have purchased a real printer. <laughs> Pain in the ass. I'm Are you talking about the belt? Or are you talking about me? You're probably right in both cases. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not designed for normal-sized hands. Looks like. This is where you hire a child to do it for you. <laughs> no, they didn't call it the mini for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so what's for dinner there, Tim? Just some leftover chicken. And um, I've got this really cool um, sweet chili sauce to dip it in. You just have All that right. sitting around? <laughs> That's weird. It's there since oh, last week. <laughs> Come on. There's, there's... Last, last week there was some whole chilies left to the side. Some reason it's made its own soup. <laughs> <laughs> it's got about for last week. Instant sauce. You know, it might be easier if you would take that uh, that um the connector off the, the base. Um, it might it actually won't be. It'll get in the way. I'm just trying to find a way to make it easier for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I took off the other belt. I'm putting this one in first. Get right up in it. Get right up what if you loosen the motor? Would that no, give the, you some the slack? And then no, you can no, it. Right, so. no, no. Mm. It, it, the, the motor um, is on the opposite axis. Wait, what? The X, the, the Y motor is on the opposite no, axis? No, the, the motor is mounted... Uh, across the printer. Oh, cross side. So oh, I see what you're saying. It, you can only uh, move in or out. I see it now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Boo. Mm -hmm. 50 bucks, man. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you are 6SC. That's his favorite printer. Yeah. That's John's favorite you know, printer. We know, we know that worked out really well for John. He has two of them. Well, two. Uh, here's the funny two. thing. John's, John's um, CR6SC it's like everybody else's treadmill. It's gathering dust. I still do. <laughs> mine, mine works fine. It's working behind me. No problem uh, at all. But, well, see, there's a difference between between you and John, Kieran. You knew how to use it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Be, to be fair, John, that was my first printer out of the box. So it was all new to me. So John had a head start. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've said it. You know, John doesn't like it when I say it, but the CR6 is is actually a pretty good printer. <laughs> you know, it yeah. is. Yeah. A lot of people say it's really, like once they got the version out, it no longer goes up in smoke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. well, I, I, I have yet, I have yet to touch my build plate to put. I've got a roll of Capton tape to put it. It's still the original. Um, Kickstarter with the 1.03 bed version, so it's still mm -hmm. all, the, all the warts on it. <laughs> so apart from the power switch, that's all I've changed on it, just the power switch, nothing else. Yeah, mine mine came with the Kapton tape, not the full 3D printed shim fix. Yes, yeah, so yeah, the one was a Kickstarter. The one was the original Kickstarter, like <laughs> like um, John's was, but um, mm. luckily, um, oh. I, I've got a I've got a nice ladder on my USB and. Um, I, I've mm -hmm. got a, I've got two spare motherboards, an old one so and a new one. Man. So now we give we so, can give them. A, oh, uh, sorry, what happened there? I, well, sorry, I had the stream. Zachary fell off. I hit hey, the wrong button. Hey, hey so, John. Hey, John. So John oh, you know, John had to jump in. in. John, he needs to defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Damn. You're always in your car. Why are you always in your car? Uh, unlike us, John's got a life. Oi, I resemble that, that, that comment. 
John has places to go and things to do, unlike us poor sad bastards. Well, I do too, but it's, um, it just happens to be on another stream. <laughs> well, maybe maybe that maybe that just examples, you know, how much time he spends building the CR6. So, you know. yeah, your mic <laughs> needed a tripod. We can't hear you, tripod. You're muted, that's John. Because I haven't said anything. <laughs> oh, he, 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 he's no, that's quiet. perfect. That's perfect. If he can All right, hear us, if you can't hear him. That's great. Cool. So now you have that belt on. <laughs> Your next thing is you have to you uh, may have to move the idler on your um, on your motor in or out to make sure it's all in alignment. Square to make it yeah, square. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Just unwind the motor. Just unwind. <laughs> unwind it. Yeah, it seems to be okay. Okay, now set your belt tension on your y-axis. Already did that. <clears throat> okay, then you move on. Now you have to get out your. Um, Get out your gummy bears, lay them out in the print bed, and eat them. Wow. How, how so you have to reward. Step 31 says reward yourself. So you have to eat some now. No, this no. If this reward it involves a large glass and a cork. I've never fruit. tried them before. They're okay. Those aren't the sugar free Haribos, are they? Because those will Bite destroy your tongue. you. Bite your tongue, Jason. <laughs> they sell even smaller stores. Oh, wait, no, Jerry, you're, you're making too much noise. This is carefully and quietly open them. Not make noise doing so. These are the instructions. It says it here step by step. And it says, I don't like anything, but I, had, I got two in my mouth. Here goes two more. It also says, um, it says, each row of bears is intended for a specific chapter on, or is fit in specific parts of the chapter. So spread the bears out in six rows. There's, there's, not enough, there's not enough bears for the parts in the chapters Jerry's doing so far. Wait, step 28C says only eat the red bears. You didn't eat the green one, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I got an error on my computer. What's going on? It's after midnight, Jason. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So your next thing is you're going to do the the the, the bottom parts um, preparation now, now for the... Um, you found the mute button, Tim. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know where it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the rubber one, Tim, right? The one that bounces? Yeah, yeah. That's the, fake, that's the fake one. That's the fake one. It's like the checkbook. You're the one that you drop and it comes back up and gets you into your hand again. Oh, no. That's the dog's, that's the dog's credit card. <laughs> She claims she needs a cup of gas. 8.30. So. Listen to me. <laughs> He's in trouble. Oh, yeah. He's in trouble. <laughs> <He's in> trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Who dropped out? Hi, Tim. Oh, Tim dropped out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He just mic'd off again. He's scared. <laughs> so we have to abuse him more to bring him back in again. <laughs> Oh man! So where yes, does Jerry yeah. disappear to? Jerry, can you hear me? Maybe they uh, were in the sugar-free hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, the that's what's wrong with those sugar sugar-free ones. They have other adverse side effects. You just want to keep yes, away from those sugar-free ones. Have you seen that one? That one? Um, it's like a really long Amazon review of the sugar-free Haribos. No. Oh, it's Oh my gosh! It's 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 always voted the most like popular one. You got Have you, you guys got to read the, it. The YouTube video of um of the uh, a programmer, a developer, and the and the product manager are they the QA for Haribo? No, 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 no for Haribo. Just in general about what a developer, what an engineer sees, and then when the QA tests the engineer's product, they're using a little um, a kids blocks, you know, the square and the triangle blocks, <laughs> yeah. and they they put the the square in the square hole, and they put a round. They put a round one in a round hole, and then they put an M shaped one into the M shaped hole, and they put the triangle one in a square hole, and they put the the, the um, octagonal one goes in the square hole, and you see the engineer's face again changing as it happens, you know. <laughs> but it will fit. It will fit. Yeah, yeah but, it, but it's funny. That they, they, I, let me, you have to find the video of it. It's, it's kind of funny. 
Um, we have one at work where it's like, um, you know, what the engineer designed, and it's a tree swing. Oh, I've seen that. Or it's yeah. like what's the what what the customer wants, and then what the engineer did, and then what the installers did to make it work, and then and it's just like I'm not like the no tree's work. cut in half and then propped up on stilts so the swing <laughs> can move because the engineer designed it screwed up and. <laughs> oh, it's your bedtime already. Okay. Well, take care. Oh, bye. Good night. Take care. Uh, Take care there's another one. Um, there's one. I have. I, I used to have this in my office when I had an office. Oh, Jerry's changed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. He's back. So no, my really hard drive ran out of space. My OBS. I got taping in the background to make a separate video. It ran out of space. Oh. So I had to delete a bunch of stuff and then hit uh, start again. But now I'm moving on to this doohickey right here. Yes. So, so Jerry, the, just, just to point out legs that you have the two spare pads go on to that are used in this one. And you're two hours past your twenty minute build time, Jerry. Just just point that well, out. See, I don't mind. No, I didn't is. say twenty minutes. The guy on a group, <laughs> hey. the guy on a Prusa group said, "Oh, it's only going to take you twenty minutes to put it together." I said, "No, He's this is bullshit." Kid. There's this no way. Ball. Yeah, no there's way. no way. Jason, no way. It's okay. yeah. I don't mind. I mean, paid by twenty the hour. minutes okay. would, is even for the pre-assembled <laughs> one. I mean, twenty minutes is my ass. Yeah, twenty yeah. minutes is to unbox it. Yeah, yeah. at least. <laughs> Come on. Just, Jason, okay, now I got to put in all the little nuts. There, probably there is uh, there is uh, four M threes and nuts and uh, eight M three N S nuts. Bye. Bye. Never. Bye. We never behave. <laughs> but um, yeah, but I just one I used to always have in my office, and it's it, uh, I used to ha have it up so when people walk into my office, they see it. It says everyone brings happiness into this room, some by entering and some by leaving. <laughs> Where in the world? Y axis announcement. It should be in the Y and Z axis package. Okay, I got that right here. And you will need a mini Z bottom, which you have. And then you have four M3N nuts, four or eight M3NS, the, the one anti vibration foam pad, and um, the remaining foam pad as spare. So okay. you have one more of those pads you'll be using. You take all these out and dump them out. Now you can't hear me. Now we can. No. Hey, Tim. Yes. Did you, did you uh, log back in as me? No, I'll do that right now. I was trying to figure okay. out my sound. You guys are hearing things you shouldn't hear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, no. Tim. And you're in a lot of trouble, Tim. No. Tim, yeah, we need exactly. to get people also. <laughs> Well, I don't understand because all my other mics are muted. Oh no! Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! Now you're now muted. Now. You. now, now you're good. Now you're good. Still muted, Jason. What are you sharing? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna log, oh, I'm gonna it's log that engineering in. picture. I found it. Okay, I'll bring it up temporarily because I um, I think Jerry wants to stay on main screen. No, oh, no, no. Leave. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead and show it. I, I got to figure out what I'm doing here. Yeah, I've seen that before. That's yeah, that's that's the one we have. Let's see. There we go. That's the one we have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as proposed, as designed. Yeah, there's a whole lot of them out there. Or did you ever see the one about the um, business downsizing? No, no, no. There's one about the business downsizing. They, they are, the, the management are up in the upper level of an old, a really old, like a... Like, uh, uh, so a really old ship, right? They're up in the up in the stern, up in the raised area, uh -huh. and um, they, uh, there's one guy down there with the, with the oars rowing, and they said, "With all these layoffs we have, why aren't we moving faster?" There's one guy there with the with the oars in his hands, you know. There's no, and all the other <laughs> tiers around him are empty. <laughs> Tim, I forgot to get Jerry's email out of the private chat. Can you put it in again? Uh, it's, what? it's still showing up. It's still there in the chat. Yeah, JEMAP1 at yahoo.com. Say that again? JEMAP1 at yahoo.com. Okay. JEMAP1. I typed it again. There you go. Okay. Thank you. 
Sorry about that, guys. Fine. Technology. It's just me. <laughs> so let's see what else is happening. Um, it's true. It is just him. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Are you sure that's the right one? That's the only flat one I have that can possibly fit in there. Okay. It's square and flat. Yeah, there should be eight. There should be. Um, there should be eight of those square flat ones, and then there should be three normal hex or four normal hex. Am I gonna get a small Allen to line it up so that there? Oh, I gotta send him a code. That's Mike. Hey, Mike. Greetings, Mike all. Oh, hello. hello. Good to see you. I thought it was bedtime for you. Mm -hmm. No, it was, it was bedtime for Tim's kid that was getting yelled at because it was 8.30 or something. <laughs> 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 yeah, Tim will be back in a moment. I'll be dropping out in, uh, in a few when, once Tim gets in. Tim, because, that was, Tim has that was way Tim. too many microphones in his house, man. Yeah. It was Tim that was being yelled at. It wasn't his kid. Oh, it's him that had to go to bed. All right. He wanted some fuel, hey, took the credit card, it is Saturday and didn't night. the cash. <laughs> Okay, Tim, it's on. Thanks for the next So, okay, Later. Later. Bye -bye. Okay, Zachary. Cheers, Zachary. Bye. 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 Yeah, Mike, I was going to wear an orange shirt, and I had done some laundry, but it's an old work shirt, so it didn't look quite good enough to, for camera. I went and put one on just because you already mentioned it, so, you know, I felt kind of <laughs> obligated to be on brand and shit, so. <laughs> so how much is the Prusa Mini? The Mini kit is three thirty nine. You want to film it, run out center with like another 20 bucks. If you want it pre-built, like the normal one that everybody has, it's like, it's fifty dollars more. That's not bad. So two two of those flat nuts go in the front there, Jerry. Only two of them. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to go in square. Yeah, um, we're on uh, step uh, twenty-three, Tim. Okay. Or oh, thirty-three. Sorry, forgive me. Thirty-three. 33. There we are. So Mike showing his old shine. Liam. There's my yeah. run-out sensor. See how good it is? Look, it's awesome. It never runs out. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you just go to the firmware and turn it off? Because every once in a while I plug it in if I'm doing something where I care, and you know, it's one less step. This is so easy, you just throw it in there and leave it because that was filament that was not quality controlled, so it kept getting jammed. So eventually I said, F it, and just did that. Yeah, it was and 339 when you got it, Jerry. 339, 339. Plus the filament runout center sensor, plus the roll of filament that I added, plus shipping tax and all that, and it was like four hundred and forty something one dollars, I believe. Oh wow, it went up ten bucks. Now did it's you three forty nine now? Or at least that's my price. You yeah, must have had like the friends and family price. Oh, it just knows it's you. <laughs> it's, it's just me. Not for my first one. <laughs> I'll have to check my receipt, but now who I'm... delivered yours? FedEx. Did they charge you extra to hand it to you when they got to your door? What? No, I just took a well, picture of the a... lady. I said, "Hey, can I put you on YouTube and my Facebook group?" You were sure? I don't care. So I took her picture and just handed it to me. Up here, the they door. charge an extra fee to hand it to you. Basically, they say really? that it's that it's like customs import stuff, but it's not. Where are you? Canada. Oh, okay. That's... Oh. Yeah. That explains it. That explains say. it. It's like an extra FedEx, 50, 60 bucks to hand it to you. No, if FedEx showed up at the door and wanted money to hand it to me, I'd hit him with a rock. Yeah, but if you've waited 16 weeks, you don't do that. You pay him, I'd hey, still I hit him with a rock. <laughs> and they know it. And then I I'd take it from him. It's not real special. <laughs> I don't know how long I waited for mine. Wow. Well, if I would have paid $50 more, I could have had it in a month. Oh, well, I've, I've, I've always bought mine too early, and I'm always in the 8 million people lineup. 
the first one I waited until the Tuesday after Earth when he announced it to order it, and it took forever to get that one. Here we go, drop that one. This is way down the list. You're getting to the good yeah. part now. That's why I chimed in now. Yeah, a guy in the producer group this morning is like, well, that's only going to be a 10-minute uh, live stream. And I said, no, it's a kid. It's completely important. He goes, okay, 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I knew what I did. He never into. built a printer in his life. He just remembered the groups to make it look good. Well, maybe if this was your 100th mini that you've put together back-to-back. -back, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'd still have big fingers, and I'd still be dropping stuff. Okay, so there's one another one of those uh, nuts. You see the, where the three big holes are, where your thumb is? Yeah. I see to the side I of that, the very first slot. No, wait, no, go back. No, the other side. There, the very first spot, there is an opening above it. Yeah, there's one here. There's one here. Yeah. So let's put the one in the side first. There's two there. Yeah. Okay. So step 33, Tim. Okay. Is on image two. We're gonna. I'll, I'll do. We'll do image three, and then you'll take over for um from thirty four onwards. Oh, that's where it's gonna get fun. <laughs> he's, still just, he's still putting yeah. his nuts in. Liam's done the easy part. <laughs> yeah. All some bearings, some screws, a few rails. You get all the electronics. Yeah, and there's two in front. Oh, one in front. Sorry, forgive me. One yeah, in front. that's thirty three done. There's two on top, which is 34. Here and here? Yep. And then there's one in the front. Yeah, he's done the one in the front already. So oh, he's done the one in the front. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah, got one there. Yeah. One there. Yeah. Yeah. One here, one here. It doesn't, and um, there's two underneath as well. Yeah, two there and two underneath. These are awful big slots here. But okay. It says there should be, two, yeah, it says there should be two there. It's in, um, that's on thirty step thirty four. Oh no, it's on the underside. Sorry, not there. The underside, Jerry. <laughs> oh, not on top. No, the underside. Oh, okay. Well, that no, explains why the slots are too big. I'm glad I didn't three. cram it in there. Yeah, there should be two, and in between them, you put the other um, pads. That one of the other pads that you use for the feet. Right here. It goes right in between there. Yeah. Actually, there is two on top. I'm sorry. Two, on, that's two on that's, that's the next step. Top. Sorry, no, I didn't click on that image. That's the next step. So uh, Liam, you're fired. Tim, you're back on. Well, I'm yeah. not fired anyway. I have to leave anyway. So, <laughs> so the, yeah, you're right. Two there and then the pad and two on top as well. Yeah. And then there's four. The four hex nuts go in underneath onto the, onto the base. There should be um, four openings for the hex nuts to go in there. Now two here. Yep. Yeah. Now you might want to do the hex nuts on the back if those are just going to fall out. No, if they're pushed in, they'll stay. Oh, okay. They're... Yeah. So there are square nuts on top, and then they had the four hex goes underneath. After you've chased a few of the hex nuts across the floor, you realize that just putting a piece of green tape over them really helps. Yes. Because no matter how snug they are going in, they're going to fall out. They yeah. fall right out. Yeah. yeah. Grab That's anything. Yeah. yeah. You could hammer them into a hole. You turn it over and it just falls right out. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to jump off, Jerry. It's Thank you very fun. much, Liam. I appreciate all your help. Of course. Anytime See you do know that. I, plug your channel. Sure. My channel is Astrofinner. So it's YouTube forward slash C forward slash Astrofinner. Um, I do hangouts every Wednesday. I do a fair amount of um, live unboxings, and I also do printer reviews. So check me out on YouTube and um, also on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook as an Astro Printer. All right, guys. Thank See you. It's fun. Bye, Bye, Liam. Be safe, man. Uh, by the way, okay, then I got three yeah, hex yeah. nuts going here. Then there's, there's four. Four hex nuts. Four hex One, nuts. two, three, okay. four. Yep. And the guys recommend put tape over them because they will fall out. All right. All right, thank you. Going. Thank you very much, one, guys. See you, Liam. Take care. Take care. Bye. We don't want Jerry getting any extra exercise bending over to pick all those up. So, <laughs> yeah.
Okay, let me grab some tape real quick. <laughs> oh, then we get to the buddy board. <laughs> Ran my fist in the door jam. Cool. It's not a DIY if you don't donate blood to the gods. Yeah. While he's doing that, question for you, Jason. Yes. The servo cable for the pit droid neck. Mm -hmm. Do you just get um, a long piece and run it through and just splice it at the other end on the servo? Or that's a very yeah. small... Yeah, so there's two, there's two servo cables that run up through the body, up into the, I guess you'd call it kind of the chest area. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, for, I'm good. Yeah, good for the um, good for the base of the neck, the bottom one. That's fine, but it's the one coming out the top. Yeah. So when it comes up, um, go up, make a loop, and then go through the neck and up the neck piece. Yep. And then when you put the shoulder cover on, there'll be a space underneath it that'll allow that loop to stay there so that when the head turns it'll have some slack if that See, makes that part, sense that part's fine that part's fine it's the one for the actual in the head itself coming up through you, the top of the, the at the top of the neck yes yeah, yeah. so coming out of the top yep so you'll yep. run one up the body um yep. up past the servo for the left right turn yeah then it's and into the into the gravity that way yes and you'll run it through there's a little notch on the side of that plate that yep. that shoulder yep. cover and you'll run it up through there and you'll make a small loop um just just up and down and then you'll run it back into the neck and up the neck into the head yep okay Larry, before so you, you want to make in, there's one thing i want to say one suggestion in the comments on the assembly is that for those nuts that you put in the top and bottom um where those three holes are in the thing you had two nuts in the top and two in the bottom they suggest that you use screws to check to make sure the nuts are lined up properly because if you if they're not you have to disassemble some stuff later to get them lined up properly Ooh. so you know what i mean yeah those two yeah those two right there yeah those these two, two right okay those yeah. two okay I'll, okay I'll check them yeah so it says to yeah. use a screw just to make sure they're lined up because they say later on if you have to reline them up you have to disassemble something Ooh. So it's a great idea to get that. that checked now. Good. So I pressed them down in there until they popped all the way down. So Okay. Yeah, okay, just, those... just one of these double-checking things, right? Okay. Yeah. So those are good. Future you will appreciate it. And then those two there, yeah. Yeah, that's what the nice thing about the online instructions is they have comments for people that have run, out, run into different things. My favorite in those on those extra add-on things is when somebody's like, "But the wire in mine is red, not green." Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, or they're like, "Well, mine was in this bag instead." It's like, "Yeah, well, you know, stuff changes over time." But anyway, it's fun. Usually, they're pretty good at keeping the stuff in the right bag. But with this being yeah. a younger kit, not as mature as the Mark Threes and stuff, there may be a few things that aren't even close. Uh, slight adjustments needed. So like, calm down, eat two more Haribos, you'll be fine. They're using an Allen wrench, a small Allen wrench, I can fill the threads. That's that what really I usually helps. use. Yeah. That'd be better with the bowl, I can't fill anything. Okay, that bolt I was testing with didn't grab them, but my Allen wrench is going in them. Yeah, okay, those are good. Okay, cool. Now, now you're on the buddy board. And it says to keep the silver label for later. What, there was going to be a little silver label packaged in with that somewhere. What main board is that? Is that the, is that one? Yeah, that's the label on the package. Note, right or Prusa Buddy 2020 uh, revision 1.0.5. Okay, so it's their own kind of homemade. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's their design. own custom board. Okay. 
So you need four M three by eight screws. And that does go in that way exactly. Okay, let's see. On the paperwork. M three by eight. And they're gonna go into those ones that are taped on the other side. It's gonna be these little bitty ones here. That look like those are gonna be the right ones. All right. Geez, the printer's as big as the main board. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a quarter of it. it looks a bigger wow. even. Hey, Dennis, how's it going? Hey, Dennis. Hello, Dennis. I gotta keep up with the job here, too. I'm gonna do a real job. Come on, Tim, quit slacking. Are you going to do the upgrade kit um, for the new base as well, Mike? I'm still thinking about it. I I got to make three of them if I do it, so I don't really want to make three. So I don't know. My concern is still getting the spools to fit and turn underneath, So especially if you use different size spools. So yeah. I'm not sure yet. It's cool, but yeah, definitely, know. Definitely, um, guess with some of the real estate, nice and, keeps it nice and tidy. Uh, Mike, didn't you mail me out some stickers or something recently? I haven't sent yours yet. They'll go out this week. Okay, we're thank still you. A, we're still just an eighth of a step from lockdown here, so we're not supposed to yeah. go anywhere. Yeah, leave me your return address and slide or something. Wow. I'll send you back one of mine. Yeah, we'll do. And then I'll post it on Facebook, Facebook, and Twitter when I do. I always show off all the stickers to help promote the people that sent me the stickers. Cool. Every time I get stickers, most people, sometimes people send me two or three. I give my wife one. I put one on my enclosure, and then I have an extra one I get I have for giveaways. Because occasionally I have giveaways. Like today at the end of the stream, I'm going to give away one from Joe Telling, Honey Badger, one of mine, and uh, DeWitt 3. Sticker. Nice. I'll have a giveaway like, after that. I like those stickers, Mike. Also All you gotta do is watch my stream, enter the draw, and win. You and you two will eventually get stickers. Usually within a week or so, of just these days. If I like somebody's sticker, I just print them myself. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I do too. <laughs> Damn, Pooch won't send me a Repcord shirt, so I'm gonna have to make my own. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. You can probably take all that tape off the other side now. Well, I've never chatted with Pooch. I don't know if Jim has stickers. I've never. Uh, Jim is always. I always invite him on my hangouts on the weekends. He's always busy with his uh, um, DJ stuff, and he doesn't drop in. I think he's dropped in once a long time ago, briefly. Oh, well, he's a DJ as well. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's always busy on the weekends. Mike, your camera just went really, really fuzzy. Oh, uh, that's because I gotta go. That's okay. I'll just change. Yeah. Okay, change one, two, phone. three, four. Four, four in the board. So the now these, the blue off. tape can come off. Yeah, hype. Now you're gonna look for an LCD cable, and it was uh, LCD cable was in with the Haribos in the Haribo box. Okay. LCD cable, spool holder, print head. Still got a million things laying here, guys. <laughs> hey, Tim, are you really happy that you had your 90% assembled now? Yeah, um, yeah, but, you know, this, I, I, I don't mind these assemblies like this. Like, I'm looking forward to the rat rig assembly for sure because you'll learn more as you go. And then if you ever have to take something apart, it makes it that much easier. 
Okay, um, I'm looking for what cable? It's an LCD it's a, cable. It's about a looks like oh, a regular flat ribbon cable. Yeah, big flat, flat ribbon cable. Yeah. Okay. Flat I'm ribbon looking. cable. It was with the Haribo box. It says. Oh. That, yeah, that's the LCD yep. cable. Yep. So you're going to bring it into the, uh, into the, the box LCD, with, yeah. with the main board. There's a slot on the top side of it there. Yeah. And you're going to bring it in with the um, tooth facing up, basically. It only goes in the other way. I know that way. Is it, Where's the tooth? Yeah. It, only, it goes right in there and it'll only fit in one way. There's a little, but you want to bring it through the side feed of the board. Through the, yeah. Through the side of the box. Feed it back through. Feed yeah, it in first. Feed, yeah. feed it in first and then plug it in. All right, and bend it upside down. In there. Yeah. Now you're wrong, Tim. It will go both ways. I've seen people do that. Are I've also seen you? people, yes, I've also found that people can put a 10, a 10 pin cable into a 12 pin hole oh, and geez. vice versa. So, okay, that's good. Okay. Don't underestimate people's ingenuity. Now, in order to protect the cable fees, please follow the instructions below and don't try any other orientation because it will complicate the assembly. So wrap the LCD cable around the box. Don't stretch the cable. So basically, you're going to wrap it around the bottom of the box. Take the nut off, the tip the bread tie off of it. Yeah. And then just fold the other end, just fold it inside the box. And we're just, it's just going to stay in there for now. No, uh, just... No, like bring it right just around. Just Don't bring throw it, it on there. top. Just throw it yeah, in on that. top and, yeah, and just, throw it put the end in the box. Put the other end, yeah, just like that. Just leave it in, yeah, yeah sort of hold it in there snug yeah. like that. Yeah. Then throw the box away and... <laughs> yeah. That's why I yeah, like that. that. Yeah, put that aside for now. Okay. Okay, now we're looking step 40, the Z-axis parts preparation. So Ooh, we'll start yeah. with that. Okay, I now see that up. through the plate. Yeah, you're looking for a, a Z-axis extrusion, 289 millimeters, a Z plate. Yeah, I'm looking for the plate. It's and got the three plate. holes in it and a couple notches. Yeah. And your Z extrusion. And then you're gonna need M5 by 20. 20R screws, two of them. 20R, the R I think is what, recessed? What's the R mean? Let's see. M5 uh, it's the round head ones. Oh, round head. M5 by 20 yeah. round head. Button head. Two of them. I want to see which ones are M5 by 16. Oh, they're the giant ones. Yeah, the M5s are big. Yeah. Just looking for a picture if I can compare it. So I got an no, I have I have an M5 by 16 here, but this you said 20. Yeah, M5 by 20 and it's a round head. So it must be in a different bag because the ones that I have here are smaller. Should be in the Z parts bag. Oh wait a minute, that's a 20. Okay, I have two of them here. Okay, I'm gonna say oh shit. Okay, those are shorter. That's longer, but I only have one longer one here. So I wonder if I accidentally stuck it into one of the ends of the printer because I was randomly grabbing the big ones when I put these ends on. Oh, the ends on. Okay, were they so supposed to be fifteens? Yeah. See, here's size difference. Oh, okay. You might these have are longer. longer these are shorter. Ones. But when I was putting the ends on, I thought they were all the same on the big ones. I just randomly grabbing them. So I have one at the moment. Oh. I would just double check them then. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see which way this bolts up. So let's see. That's just a couple steps. Ahead. So that's going to bolt in. So the, the little groove below your thumb is going to line up with the uh, groove on the, uh, on the on that. So yeah, right like that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Although I don't see why. I think the 16 will probably work. <laughs> I mean, what's four millimeters? Although, yeah. you know, you, you could look for the other one. I'm not sure. <laughs> Until you get <laughs> to the <laughs> step. <laughs> and then you'll get to the step that needs the 16, and it won't go in far enough. And then we'll say bad words. <laughs> well, I'm leaving that decision up So you think I should find it? 
Huh? You think I should find it? Take out all eight one at a time to see where I put it? I, I would have a look just to be sure. Not have to. Just mean, a bit of sight and sorry. You don't want this to come back and haunt you. Yeah. Then I'll have to watch the whole video to figure out where I screwed up. Yeah. And if that's the, um, if those are the only 16 or the only 20 is available, yeah. In the comments, it says that somebody used uh, 20s that they found in the spare parts bag. Oh, okay. Okay. I got a spare parts bag here. Thank you, There's whoever two. said that in the comment. Who said that? Thank you. I don't know. Semprini, four months ago. I don't know. Oh, okay. In the actual assembly comments. The yeah. best thing oh, about the Prusa online manuals is that mere mortals like us can add stuff. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes they're wrong and they don't. Well, want to yeah, it not up. everybody knows everything, you know, and everybody's input helps. Well, it's just bad when people, when companies send out printers that aren't fully tested and say, "Here, spend three or four hundred dollars. Tell us what's wrong with it, and we'll fix it next time or something." Guilty. Oh, <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> stuck in my throat there. What was that, hey. Aaron? I, it wasn't clear. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I, think, I think, yeah, just ask John. Okay, those are snug and done. They're snug and done? But yeah. to be fair, they did listen and made the improvements. Yeah. Okay, now you need your Z-axis box, the mini Z bottom, the box you just put aside. Now I need, well, according to, okay, I need the box now? Yeah, well, get these other, you're going to need some other screws out as well. Um, so you may as well get these other screws and that's going to go sort of like that. Yeah. And then there's a little nut sitting on the bottom that you just tightened and there's a groove that's got to be seated properly. Uh, there's a little round groove in the Z bottom and you got to sit that one screw in there. So it sits properly. I think it's going to be pretty obvious. Okay. Well that goes together fine by hand. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, now, so this is where you're going to need these other screws. So you need to find some M three by 12, two of them. Okay. I'm going to get all the screws ready. Two M3 by 12s, three M3 by 20s. Okay, that's a 12. So two of them. Okay, set aside. Three of the 20s, M3 by 20s. Okay. And one M3 by 40. You said three M3 by 12? By 20. Three by M3 20? 20. Yeah. Okay, 20. And then what was the last one? M3 40. That's a big, really long one. Okay, got it. Okay. So this basically shows, but it looks like you had that in right. But this shows angling that to make sure that that one screw goes in that little groove there. Angling it up and in. Yeah, it looks like it's sitting fine right there. Yeah, but the, the head of that one bolt, the button head basically fits down in a hole. Yeah, okay. And then now you're going to take your your M3 by 20s, and there's three holes. Yeah, exactly. That hole and the two holes above the little round ones. Yeah, those are the M3 by 20s. All righty. Cool. Anything happening in chat? Oh, we I still got people good. watching, or did everybody go home? No, no. Oh, still got, I live and watching. I live I and keep watching still. Forgetting to watch chat. I'm so focused on this. So, Critic 482 is joined. Maker Vikings joined. Maker Viking, yeah. Thank you, everybody. It's still in chat watching. I knew it would be a slow, long process, but I figured, well, why not do it live? Otherwise, I would tape this and cut it down and try to do it in like a half hour video. Yeah. And then you wouldn't and see all the fun. screw ups. And miss all the fun. Yeah, and then all the screw ups I wouldn't show showed you. Well, I might have. I might have talked about them, but I probably would have cut them out. <laughs> well, there haven't been that many screw ups. A few, a few yeah. bolts, that's all. Everybody has problems. There has to be an outtake reel. Yeah. 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 I, I actually on the scenes. Believe on my on the scenes. Normally, when I screw up on a video, it said, hey, this is Jerry from 3D Printing and Painting. My wife says, well, you're not exciting enough. So then I retaped the beginning. And I do it two or three times trying to get it trying to get it right. And she said, well, then the rest of it, you're talking like this. And you're not exciting. I said, well, you can't explain something on about a 3D printer and be exciting all the way through it. So I don't know. Whatever. So am I am I an okay substitute for Liam? Like you know, little help. Oh, you're doing awesome. 
Oh, yeah, that's good. good. Just got to keep up with the chat. I'm kind of confused by your accent, though, Tim. <laughs> hey, huh? You are, Mike? Yeah. It's a Western Canada accent. <clears throat> what are you talking You're, about? Are you in Ontario, Mike? <laughs> yeah. Mike? <laughs> a boot. A boot. Oh, no, that's out east. Is that more mostly? Is that, is that, is that access a boot? We're going in a boot. You put your packages in the boot. Okay, Gary, back up one step. Okay, um, there's one of them. Okay, this is my mistake. The one in the middle, the middle one. Yeah, that one, take that out. That's an M3 by 12. Yeah, take mm -hmm. that one out. That's a 12. Sorry Come on, that. Tim. I thought how we many? were going to be doing better than Liam here with you. Well, I'm gonna, how many mistakes did Liam make? Only I haven't had him back up six steps yet, though. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's in your time. I asked Liam a half hour before the stream if he wanted to hop in and with my uh, login and, and do what he do what you guys are doing, and he's like, "Well, uh, later on tonight, I got this going on." I said, "Yeah, but that's in three or four hours, right?" And he's like, "Oh, okay." He finished by then? Yeah, no problem. Same yeah. twenty minute. I'm just wondering where that third 20 goes. Let me just... Okay, you're saying put a 20 in here? Or no? No, in the middle one, a 12. That's okay. a 12 right there, yeah. Which don't tighten up anything. Doesn't? Well, maybe it will. Hold on. Yeah, it says Barely one grab. empty by 12. Yeah, okay, it's grabbing. Okay, That's good. those little square ones you put in. Yeah. Right? Yeah. In the oh, I see. You're right, yeah. Okay, then you're going to take your 40. Now, if you turn it, your 40 is going to go in the side by your left hand down near the bottom. It should be a hole right there. The 40 is going to go in that hole. Trying to figure out what it grabs. It should be grabbing something. That's where the 40 is going. I don't see what it grabs. Unless there was a, a nut trap I put in there, I don't remember. Okay, so you're going to use the Allen wrench and insert the screw through the entire part so that the tip of the screw is visible on the other side. Oh, I see it. Can you see it? There we yeah. go. And that's going to screw yeah. into the side of the frame. Yeah, exactly. So now we're on step 44. So you're going to move the Y carriage all the way to the left. So facing you, yeah, so move it all the way to your left now, the Y carriage. Move the carriage okay. all the way to the left. Here's the front of it. Yeah. Pull the carriage all no, the other way. Pull the carriage all the way towards you now. Okay. And place the right M3NE nut approximately in the middle of the extrusion length. So Yeah, I got two nuts here. Right yeah. There's so put the here. right one approximately in the middle. The other one's going to stay over towards the left. And then put the other one towards the middle. Okay. You're going to align yeah. the Y axis and Z axis so the protruding M340 screw points exactly at the hole in the M3E nut. So. Yeah, I understand. You understand? Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, easy. this goes in the top. This one goes to that one. Yes. And this other one goes somewhere else. Yeah. You shove that one out of the way. And it says, don't tighten the screws fully yet. Now this is the finicky part. No, no. Doesn't the that long one you just jam through the case? It goes to that middle one that you just aligned in the middle, right? Yeah, well, I line. It's in the front, actually. Yeah, right here. Yeah, no, but it goes into the the nut that's farther along. That's in the middle of the of Does the it go extrusion. In the middle one? Yeah, What's it goes in the middle. That? What goes in that other one? The uh, the other little shorter bolt that you put into that other one later. This is the part of this build that I don't even like on the ninety percent build. Okay. So that long one goes to this one down here, not this yep. one here. Yeah, that's yep. what it says. Yep. So I take this one and push it all the way to the left to get out of the way? No, it, don't worry. It'll be fine. Oh, so I see what you're talking about. That's going to go here. I see. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, now keep yeah. it out in the middle where you can see it. Trust me. Yeah, keep it in the middle, he said. Yeah. Slide that, that one back. Yeah, they say it's more towards the middle. No, the other way. The whole assembly well, You don't want to line it up right now and screw it together? Just... Well, the instructions say keep it towards the middle. Because well, ultimately, have... it's it's going to the other end of the printer anyways. It's sliding to your away from you, ultimately, when you're done. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. It goes back by the motor. So. Oh, I see. I was thinking this mounted up here and stayed here. Oh, no, no. that goes back here. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I follow you. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no. no. no Keep just it leave it in the middle. Trust me. Right there. Right Trust there. me. Right there. <laughs> okay. Mike's done this before. He's probably... <laughs> I've filled my virtual swear jar about 40 times building these things. Okay, so go ahead and put in which one first? The long one? The long one goes into that middle one. Yeah, long oh. one into the middle one on the side, and it just says don't fully tighten because you're going to have to adjust them after. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, you got a super sticker from Jason M. in the chat. Oh, Jason, thank you very much. Awesome. Jason's still with us, right? Oh, he's here. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, I'm still hanging around. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Never had a super sticker, I don't think. Yeah, well, a tripod bought me one, I think. Cool. Bought one. They didn't have a you can do it one, so I just went with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I can do it, you can do it too, or something like that, right, Naomi? Um, anyone can do it. <laughs> No, that's true. If you can do it, Jerry, anyone can do it. <laughs> Not my first printer, my first Prusa. My third complete kit. Okay, and then these front ones are those little uh, M3 by 12s. Now, this one you're going to use... Uh no, you're going to use on that front one, it says an M3 by 20, but you want to move that net all the way to the right. It says move the M3E net from the left and move it all the way to the right. Use the Allen key and gently push it in. There's a notch inside which will align it properly for the second screw. I got to loosen this one back up a little bit. Yeah, they heard it. it says not to snug them up at all yet. I can grab it. Now use the Allen key and slide that other net over to the right, and it says it should. Basically, there is a notch inside that will align it properly for putting that other screw in. And then you're going to use an M320 screw. And tighten it. Snug it, but don't tighten it. Because you got to slide things around. Okay, and then I do the top one, right? Yeah, and then we're going to do the top one again. Just, just snug. Three by, tight. Ten, three by twelve. M3 by 12. Loving this little camera. Yeah, that's a great camera, isn't it? Is that that, um, focus? is that that like kind of lamp, desk lamp kind of looking one? Yeah. yeah. Document camera. That's cool. Okay, now I slice back and flush it somewhere. You're going to slide the entire Z axis towards back, avoid grinding, so they should be loose enough so you're not grinding anything. Okay, leave a small gap while moving the parts, basically, so you're not grinding anything. Now rotate the back of the printer towards yourself. Okay, and then push the Y carriage all the way to the front. So pull it right down to the Y carriage up. Okay, hold okay, the I'm not sure. assembly. Oh, I'm not sure how far to slide this. There is a notch which indicates the correct mutual position of both parts. There should be some notch. So you're going to come back further. There's a notch in the top, oh, I got it. Is, I yeah, the top the, of the case. See the notch? I felt it. Okay. Yeah, you can feel the notch. Once the parts are aligned, tighten all the screws in this particular order. First, the blue one that you're doing, the top one. Oh, you lucked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the top one, I'm looking up at you. <laughs> That, that first, that one. Tighten that one. Okay. No, he's then switching the, cameras so we can't see. <laughs> then, the second one you're gonna, then the second one you're going to tighten is the long M40. 
It's it's like putting your, putting your book over top of your homework so the teacher can't see the end. <laughs> yeah. And then thirdly, you're going to do the M20 after that one's done. And then we see what the comment is in here. And if anybody out there is wondering or thinking about buying a Prusa Mini and you're wondering, should I get the kit and save $50 or should I spend the extra 50 If you really like putting stuff together, save 50 Otherwise, spend 50 bucks and get it. We only got what four balls and a couple okay. cables. And you're now, done. Now one, one comment here, Jerry. One comment here on the instructions. It talks about that screw that you just tightened. It says tightening the green screw, which is a 40 millimeter, pulls the Z axis into the base. And when you tighten it too far, you skew the Z axis relative to the Y axis, which shows up in the mesh bed visualization. So I think I think the the the, the lesson there is don't over tighten that one. Just snug it up so it's holding. But it says, so the tightening, Prusa recommends adjusting the screws at the end of the X idler holder, but that should be done after confirming that the Z axis is square to the Y axis. Okay, front one's snug. Yeah. Okay. Middle one so, is a little less than snug. Yeah. I just want to say that that 1300 word paragraph that that guy added to the notes is by yeah. somebody named Mike, and it's not me. Oh, it's not you? <laughs> I was wondering. I can get kind of wordy, but that's yeah. like. That's like an ABC after school special explanation. So we are on step 49. So you need to tip your assembly over. So basically it's going to be looking like a tent shape. So tip it over to your right, your left. Sorry, yeah, yeah, the way you're going. So it looks like a tent shape. Yeah, just tip it over because we're going to look at the bottom right now. Okay, you're going to remove the Y axis motor cable from the extrusion. Okay, so basically there's a Y-axis, yep, and then that is guide the Y-axis motor cable through the hole in the mini Z bottom, yep. There's two of them. Uh, the one on the left, left of the cable. Okay. Pushing the connector through the hole is tight. Be careful not to damage the connector. Do not stretch the cable, leave a little bit of slack. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to... This is where we're going to connect that motor, that cable. That cable is connecting in the third slot from the left. So if we're holding the board, so you see the slots up top. Yeah. Let's connect the third one from the left. Okay, and then basically what you want, how you want to arrange the cable. No, no, no it won't the fit top. there. No, the on ones the on your towards on, closer to the right, yeah, the in there, yeah, those ones. Third one from the left on those ones. No, I would have figured it out when I couldn't have stamped it in. So. Uh, third from the other. Third, third from the other left. Thank there you, Tim. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Now to arrange that cable, so basically you want to basically pull that cable. Um, I don't know how to explain this. Twist it up. No, you want to sort of park it in. So lay it down, pull it towards you. Sort of, no, I can't. Do you have it doesn't picture? really matter at this point. I guess You'll it doesn't matter at this point. We can tuck yeah. it all in later. But, yeah, they want it sort of um, so when you plug it in, then you come further around and loop it around. It's just more more cable management than anything. So, but you're gonna put a lid on it, nobody will ever see it again. Yeah, third one from the left. I, okay, yeah. third from the left, and I twist it up a little bit. Yeah, okay, that you know, that should be fine for now. Okay, now we're on step 51 the Z top part preparation. So, you're gonna need the mini Z top, which is the um, it's like a piece that looks like uh, let me scroll and I'll look at it. Yeah, scroll and look at the piece. It's better than me describing. You're on step 51. Okay. Of how many steps? Oh, 3,212. <laughs> Actually, it's only 62 steps. Oh. oh, you're almost there. No, that's for the YZ axis finish. Yeah, that's that just for this oh, axis. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you still got to build the extruder and the and the Z axis. Yeah. Oh gosh, so, yeah. It's a little, there's a lot. Yeah. Who's well, guess if it's too long, we'll end the stream and we'll come back to wow. it. Wow. So. Yeah, part two. 
Yeah. Okay, don't um, feel bad. It took me two hours and 30 minutes to put together this kit. So, wow. And yeah, this well, was Jerry's just handicap. the four version. Yeah, Jerry's got a handicap. You built yours by yourself, Mike. There's all these other people <laughs> coming in the slow well, Jerry down. I did it the same way, I did, but I didn't have people in my stream when I did mine. Huh. See, those two people. Well, I think it would be more entertaining for people to watch if other people were hanging out, talking, and. You know, yeah, making fun of you, heckling you. That's fine. You get trapezoid oh, nut. You. Trapezoid nut, which is basically that nut with the four holes in it. You know, the trapezoid nut. Yeah, the trapezoid nut. Everybody knows what oh, I'm saying. Yeah, okay, I'm just like looking God. at the picture there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, those are right here. Okay, and then you got the Z axis motor, and now you need two MS, M3, M. S square nuts, two two nuts, M3 squares. Me oh, look, ahead of me. An M3 by 12 screws. Hey, hold on. Yeah, no, that's exactly where those go. Oh, and there's five comments in here, and I can't wait to see them. <laughs> <laughs> they are much deeper than the other M3 square nuts, which are flush. Comment one. And what you should have done first was spend, spend the, the 50, 50 bucks. bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this right here will help Bruce out because people see all this and they go, you know, no, I'm paying 50 more dollars. It basically says if left in the flush position shown in the picture, the screws in an upcoming step will completely miss the nuts. So. Somebody said I had to use a flashlight. <laughs> and then the next step says it was much deeper in. So, you know, yeah. put the flashlight and the deeper in together. And Yeah, I take yeah. them up. I'm putting them in, and then I'm going to press them in. Yeah, exactly. yeah, you can put them in, and you can actually just test them wherever the screws are going to go in anyway. Right here. Wow. Well, this is going to be, i got to get something. Well, they got to go deeper? Yeah, they're gonna have to go in deep according to what I'm seeing here. Yeah, yeah. So that's why somebody said they gotta be pushed in deeper than it seems. Heard that before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is it in yet? Is it in yet? Darn it. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I can fill the threads on that one. Got it. Well, it makes it makes the stream more amusing anyway. <laughs> Okay, they're in there about halfway down, if you can see there. And, and yeah. then I ran the Allen, Allen wrench in there, and I can drag it and fill the thread. So. Perfect. That's okay, good. so now you're going to run that down your Z-rod. Things that sound nasty but aren't. And you're going to orient it so that um, if you pull your Z-rod and your motor so that the cable's coming out to the right. I can't see. Okay. Pull, the pull it more okay. the so I can see it. Yeah, I'm looking at the picture. Oh, okay, good, good. No, no one's swearing yet, Gary. Everyone's still being quite polite. <laughs> and then back up, Jerry, and then back down, and then up, then down. <laughs> <laughs> and then it looks like so you want that pointy part towards you to be in the corner of the motor with the wires coming out to the right. There we are. That looks about right. Yeah, that looks like it right there. And that takes what size screw? Okay, I'm just looking at that now. Well, first thing you're going to do is screw down that. Um, well, those are, sorry, those are the. Um, well, why aren't you telling me where the screws are here? That's got to be the two um, M3 um, 12s. No, no, hang on a minute. That, yeah, they're M3 12s. The windows all, all built oh, okay. so far, Jerry. You missed, the, Gary, yeah. you missed a lot of new windows. Sorry, M3 by 12, yeah. What I miss? Uh, Gary Nothing came important. back in. Yeah. <laughs> you're good, Jerry. Yeah, you're <laughs> good. <laughs> Keep ignoring us, as you should. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, I'm trying to find my mouse disappeared. <laughs> oh, that's nasty, boy. That's nasty. <laughs> there, I got a noise for that. There we go. Did that play? That was a weird sound. No, didn't hear it. <laughs> no. Okay. Sounded like, a, like a hiss. 
sound like a hissing sound, yeah. Just heard you vaping. Oh, that's weird. Something's wrong. That's because your other microphone is at Tim's house. <laughs> that's who's listening in on the kids getting yelled at. <laughs> the question is, where's the other camera? Secure the mini Z top with two M3 by 12 screws. Sorry, I meant that, but I, I guess I was not very... Secure to what? Oh, I see. Each corner. Yeah. Two holes in each corner. Okay, M3 by 12. One hole in each of two corners. I see. Speaking of children, yeah, yeah I hear him. Him. Yep. Huh? he's singing in the background. Yep, we can hear him singing. Can you copyright strike? Copyright yep, strike. Yep, yep. Which mic? Is, like, okay, I must have because I've got a Yeti mic. Oh, you know what I got to do? Hang on. Yetis will hear stuff in the neighbor's yard. Yeah, we can hear the Justin Bieber music in the back. You don't have to blame <laughs> it on your kids, Tim. Yeah. There we go. With your wife. Yetis. With your wife. Son of Canada and all, you know, but that's okay. <laughs> Stratford's yeah, on. Is off. <laughs> you found it. You worked that out. Damn. You hear that, Tim? Yeah, I know. That's okay. that's Tim. <laughs> That's Tim that talk. Just tap on everything yeah. until we don't hear it anymore. Tim's in a bath, like the bath shower scene. <laughs> I'm hiding behind your logo. Oh. Now I'm peeking. Now I'm hiding. Oh, you can move that. Peek you move it. Oh, it's okay. Oh, Dave, you got to jump in because, uh, oh, it's it's a good time here. Well, Mr. Oh, there Dave. I am. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely, Dave. Come and join the hey, party. Hey, Dave, how you doing? I'm right here. <laughs> you still got this still two hours to go, Dave. At least two hours to go. We yeah. could probably fit in a good pets fang joke too, somewhere. <laughs> Tripod says seems that you were at the same point three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> well at least it ain't broke. <laughs> and it's not smoke. Uh, okay, now you're gonna take your um it, your yeah. trapezoid net. And you're going to screw it two thirds of the way down the z-axis motor, but you want the little collar, the uh, wide collar, pointing up. Who calls that thing a trapezoid nut? Uh, Prusa. Prusa. Otherwise, raise what your the hand. Hell the trapezoid nut. Well, trapezoidal. It's Shapes the, are oh, different it's in here. Right? It's a the squash, z-axis squash nut. Gray nut. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> trapezoidal. Okay. So I take the two long rods next, right? No, nope, you've got to put your trapezoidal nut, nut down two-thirds down the way of your Z-screw. You have to measure nut. that, though. Well, it's... It two-thirds. <laughs> it does? Oh, I know what you're talking about, the brass nut. Yeah, it's, it's the one that's the right nut. Yeah. Correct, yeah. All right, I'm looking for it. The, lo the lozenge-shaped <laughs> nut. There we go, the <laughs> lozenge-shaped nut. Yeah, it looks like a lozenge. Looks nothing like a trapezoid to me, but. Yeah, it looks like a lozenge. Looks nothing like a trapezoid to me, but. Loopy Lou, never let the machines win. No, you just pay them 50 bucks and it's done for you. You just pay them off. Then the stream would be finished two hours and two minutes ago. Well, you, this is fifty dollars worth of entertainment, at least. Um, <laughs> at least, at least. I'm glad Jerry saved fifty bucks. I'm still looking for it. Can't find Jerry, your nuts, Jerry. Not a, not a big piece, so. Well, it is. Relatively. Is there a picture there? So I know I'm. We yeah, step, about step, step fit, yeah, the picture you can find in step fifty-three, or you can. Brass find nut it. that screws on all lead screws. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's don't do that again, Jerry. And and, uh, and just to be clear, you're asking you're asking for a picture of your nuts to find them. According to this, it's black. So. Well, that rod's ripped for his pleasure, Jason. So that's okay. It sure is. It is. But it's unlubed at the moment. I think. Oh, we have another. That's it. 
That's the night. <laughs> oh, they, they oh there's Dave. What in the hell is going, going on here, guys? Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we need, I'm enjoying we need the party. an adult. We need an ad- we need adult supervision. We're hoping you're it, Dave. Oh God! <laughs> Definitely uh, was. The stream was just starting when I left for the restaurant. I that was a week s- ago. Yeah, that was a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is crazy. All right, that's Prusha's. Yeah, I posted in the Prusha group that I was doing the mini kit, not. Mini, and he's like, "Oh, it'll take you ten minutes." And I said, "No, it's a kit." He goes, "Oh, 20 minutes." I said, "Dude, it is a kit, 100 percent in parts." So, did you have to yeah. forge your own parts, your own uh, nuts and? Uh, no, that's and how they supply everything. <laughs> took, I've been waiting on it for 13 weeks, and donations from everybody from December to February bought it for me. So I appreciate everybody that donated. It's going to take 20 minutes to find this one part, though. Yeah, I don't see the one part. <laughs> but there's a box over here, and it's in the box. And it's wide. Oh, well, there it is. Wow. There we go. There we go. So the, you want the wide right yeah, there. You want that yeah, orientation. You know, exactly. That's not a trapezoid. <laughs> that is not the other one. Small yeah. end first. Yeah. No, small end first. Other way, other way, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah. But there's no way that's a trapezoid. Two yeah, Karen, it looks just down. like a lozenge. It's plastic, too. <laughs> I'm expecting the um, the mounting screws to be a lozenge each side of it. Check in the comments in the chat there. What do the comments? Boiler say? ram explains why it's a trapezoid. The Boiler shape. ram does. Oh, okay. oh, the shape of the thread. Oh. That makes sense. Okay. Thanks, so Mister. Two thirds away down there. Stop making sense. Down. Chat. That, that's only a third. <laughs> that's no that's fun enough. in there. That makes sense. You want two right. thirds? <laughs> yeah. Two thirds the way down. So you want to go a third up from the bottom. Yeah, two thirds from the top, from the top one third, third, from third from the bottom. Yeah, and they say it's half empty. You know, your hero. If you split that, it's one point five. Okay, yeah. it's twelve. It's twelve threads per mill per inch. So that okay, means now it's up. Okay, now you're good. Now you're going to prepare your rods. You want your smooth rod Z axis. Two of them. We're going to get kicked off, Karen. They're the long. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Did I say to put them in there yet? No. Karen never says a word, and he always gets accused. Okay. They're, That's they're my fault. I, Jerry I is a very sarcastic him. individual, and I'm trying to let you guys do all that, and I'm just trying to build. Okay. So when you got those two. They're the thicker ones. They're 10 millimeters. You're also going to need four M3 by 20 screws. Okay, I need two rods. I need two bearings. <laughs> Tripod's last yeah. comment. <laughs> oh dear. And I lost my place on the guide. Okay, we're you're on fifty four. <laughs> um, well, you, you, you Jason. Along, he's got, I can't get a word in advice. <laughs> oh, where's my mouse? There it is. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet for a while. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why the change? Yeah, that's a... <laughs> I don't want to mess Jerry up. Come on, you're the expert here. <laughs> I gotta click back on the picture and then find it, the guide, and oh, right there. So you got your rods, and you just need four M three by twenty screws. <laughs> I don't even want to open my mouth. <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, yeah. the water's fine. I, I wanted I, wa- I was wondering when the orange parts start killing on the machine. <laughs> <laughs> the orange parts are next. <laughs> Well, once he gets his rod in place, his rod's in place. <laughs> it it looks like an ender right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't find this at the moment. Come on. My mouse isn't working. My screen's not moving. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh well. Tripod. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and tell me again, Tim. I got the big, big rod. Hey, right. John. 
You need you're going to need two, four M three by twenty screws. Three by twenty. M three by twenty. I'm just getting the preparation stuff ready as they're asking for. M three by twenty. Four of them. Yeah. Well, Jerry, get done before one a.m. <laughs> one two. Depends whose time zone. Oh, he's, got, yeah. he's got 35 <laughs> minutes before um, he gets frustrated and throws it through his window. Well, I mean, yeah, I got four. I got, got some four okay. by 20. Now you're going to need those two big M5 by 16 round heads. M5 by 16? Yeah. Two of them. They got round heads. Yeah. Okay, I got two of them. Okay, and then you're going to need your uh, LM10 LUU bearing rods, uh, linear bearings. The bigger ones or the smaller ones? Uh, those are the, uh, looks like the bigger ones that fit the 10 mil rods. Yeah, the long ones. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and those do not need lubrication. That took serious fun out. Do you want to say it, Jason, or should I say it? Uh, I, I'm trying to okay. be <laughs> Okay, now, push both D-axle smooth rods all the way into the Mini-Z bottom. So you're going to need your Mini-Z there, and you're going to push the Z-axis rods all the way into the bottom. So, yeah. One on either on the inside and the outside. Push them bottom them out, yeah. Okay, in case you find it difficult to insert your rods, you can slightly loosen the screws in the Z plate, but I think you got them all in okay. No, one and, of them ain't going okay, in. Okay, so here's the one problem. Of them going in. So in case you find it difficult to insert the smooth rod, you can slightly loosen the screws on the Z plate bottom and tighten it again after insertion. <laughs> okay, so the, here's a the problem. There's six guys. Well, one of Who's them talking? Here's a problem. Inserting rods it's Trav, John, a problem. you're very faint, John. You need to put your volume up. Here, is that better? No, you're still no. fine. No. Tripod on the couch. Stupid. I Tripod think. on the couch! <laughs> <laughs> okay, those are in all the way. Let me snug these back up real quick. Okay, good. Yeah, and it says if you want, you can turn it over and confirm that you can see the rods right on the bottom by turning your turning it over and looking through the bottom. You should be able to see both rods bottomed out. Well, I know yeah. they're bottomed out, but I'll go ahead and look. Yeah. No, no they're bottomed just, out. Yeah. Out. <clears throat> bottomed out. Oot. Him out. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how dinner has Jerry arrived. Hey. For? Three hours, ball. 27 Great. minutes. What's for dinner, Jason? Uh. Okay, now you're going to secure, okay, you're going to secure it's not breakfast. two rods with <laughs> four M3 by 20 screws. And so the screws should go in almost straight in front of you. There should be four holes. Well, I see that. Yeah. In those four holes, you put in four M3 by 20 screws, and those are going to hold the rods in place. Yeah. Let me read. While you're doing that, I'll read the comments on here. Okay. So they say they can't get the M320s to thread into the nuts, and you don't know how. This is where it was critical before to line up those um, threads, remember? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so there we go. There's books on how to get that uh, lined up and inserted. Ah, Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, this <laughs> just reminds me of building RC cars when I was younger. Just being up all night, building, building, building until it was done. Are you on your phone, John? No, I'm on a crappy iPad. Oh, oh, the volume is still quite faint. It's okay. I'm here for moral support. As okay. there's a, if there's a difference between an iPad and a crappy iPad. See, I knew Jason <laughs> would get that. Hey, 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 hey watch that. <laughs> uh, I'm with Jason, anti fruit devices. Yeah. Uh, I, I make fun of the M1 chip and I say, oh, it's an iPhone inside. <laughs> Pretty much. So, Jerry, do you recommend the kit version? If you like building <laughs> stuff and you want to spend a lot of time doing it 100%, you'll save 50 bucks. You got to wait a long time to get it in the mail. I mean, if you don't want, if you want to get it done, 
within an hour and be printing, I'd say spend that for 50 bucks. But if you enjoy tinkering and putting things together, yeah, save 50 bucks and get the kit tool. Well, and if, you, if, if you've got to ever disassemble it for any reason, you, you know, you'll know how it went together. You know exactly. You'll know how it went yeah. together. Well, yeah, for, for the put together. It's just on a live stream. You're on a time constraint. Well, not really. Ah uh, ha ha. But you got everybody watching. You're trying to do it right. Then you get things wrong here and there. So at yeah, the moment, I, your time's worth fourteen dollars and twenty eight cents an hour so far. What's the regular proof called? The the thousand dollar proof. So is that an MK? What's that called? Mark three. MK three. Mark, the Mark three. I hear the kit is two hundred and fifty dollars cheaper if you want to build it from scratch. It if is. you want it pre-built, then it's two hundred and fifty dollars more. It's only one fifty less. I was just oh, looking good. at the mini. Yeah, it's one. Not the mini, less. the full size. Uh, I'll wait for the mini two to come out. The mini's fifty bucks less, and the and the yeah Mark three is one fifty less. Oh, okay. All right, those four those four tight. Okay, now it's telling you to turn the back of the mini towards you. So turn it 180 degrees so the back is facing you. There we go. And you're going to slide the bearings down in the rods, down the two rods. What do you call this? Is this the money shot? <laughs> <laughs> Not until you lube them. No. They're, they're already they're pre lubed, Jason. That's okay. They're pre lubed. They move nice and easy. Oh, they're pre lubed. Mm. That's yeah. nice. Keep doing that, Terry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. See, tripod okay. smile. We're on, step, <laughs> we're on step 57. Okay. Now, it's kind of ironic that you slid them down to the bottom because now you're going to slide the bearings to the upper edge of the smooth rods and hold them by hand. So you're going to hold them both with one hand. And then you're going to, with your other hand, you're going to position the Z-axis motor so the trapezoidal nut is under the bearings. So, Jason, this is what happens when I... Uh, so you're going to turn, invert that. that. Speed. Okay. When you yep. what? Look, I know what invert means. <laughs> yeah, and then, so that's why it was oh. too third. So that uh, <laughs> trapezoidal nut has to be below those bearings. Okay. Okay, now you're going to slide the bearings down the trapezoidal nut. Ah, slide the bearings down on the trapezoidal nut. Okay, so the nut's going to hold those bearings so you can free your hands. Position the mini Z top onto the extrusion. I have this backwards, right? Uh, let me see. Um, let me get this picture blown up. Yeah, this here. goes right. over here to screw in. Yeah, the wire should, yeah. Yeah, you got the wire should be coming out on your left hand side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just gotta turn that around. Yeah. Yeah, that's your other left, Jerry. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, that's it. So Jason, this is uh when I increased the ball speed to uh seventy okay. on the under five plus. Then you're gonna push that down onto the rods. It should Do be not able to tilt print the motor when speed. fitting. It should. But you gotta remember, I don't have a pancake motor on the top. I almost got a pin. A lot of uh, connect energy around the, the, yeah. the turns. Okay, and Even basically still. Basically, insert, insert straight. You gotta keep it all straight. The threaded rod of the motor must fit into the hole in the Z bottom plate. Yeah, I, I got, got it all fit in. Okay. And then I you're gonna pull. secure it. Yeah, you're gonna secure it down with the M5 16 screws. Yeah, I, I I knocked it down by half, and it's, you know the prints are. Make sure the plastic me. part is seated correctly. There shouldn't be any gap between the plastic part and the extrusion. Looks like you got it right there. Good job, Jerry. The one bearing looks like it's below the trapezoidal screw. Okay. Yeah, that's the, whole, the, the screw is just holding the bearings from flopping all the way down right now. What are these parts made out of? Are they all ABS, nylon, what? Pet G, I believe. Oh, seriously. Uh, well, some of it is uh, printed and some of it is uh, injection uh, molded. Injection molded. Interesting. Okay. 
Next step is to, you've got those tightened down. Next step is you're going to guide the Z motor cable down through the groove in the mini Z top and extrusion. So there should be a visible path there to guide that cable down. Oh, I see. I'll turn that around so I can show the camera. Yeah. So you're right going to guide down through there and then down through the extrusion. Correct. El mundo. <laughs> Tim, tell yes. us about your channel for the people watching that don't know who you, might not know who you are. My channel, DeWitt 3D. I basically do printer builds. I do modifications. I screw up. <laughs> I, do, I do live streams every other or every third Sunday night now, and I'm going to start adding more and more videos into the stream, into the forte. Um, I've been criticized recently for the fact that I don't know what I'm doing half the time, but my channel is basically you help me learn, I help you learn type thing. So I'm far from the most knowledgeable person out there. So, yeah. Oh, look who How dare they criticize in. you? That's just huh? wrong. How well, dare they criticize you? Okay, I got the black plastic guide to hold the wires in pushed in. Okay, cool. Does that Maybe go in there? Back in. Yeah, I guess that, yeah, it says basically to put the plastic part on there. You're just a step ahead, which is no problem. Now you're going to guide that, um, you want to guide that wire down to your um, buddy board, and it's going to go in the first connector on the left. Right the one next closest? To the, the one that's closest to your hand right there. Yeah, first connector on the left. And then you're gonna cut the red and the blue wires. Not the green wire. No. <laughs> yeah, if the wire if the wire is too long, just cut it. Yeah. You don't need to reattach. Okay, that's the blonde. It's the one on your yeah. left. Uh, and you're you're already um, a step ahead, but you need two M three by twenty screws now. M three by twenty. It's an added feature when you cut the wires. Okay, where do the M three by twenty? Where do they go? Okay, um, and the, there's should be on the very top where your motors are. There's going to be two holes. You'll see if you're looking at the mo the opposite side where the wires come out. There's going to be two holes where those go. I can't see it, so there we go. So I th now. Okay, let me. Where's the picture here? So there's in the ex in the plastic part. There's going to be two holes on the corner of your motor. Um, that looks like, no, the wires aren't coming out of there. I think it's on the other side. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're, looking, counter, they're countersunk, yes. They're looking on the other side, they're countersunk. Yeah, yeah, those two holes on the other side. Those are going to secure your rods from the top. Jason, still here? Yep. Okay. He, he yeah. fell asleep. I'm just eating. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, mean, I asked, what are you having? Are you eating pizza? No, Wendy's. I got a bacon I mean, eater. I used to love here? Wendy's years ago, and they, they kind of went down the hill since then. Yeah, it's all kind of gone. Well, get, out, you, uh, open up your bag and see everything's kind of crunch. I love Arby's. I called out. What was that, John? Press on Twitter. They didn't like me for doing that. I like the chicken salad sandwich at Arby's. You're, you're very faint again, John. Yeah. Oh, very, very faint. Very, very faint. He's always faint. Okay, they say if those don't reach, you have to maybe sometimes you have to push them hard to reach the next. Hey, Tim, can you edit John's mic settings and crank him all the way up? Say that and then say that again. Hang on, John. Where's your edit mic settings? Whoops. Do you have a nut in there? I don't think I have nuts in here, do I? Try again, John. I just saw you crank me up. Don't do it, I crank you up. I crank you up, John. I'm just going in there myself to do it. Does that sound better? I don't do that. I don't crank you still quite fine. You're still quite fine. Hold on. Okay, the comments do say that the that somebody said they had to really push them hard in the back of the mini Z part so they could reach the nuts. Once you got the bite on the nuts, they tighten nicely. Okay, I was just checking to see if they I don't, know, I don't know who enjoys the biting of the nuts, but that just sounds bad. <laughs> you beat okay. me to it, John. You, you press <laughs> hard, and then it, you press hard, it snaps, and then it grabs. Okay. Anyways, uh, I called out Panda Express for downsizing their boxes to go boxes, and they did not 
enjoy that on Twitter. They said, no, they didn't. And I said, oh, let me do a quick Google search. And I pointed out like five other people that said the same thing. I said, yeah, you don't charge people the same amount in, in, in a smaller box. Thank you. Hmm. No, they're not grabbing. Okay. Well, it says push hard. Uh -oh. Now, that, again, let's see. Well, you got to grab the nuts, Jerry, or it won't succeed. Push hard. Sometimes you have to grab both nuts at the same yeah. time. Somebody here says at first they thought there was no thread inside. It turned out it didn't push the nuts all the way in. Oh, so, don't do that. <laughs> now, you say Jerry has no thread in his nuts? What? Were those nuts inserted from the bottom or the top? I'm trying to remember. The bottom. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Always the bottom. Yes. It, somehow the, the rod between the nuts is the huge hey, Dad. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Dad, Dad. Tim, I think your kid stole a mic from you. Yeah, it must have. So now we music. can't hear you, Tim. I can't hear you. No, I can't hear you, Tim. We can't hear you talking, Tim. Tim, you've muted. Sorry, I was. The, I had a five-year-old asking me a question. Oh. Uh, and I don't think you guys are interested in finding Detective Pikachu. I don't know. Well, why not? Don't make assumptions, know, Tim. Maybe. Well, these so, are the first two I ran into that I can't get in. So. Yeah, so now I'm... Um, where are the... I'm just trying to wonder where those nuts pushed in from. Was it under that motor or on the bottom of that piece? Um, you know what? I think I'm going to, for my next live printer build, I'm going to require everyone to be drinking heavily. Yeah, they're in there. They're in there, yeah. So it just says, the, the comments all say you've got to push hard in order to get to grab grab the threads on the nuts. So three comments say that. <laughs> Harder, we, we discussed that earlier, John, that we should be playing um, Prusa Pong <laughs> for every mis missed nut or every incorrect nut. Jerry oh, my God, drink. everyone would be totally freaking wasted. <laughs> <laughs> um, One of the comments says that he put the bolts in from the wrong side and he had to reprint that piece, but you're putting them in from the right side. Yeah. I mean, pretty soon if you start messing around with them, you're going to change colors. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry, do you, do you have any, do you have any spare 25 millimeter uh, uh, bolts in your, uh, in your salvage pile? Do you keep any of those? Hmm. I probably do. Because they're gone purple. He's gripped. He's pushed it far too hard. You could you could try uh, you could try twenty five millimeter nuts or uh, bolts just to get a grip. Just to get a grip. Yeah. If you can't grip the nuts for more than four hours, Jerry, then you should consult Tim. <laughs> oh, yes. We'll see a doctor. <laughs> it's a yeah. It's a Cialis thing, isn't it? How long are they supposed to be? Twenty. Twenty millimeter. Okay. Yeah, they're the right ones. Yeah, now you might you throw an Allen key in there and see if they're lined up or something too. I mean, I yeah, guess there's, I really no, there's really no way, nothing else to advise other than fiddle with the nuts and <laughs> see if they grip. <laughs> you guys are poisoning me. Yeah, I think I'll call it uh, my next stream live stream: drink and build. Drink and build. <laughs> That's, oh, gonna, that's gonna be an well, a not Chris safe for work. Done a stream a while back. He was talking about <laughs> rods and balls. And he said, "Make sure your ball slides smoothly across your rod." And he was being serious. He wasn't laughing, but my, I was thinking that's what he should have called the name of the stream of the video, "Rods and Balls." I like Dominic's <laughs> comment here. You should be able to. Yeah, grab we can care, care Dominic. So Chris says if the mini is like the MK3, all parts are printed except all parts printed, except for the park ruling fan or pet G and the park ruling fan is ASA, which is right. Yeah, the front and the back of this on the base that screws to the thirty thirty was uh, mold injected, and everything yeah. else is printed. On the older ones, they're three D printed, and actually you can get the STL file for that fancy honeycomb design too. So and print print that one. 
I did a custom DeWitt cup front plate for mine. Dominic has a, a great point. You really should be able to grab your nuts even <laughs> if you can't see them. Do you have longer yeah. uh, screws, Jerry, where it might give you a little more leverage to kind of wiggle the shaft left and right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what do you think, Dave? Is that a good I can't say anything now. It's bad. The whole thing is just gone <laughs> I would, down I would try a 25. <laughs> Because you've got, a, you've got a hole on the back side. Hey, okay, so, I've got a really long one here, and let me, I'm trying to see if it grabs it. Hey, yeah. hey, you know what, Jason? Oh, that's the long the the diameter. Mess, okay, if he keeps on messing around with the shaft. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't touch the shafts. <laughs> don't, get, like, don't cross the streams. Don't cross Those the streams. must be the wrong size. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> These must not be in freeze that I'm messing with. Here. Just goes dark. Eight inch, eight inch are the same. Almost this better be same. one awesome printer for all the nuts you're grabbing. When it's done, it'll be able to print an entire drinks droid in one shot. The whole thing: TPU, <laughs> the wheels, the tracks, the motors, everything. I have M350s here, but they're no good to you there. Oh, I may have a sponsor for Thursday. I had to work with them. So, and I'll see if they could do a giveaway. Mm. Wait, what it looks it looks like you're tightening up something. I'm trying to get it to grab. It's not grabbing. What are you doing on Thursday, John? What's that? What are you doing on Thursday? No, for the live stream. Oh, oh, that live stream. Gotcha. Okay, Jerry. Yeah, that'd be cool. How did yeah. you get? How did you get the? How did you get the screw to push out with your Allen key if there's a nut in there? Because we went through the nut. Screwing into it, and I went through the backside and popped it. But you shouldn't, that Allen key shouldn't be able to go through a three millimeter nut. It's a smaller Allen key. Yeah, it's a small Allen key. Just say yes, Jerry. But that's the same size as he's using to try to. Oh. I see what you're uh, saying, Dave. You're right. Yeah, that three millimeter will not. Yeah. Where's the nut? It, well, they're in there. They're in, they're installed. They're up. They're buried. And it feels and like it, when I go in real careful, I can feel threads in one tiny take, spot. Take your take your uh, take your smartphone. Turn the light on, and turn the light on, turn the light on the back side, Shot and then look line. through it and see if you see the nut. So, UV light on the back side, yeah. see if I can look through and see the UV. Well, or the blue laser. <laughs> now, word, now, word from our sponsor. Go ahead. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Uh, guys, while Jerry's working on this, since I'm not even, I got to go fix it. You should be able to look through that hole and actually see shiny uh, reflection yeah, on the thread. And I thought I had them pressed all the way in there. But I can repress them and make sure they're all the way tight. I'll be right back. Let's go. Let's go. At least you can reach them still, Jerry, which is good. I don't know, but I wish he wouldn't pee in my basement. Oh, he peed in the basement. Guess what? They weren't pushed in far enough. At least you can still reach them, which is good. Yeah. Yep. So as you're pushing him in, put your Allen Allen uh, through through it, and you can feel the center. If you put your Allen key through it as you're pushing it up, you can feel the center of the nut as you as you find it. Yeah, you I can, can put even it. Leave the, the Allen line. key in there. If you leave the Allen key in there as you as you drive the the screw through, it'll Absolutely. push it out. Yeah, but it'll keep yep. the the nut aligned. Apparently, you haven't seen any of my Pets Fang uh, installation videos, have you, Jerry? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I when when I started when I started the designs, I copied Prusa on all of their nut capture features. Hey, they're working now. Hey. I, just didn't, I didn't have them push in far enough. That's what she said. Deeper is better. 
Well, if you hey, play with it enough long enough, enough eventually they'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Never want to squish a nut. So, hey, guys. I'm Jerry knows fly. next time it has a live stream, who not to invite? <laughs> Jason, myself, and John. Exactly. <laughs> That's like. John, you're gonna, you're gonna have to redo the uh, the thumbnail for the video and put NSFW on it. <laughs> hey, maybe that'll give us more viewers. <laughs> yeah, might, might kick him up over the top. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, I'm going through looking at here. There we go. I'm just looking at my screen to see what's what. <clears throat> Yeah. You're far too old at 34. You need a Ten more minutes, minutes and Mike would have had a 3S plus uh, it built. So we right now, Jason, we have a, um, a window air conditioner in the house that was sort of garage. Oh. Did you get them, oh. Jerry? Yeah, I didn't have the nuts pressed in far enough. Sorry, John. <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry, I had to step away there. Okay, I'm gonna next. Oh, you, your next hey, step is uh, Tim. Before you tell me who peed on the floor. <laughs> oh, did you guys hear that too? The dog, yeah. the dog kicked on my basement floor. Wasn't me. Oh, no, you're blaming the dog for peeing uh, on your basement floor. I've been down here doing this. I couldn't hold it. No. <laughs> so <laughs> you, now, now you have to eat the next four Haribo's. Okay, we'll skip that. I don't want them. I don't okay. like them getting my wife. So six, your YZ axis is finished. Congratulations. Check the final look compared to the picture. And looking at your picture, it looks like uh, you look like you've got the same thing that they have here. So I'm going to go on to the next one. I have a question. Okay. What's a Haribo? It's, a, it's like a gummy. Oh, That's a Haribo. A yeah. A Haribo, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 did catch, I did catch you, Jason, asking if there were the sugar-free kind. That's a Canadian Ooh. thing. I think I was thinking of caribou. <coughs> okay, so now we are working on the X-axis extruder assembly, and this is difficulty moderate, 50 steps. <laughs> so what was what, what was the first part then? Difficulty what? Huh? What was the first part? That was moderate now. The first yeah, part was moderate. moderate. It was difficulty four. Yeah. Well, this is difficulty oh, moderate. So, we need to hold up scorecards then for the difficulty. Okay, this one you're going to need five different Allen keys or three different Allen keys for. Yeah. One and a half, two and two and a half millimeter. Big and deal. I need a P, an orange. Now we're into the orange goodies. Yeah. Hey. Hey. It looks red. And you need nine square M3 <laughs> nuts. And you need your orange carriage. Your mini Z carriage front. One piece. You've got the picture up in front of you, obviously. Yeah. Yep, that's the piece. And then and I need what, five nine, nine. nine square nuts. And you're going to need... <laughs> Look at Joel's face, is it all? <laughs> well, nine nuts are better than eight. Stop it, Karen. <laughs> and the nine nuts are going in the... Man, air. we would be all so shit-faced if we would... If, anytime the one... If someone said nut... <laughs> Hey, we would have got past the first half hour. Jerry, four on each side and one in the top. All right. We do apologize for the interruptions, Jerry and Tim, though. I must. <laughs> well, that's fine. All right. Hey, Best you know live what? stream ever. If, if Jerry don't like it, Jerry will say something. And just, and just so you know, just say, I'm 8.30. I've got to go do bedtime duties. So I've got about another 40 minutes. Okay, we'll so 40 try to get done. Jerry. Well, your stream will hit four hours before then. Well, if I don't get done, then I'll continue the stream at a different time. I have bedtime duties, but it usually only takes about five minutes. <laughs> well, yeah, but you don't have a five-year-old. Never mind. On, <laughs> That's what they use gaffer tape to for, Tim. Tape them to the bed or the wall. So, so Jason, anyways, uh, you got that window air conditioner. It's only meant for 150 square feet trying to... Cool oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I hope you move it around from window to window at night. Uh, <laughs> well, it's just to make sure all the square nuts are inserted all the way down into the hole. You can use a two millimeter Allen wrench to push them in fully. Okay. Well, but that's pretty obvious stuff. 
Now I gotta find more knots. I... <laughs> well, just look, to, just look to the right of the screen you're looking at. There's at least one, two, three, four, five degrees. of them. Four night Fahrenheit, seventy six point eight. What's that in real number? least there's at least ten of them to your left. <laughs> yeah, so in the house right now, seventy six <laughs> degrees and forty almost forty percent humidity. The garage is the middle one. That's where the printing. You should not wow. be printing. Forty one. Forty one percent humidity. Oh no, that's inside the house right now. Hold on. Oh, in the house. Oh, yeah, okay. So as for, for here now. It's, so the twenty two is not too bad. Yeah. So for or okay. But the garage, a hundred degrees in there where the printers are. Forty thirty eight point five degrees. Hey, real numbers. I got another bag with uh, belts and nuts and bolts. All the shoes. Still looking for your nuts. I got. I think it was one hundred five again today. Is that what it was today, Jerry? 105? I didn't check today, but yeah, it's pretty hot out all the time. It was hot. Yeah. Yeah. So what happens, be, Jerry? Uh, what happens when you hit four hours? Does it just cut you off? <laughs> no. No, I can stream 24 hours a day if I want. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I thought no, maybe there was last week I streamed for like five and a half hours before I stopped. Well, I limit you don't have to. Hours. Okay. No. You don't have to consult anyone to go longer than four hours? No. <laughs> That's only if you're looking for your nuts for longer than four hours. Me being married to my house, Randy, <laughs> if they're not deep enough. If they're not sound deep enough for four hours. Yeah, old Kamunjan is asking how many people does it take to build a mini? 11,000, <laughs> apparently. However many people that want to help. Well, there's less 13 than, watching at the moment. Less than the number of the people that are on here now. As long yeah. as it's not these people that are on here now. <laughs> <laughs> these are not the Meaning people that to build in the future. <laughs> Everybody is welcome to a drop in if there's room. Yeah. Well, the wife is encouraged if you're us. drunk. It's encouraged. <laughs> we're the we're the crash crew. <laughs> we're the we're the um the side comedy relief. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely in the sidebar relief. People don't. We're not even how, the crash uh, crew. We're the pilot that crashed. Yeah. <laughs> how you meet, uh, humid it gets here and. By Chicago. That's the good thing about here. I mean, even if it even if it rains, the humidity might hit twenty percent for about a minute, and then it burns off too. Because <laughs> so. yeah. I was going to work on even down here in summer at forty five degrees. You're lucky. All right, Tim. All them are pressed in. All these. Okay. He you're pressed in all his nuts. Two of your eight millimeter <laughs> diameter smooth rods. Wow. Okay. Flush mounted nuts. Okay, I got the this two rods. Now with, Eight with millimeters. The on. You insert oh. those. There's only one way they can go into that piece. There should oh. only be one way they can go in. Well, that was before we them and bit them. With the AC on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bend the rods, that. Jerry. No, Any more than you already are. People say, okay. you know, they want reboot 2020. They're all the way I in. to reboot yeah. 2021. <laughs> now you're going to secure them with, four, with M3 by 12 screws. How many? So you're going to yeah. need four. The HVAC okay. guy will be Then they're going to go in here. Yeah. Monday? It's, right. it's 9 o'clock here. We're 83 degrees and 50% humidity. Wow. The dew point is 60 degrees. Oh, so we'll have, see. yeah, we'll just have tons of water on our windows So it's just going to start tomorrow. raining in about an hour. It will, gotcha. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> wow. I tell you what, I do not miss living in Florida at all. At all. I was Especially born in Lincoln, Florida. Nebraska. I lived in a little village called Murdoch. Moved here when I was five years old. Now I'll be 57 next Saturday. And I think Dave has a birthday soon, don't you, Dave? Yes, yes, on the 18th. My sister's so, 19th. I'll be 64. Well, I'll be 57. Dave's the old man here. I'm, a, I'm an old man, yeah. Yeah, oldest one here. You know, if, you know, actually, when somebody calls me old because I don't feel old, even though I'm looking different in America, it kind of pisses me off. 
it's like kind of I feel still I feel feel I still feel like that guy in his thirties, but I'm not. So the humidity is forty five percent outside. In my house, it's forty one percent. Because your window shakers uh, just bringing it all in. Oh my God, he needs bigger just... bags of discipline in the corners of the house, sucking up all the moisture. <laughs> Uh, you know, so right and, now, you know, that's what sucks about it because oh. in the in the winter time and in the fall spring we have like no humidity, so I don't have to worry about any of my filament. But when this when the growing season hits, I got it. My my filament will start going to shit. Well, I, I actually bought another hot box for so I could have two of them going now. So yeah, I mean it's just, it was. It was 108 you today, Jerry. Box? Which one? Well, Sun Lu or the other one? Heater. You know, the Sun Lu filament dryer. So it does help. I mean, it's uh, laying down that uh, pet They make medicine for that. Like, there's, nothing's happening to it. So, but what sucks right, about Jim. the Sun Lu is that hey, you have to you keep need on your, uh, it after 24 hours. It's called a mini Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. It restarts. It's another orange piece. So, yeah, I'm going to end up bolting that on the bearings. Um, eventually. Oh, eventually. I'm just following the steps. Yeah. Okay, here's another orange piece. Looks like it. No, it's a mini. Yeah, you can do you can do that now, or are you going to follow the follow the? No, I'm going to follow the steps. There's not traffic goes in it. Okay, so no, we need a mini X end. It's called. It's a small orange piece. Oh, um, so you don't need this piece now then? Not yet. Nope. Oh, okay. You would think you would, but that's not the order it's telling us to go in. Okay. The small little piece. Let me scroll and I can look at it. Wow. Scroll, not damn. Ninety-three percent humidity. When's it gonna start? Well, that little square thing. <laughs> okay. The high today was one hundred eight. Right now it's one hundred one outside, and our high humidity outside was eight percent today. Oh, jeez. You're kidding. I got wow. the car. And you're inside, in Arizona too. Inside right? with the air on, it's no, he's in Vegas. Oh, he's in Vegas? Oh, yeah. Jason yeah. lives hey, in Vegas. Jason, I got the car, air conditioned car, into the house, and my back was sweating. I mean, it's I so don't miss nasty that. Here. I don't miss that at all. I Jason's don't miss on the Ritchie side the of town. I'm on the ghetto side of town. All right. Dinner's here. <laughs> I'll be on after dinner. Cheers, <laughs> John. Take care. You can eat on the stream, you know, just cover your mouth and you Let's chew. See if we can get the extruder. You don't want us to see the bib he has to wear, I bet. <laughs> okay, Jerry, you put those two square nuts in that piece. Working on it. Yeah, and then you also need a lock nut or whatever you want to call them on the other side of it, too. That one's okay. going to take one of the, um, it's called an M3N nut. M3N. Nylock. So, Nylock. 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 Yeah, Nylock. You step, sense. You, you step three steps ahead of me by doing that, you know. We should probably consult with Mike since he's the only other one that's built one besides Tim. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. Does the when it, when the instructions say a mini N nut, is that a nylock? Yeah, a nylock. And blue okay. or black edge out, put the steel side in. Oh. Which is normal. Do you get but... that, Jerry? Yeah, the rub the plastic of the nylon. Yeah, we up. can see in the end is usually the old end. Yeah, yep. Trying to get it lined up so I can get it started. Makes it easier to thread them in later. It's easier to what? Well, you can. Actually... Somebody's printer told me to put them in the other way, and then trying to get it to thread is kind of a. No, you can't. Oh, yeah. you, you can't push in the nylon first. You got to go from the yeah the, the other side. I forget yeah, which print. It wasn't one of these, but it was one of the ones I did, and it was like, yeah. no, no, that's backwards. I can't you can run it. You well, can run a long screw through it, catch you the can. nut, and yeah. then pull the nut through. Well, you can push it through, but you know it's kind of defeating the. Purpose, I got it right. <laughs> right. Then you've you already cut um, the nylon. Yeah. You know, okay. I need everybody. Oh, there we go. Now I need everybody to pay attention to this next part. Okay, you need your linear bearings, your LM8 UU, two of them. I got, I got a grease one. Yeah, and this is where you got to get the lubricant involved. 
Okay. Oh. Stop, oh. stop, Kieran. Oh. Stop. Oh. Stop. Oh. Stop. Excuse me. Somebody get <laughs> Kieran. Me first. It's good to have several paper towels to wipe. The ah, that was good. That was better. Oh, the bruise on Yeah, I did that earlier. The lube. Make sure they're clean inside. Well, you know what you're doing. You've, you've lubed these before. But I, I didn't get Jerry, the cool put a little bit of alcohol on it first, man. It won't hurt so much. At least once, right? Is that... <laughs> oh, dear. That'd be a wrong alcohol. It's got to be spread evenly over the entire inner surface. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds like prison life, life to me. Life. All righty, they're good. Okay, now you're going to mark the bearings, okay? Position the bearings so that you can see two rows of balls. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let me get a bottle of wine. This is not kid friendly at all. <laughs> We've wrecked him. Oh, no. <laughs> this in the hey. bearing, you can see two rolls of balls, like in the picture. Uh, so you want to mark, mark above the balls. <laughs> Good. Sure, you, you don't do. want to go below the balls. You see that? Are you looking at the picture there, Jerry? Number nine. No, but I'm doing it. But you want, yeah, you want the balls down in the bottom, and then you want to mark a mark above, right in the middle of the balls, but on the top. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So if yeah, you timestamp this stream, Jerry. <laughs> if he crops, it'll be balls, 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 nuts, so nuts, nuts, nuts balls, nuts. Now you Rotate need the thread, balls, board. balls, nuts, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's saying the mark above the center of two of them. Okay, I didn't. I marked yeah. actually where they were. No, no, you want to mark above the center of the two of them. That's what I was trying to say. Just interrupt I everybody. Oh, I know. Oh, I see. There's four in there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want to have the orientation so that it sits correctly on the rod. So that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Then you're going to need your blue bearing idler. Okay. Should be one piece of pulley bearing idler. Yeah, the shaft to balls orientation is important. Hey, let me find the idler. Oh, here it is. And it's now officially four hours for the stream. So well done, Jerry. Hey, right. you're going to place the pulley bearing idler into the X end and align the holes on both parts. The orientation of the bearing of that doesn't matter. This is the wrong one. Oh, no, it goes another side. Okay. All right. Okay. And then you're going to secure it with an M3 by 20 screw. M3 by 20. Okay. I wish Lucky died, Uncle Tim. Hmm? He wishes Lucky died. died. I you tried to use my tiny knife. He just was so lucky he could he he climbed up the knife and said dying the knife he did everything to survive everything to survive okay lucky is an ant miss anything yeah, and, lucky an ant. and he's trying to kill lucky the ant but he won't die well he's very lucky then because he wants to look at him under his microscope yeah, he's still alive. I tried. I tried to use my my tiny nuts. <laughs> Lucky's tiny lost his. Lucky's lost the small nuts. Yep, and they're like John Lucky. Alrighty, yeah. that's good to go. Okay. No, I, no. I, tried to, I tried to kill him, but he won't work. Okay, so now um, that's it, and now it spins freely with your finger. So it spins fine. <laughs> Kids say the darndest uh, yeah. things on live streams. <laughs> so as long as it spins freely, you're good. Yep. Okay, now you're going to insert and slightly tighten two M3 by 12 screws into the X end. M3 by 12s, yep, and slightly tightened. I don't think it matters what you say now, Tim. I, <laughs> this whole thing can just yeah. go bad. <laughs> Lucky 
I wonder why I'm even putting those in because they don't, they're not grabbing nothing yet, but they will when I put it together, I guess. Just like so putting those two in, they don't grab anything there. Okay, let's see the other. Turn that around again. Um, sideways. Yeah, that's the end they're going in according to the picture. And then there's nothing on the other side. Nothing on the other side to grab? Okay. Look, you're so, serious. And it says that it's showing them going down just so about two millimeters ahead of the. Yes, I'm serious. Going. <laughs> it's not, that's what it sounded like you said. <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> this microphone must be very sensitive. Yes, it is. If it's picking him up. Wow. Is your mic a Yeti, Tim? <laughs> no, it's it's this little Wow. Because the Yetis right. will hear stuff all over the place. They're usually yeah. The Yeti is muted. They're usually on the other side of what, dangerous. John? <laughs> <laughs> and and why why are you talking about Ken dolls, John? Exactly. <laughs> or is he talking about Justin Bieber? And their smooth sides. <laughs> what? Oh, it's funny. It says there is no nut used here. Uh, use more force to tighten the screws into the plastic part. Be careful not to hurt yourself. Yeah. They're yeah. funny how they write things up. Well, you don't want to hurt yourself with the nuts. Or oh, the screws, no. So after that, you're, going to, you're sliding your bearings onto your rods. So, not, yeah. Slide yeah. one bearing on each smooth rod. I'm sorry. You're sorry oh, now. Oh, okay. okay. Lucky's down. Lucky's down. Lucky's down. No. Did you mark both the bearings? Yeah. Okay. Got a center mark right there on. <coughs> okay. You probably want those to the top, don't you? So let me see. Push the mini X all the way to the smooth rods. Before pushing the part onto the smooth rods, check if there are no obstructions on the inside holes. Check the correct orientation of the part. The screw holes on the mini X must face up, and the screws on the mini Z carriage front must face up. <coughs> I'm not getting this. Um, insert and slightly tighten two M312 screws onto the end. We'll completely tighten them later. Mike might help out here. So it's not really talking about orientation of the bearings yet because you can still turn them. And that's right. You're going to put that on the end and secure that with two M3 by 12 screws. Which way? Okay, let me look. Let me blow this picture up. Okay, so let, let's see the other end. No, let's see the other end of the assembly in your left hand. In your right hand. So you want to turn that around the other way. That way, okay. And now pull it back down the other way. And you want that screw to be on the top. Um, the, the, the head of the okay. screw. Yeah, right. right there, that way, right there. Yeah. That's the correct orientation. Then you're going to secure, tighten that with two M3 by 12 screws. Okay. <coughs> How many people are watching? 13? 13 still. Okay. But you do have 32 likes, so that's good. Any idea what we had a long time ago? I was hoping to have a lot of people watching when I started out, but then it would probably fizzle, but I don't know. I saw like 20-something at one point, 20-something. Okay. I don't remember. I wasn't really watching, though. I was trying to put it into the other... Um, I Tim must have muted himself. I can't hear a little boy now. No, he's crying about the ant that escaped, and he tried to kill it with his knife, but he's not sure if he did. Now he's worried because he's in the basement and he might bite me. Well, that's a valid concern. <laughs> a real ant? <laughs> a real ant. Fire ant? 
No, just an ant. It's just your everyday earth ant, whatever you want to call them. Piss ant, little tiny ones I call them. Yeah. I, I... Now, I don't quite understand what these do that I'm tightening up. I'm going to yeah. go and try to grab the rod and saw. Uh, those are to uh, adjust the X tension later. Oh, okay. That was they just the pull the plastic the... piece off of the rods. Oh, yeah. I see. I under, okay, I understand. Push away, yeah. Push yeah, away, push yeah. up. Okay, I understand. Okay. So you I really don't even need to put them in very no, far. So just yeah, I'm going to have to loosen these up. Yeah, I okay, understand. Yeah, I don't yeah, get them. You know, I probably put the pulley in here. Next stage is the um, X carriage. The X carriage. It's a black part. Mini X carriage, it's called, and it's black. Okay, I see it. And it says X on it, F2 on the end. That's the one. And then you're going to need two M3N nuts, or one M3N nut, and one M3NS nut. So a square nut and a regular nut. Wait, I thought the N was nylock. M3NN is nylock. Oh, okay. oh gotcha. I do have gotcha. some regular nuts here, so put a regular nut in right here. Yeah, regular nut in, and it should be obvious where that goes. And then the square nut, regular nut, and the square nut's going on the uh, regular nut's going on the top. Let's see where'd you put the regular one in. Yeah, that's right. And the square nut is going in the. Um, oh, it's really hard to describe where the square nut goes. Turn it up now. Um, okay, turn it around the other way. And on around the, around the other way, like there, and then down on right there, right there. sort of above your right finger, you where your right thumb was. Right there, there's somewhere. a little ledge. Yeah, yeah where your, your right thumb head. was. Okay, it's on your. It's near your left thumb now. Your left keep, keep looking, you'll find it. There's your a little other left. Yep. Right where your, your other left. left. It's just finger. a recess. Looks your like your left index finger is almost touching it. Spin your yeah. hand. There, stop. Now, yep. now lift the piece up towards you vertically. It's just stop. a recess. Turn the piece up towards you vertically. There. Right tight. Yeah. Right there. there right there. Go. Down. There. That's it. Yeah. There, there, there. Wow. Feel, felt like a game show there. <laughs> <laughs> hot, hot, cold, cold. Touch the I was recess. I my trackball, but you weren't moving that way. <laughs> I wanted to reach in the screen and turn it. Of course you did. Turn or tug. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be fair, it's been four hours and it's been a laugh a minute for the entire four hours. Yeah. Like, it has definitely been a very, very amusing all righty, that's in. Okay, now you want to turn your um your the, the carriage that you just assembled with the bearings on it. Yeah. Stand it up on the end with your right hand on it now. Yep. You want to turn now. You want to turn the bearings with the marks that you put on them towards your right hand side. You want that marks to face the right hand side. Put okay. them right down. Toward, put them right down in the bottom. Slide the bearings down. The marks are on the right-hand side in the middle, okay? And then the piece in your hand goes on just like that. Yep. Place it above the bearings. Make sure the longest side of the part is on the left side, which it is. And you're going to push it onto the bearings. Ensure the bearings are properly seated and that they are centered in the X carriage. Yay. Boy, look at that. Nice. And does it move freely left to right? It should move freely left to right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. There no, keep go. going. You got, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Move real good. Just about, just about there. Just about. <sighs> there we go. That looks correct. Okay, now. Was that enough lube, though? <laughs> Wait, those are pretty lube. Seems all right. Yeah. Now he greased them up first. Jason. He did grease them well. Okay. I'm going to do yeah, X-axis well. motor preparation, okay? So you need your X-axis motor. And it should say X-axis on the bottom of the motor. And then you need a pulley and a belt and some screws. And a wool to live. 
<laughs> yeah, I got a pulley about that. Never so let the machines me. win. Says we're getting. He's getting his fifty dollars worth from watching. <laughs> <laughs> we've yeah. we've all got fifty dollars worth out of watching this. We've all gotten it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> When I was younger, I had a lot more screws. Now I only got one. Well, I mean, well, I got these on the table, too. But... So that's two and three by 12 screws as well. So, Jerry's saving $50. It's been well worth it for the rest of us. Yeah. You need a belt and a pulley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm really thankful that Jerry invited me to this. <laughs> yeah, everybody you know, everybody's always welcome. Everybody's always welcome. Anyway, um, take a drink from that. I'm going to grab a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, if I was drinking during the stream, I wouldn't have got this far. I've been sleeping on the floor by now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, originally I wanted to do this live stream, and then after I realized how many parts it was going to be, and I looked online, I'm thinking, I can't. It's going to be too damn long. And I'm saying, wait a minute. A couple of people bugged me online and post to do it live. And I figured, well, if I do a hangout, maybe I can get other people to join in. And then I can make a party out of it and I can keep working and then we can do it all at once. So here we are. And you can always, if it's if this was recorded, you can take back and break it up into pieces and then repost them as part one, part two, you know. Yeah, if OSB, well, it quit taping earlier, ran out of hard drive space. I deleted a bunch of files. So hopefully I won't get another notification uh, on the screen again. So I hope that's what I want to do. And then once the mini's done, then I can, I'll can i do a test print. And then I can print out all the parts for the mini for the base. And that'll be another video. So I can make a couple videos out of this. I asked Bruce about sending me a couple rolls of film and I could do a video on it, which I didn't think they would if they've been around for so long and they've already got an established name. And they said, well, we can give you 20% off if you want. And anyway... Yeah, it's better than nothing. Better than yeah. kicking the teeth, right? Well, it depends who you are. Some people enjoy kicking the teeth. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> it is else? Saturday night in Vegas after all. <sighs> However you do <laughs> things in Canada, he's wearing the gimp mask. Yeah, that's... that's... <laughs> Most Canadians are weird. I had a resin company in China contact me and want me to try a bunch of their different resins that are supposed to be hammer proof and really soft for dental and gums and all kinds of things but they want me to maybe do a video and then let them see the video before i post it i said i i don't do that no. i said if i if you send me something i'll do a video on it and if there's a problem i'll explain what i found which is usually down to settings because different types of resin require different types of tweaking to get them to print right but i'm not gonna sugarcoat it and let them see the video and say well no you got to change this this no but how i do videos like you know they come as they come and you see you get this you know honest results it's tough with resins because it's so temperature dependent <sighs> well the, is the only place. resin i've ever used elgu used to work great but now on the bigger resin printers i use just striatech that's the only thing that just prints perfect for me i have no issues with it and i've tested a lot of different resins but if you don't get the settings quite right this will fail or that'll fail and it striatech you dump it in it just works so i have no problem with striatech at all Find Soraya Tech <clears throat> needs warmer room than I've got. Too cold I keep my basement. house at 78 to 79 year round. And it's on my outside room, but that's enclosed. So it's got the same temperatures in here. 78 to 79. Wow. It's warm. That is warm. I'd be melting at that point. <clears throat> so Gary, do you want to we don't have humidity here in Vegas. It's dry heat. So it's 78, 79 degrees. I'm not hot. It's not freezing in my house. If I kept it to 70, 70 to 75, I'd be, I'd be an iceberg. Fat people get hotter than skinny people, so my wife's always freezing when I'm hot. She's <laughs> real Jerry, skinny. I've got to go do a bedtime duty here, not for me. Um, so if you want somebody else to pop in or help you with this, we can. I can come back, but I'm going to be about 15 minutes or so. Okay, well, go ahead and you can pop out, come back, and I'll just keep I'll keep reading the screen and going with it. Thank you very okay. much for stopping by, and you're always welcome. I'm sure I'll still be here. 
No problem. I'll just remove myself. I'll leave myself in the in the green room. Okay, that's fine. And then, then I'll come back, and if you're still on, I'll pop in. Or, or if you want to just walk away, we can listen to all the background noise upstairs. You don't have to. We can hear upstairs anyway. They're all <laughs> screaming and yelling. Okay, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Thank Pretty you. Sure we'll have still a good be duty. Minutes. All right. <laughs> okay, got that done. Okay, let's see. Now we're going to put the motor mounting the X-axis motor. Which would be the motor I have in my hand. What step are you on, Jerry? Uh, 19. 19. 19. Let's see. This piece turned around. Let me turn it, change cameras. Wires come out that way. What? Yeah, he's right. Well, based off the picture that I'm looking at. Yep. Looks like it goes diagonal like that. Kind of like that. that yeah, you're right. But I got to put yeah. my. Because uh, the lawyers will be pointing downward ish after that. so. And I can't tell by the picture, but it looks to me like it yeah. goes on this way. Like if I'm. Yeah. Uh, you put that on in step 18. Go back one. If I mount the motor, then I can't get that on at all. Yeah, put it. You're supposed to put the gear on on 18. Oh, I see. Step okay. 18. Okay, so I'll pretend I'm on step 18. That's Did right you get the, the free roll of persimmon with your order, Jerry? Or is that no, a new I, thing? No, they didn't have a free roll. Uh, no, they, they never do. On the but if, they, if they're offering it with the kit, I'll email them that I had to wait 16 weeks. Now you got a free roll. So do I get another free roll sent to me? I mean, that seems logical, right? From your point of view. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, they'll probably say, well, at the time that you bought it, we didn't have that deal. Well, this whole time it was considered on back yeah. order. And they finally shipped a few days ago. So, and that's Do what they I really ship you. a full spool with a mini now? Um, well, the one oh, that I got. Go. Hold on. I'm hunting around for the, for the guide. So okay. Yeah, the one. Back to it. Oh, it's in. Somewhere wasn't private chat. Handbook. I'm on. I'm handbook. on the guide. At, yeah, step 18 is at the moment. And uh, okay, now I'm going to 19. Hey, what side there, do the two M3 by 12s? Oh no! No, the, the, I got a roll of blue pre cement, but mm. I had to buy it. it was like 20 bucks or whatever it was. Mini. Did you have color choice when you ordered that filament? Well, I just randomly ordered whatever I wanted off their site. Oh, okay, because when Just I ordered the mine, the last ones, it was on Black Friday, and you only had the choice of, I think, blue and black. So. Oh, well, I got a light blue one and because I like blue. And then I thought about ordering two more rolls, one of orange, one of black, to print the base with, but I only need a tiny bit of black for the circles. Is it azure orange. blue? Orange. Um, let me look. Assembly. It looks like kind of a baby blue sparkly. Yeah, it should say on the spool what it is. There it is. Az Azure? Yep. Azure. Azure, Azure. Azure blue. Azure. That's, pop that's really popular. Yeah. When I ordered mine, I ordered two of them, and I thought, well, I'll get one blue and one black. So like an idiot, I picked the blue one first, and it just defaulted to two and pushed me along the order line. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, I see where you're at. No, I think um, I, I like I said, I just saw something about get a free roll. I think it said silver. Yeah, you get a free spool at the Mark Three usually. usually oh, maybe silver. that's what I saw. Okay. And With this, I got a couple small samples. So, Jerry, yeah. the orientation of that motor that it shows in the in the picture uh -huh. is with the. These with rock, the rod, rod. With the rods going to your right. The cord should be coming downward. Which he's got. Yeah. He's got that right. So he's now the right cord right. should be facing yeah. you. It is. Is it's it? Coming okay. di it's coming diagonally yep. to me. Yeah. Yep. Yes, right. Do you, okay. Do you have to slide the belt in at this point? It doesn't Perfect. say that yet. It might no, be the next, the next step. step. The next step, next step is the belt. Yeah. Next step is the belt. Quit being the smart guy. Come on. <laughs> 
<laughs> got, my, got my serious face on there. But actually, you know, if you're not building this on a live stream and you want to have fun, save 50 bucks. Yeah, I get the kit, but you have to build it from scratch. So, like I said, there's a couple of people in the Prusa group were kind of, they weren't kind of like, rah, 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 rah. no, it's, it's only a 20 minute live stream. And I had one last year and I said, no, this is something new. They started this year, the kit. He said, well, still 349. I said, no, that's for the kit. The one that you bought last year is now $50 higher. Yep. I wonder who they pay chump change to assemble the kits for them to get only justify fifty dollars. I don't know, but you couldn't pay me fifty dollars to put this thing together. No. <laughs> no. I would imagine that it's a. We have to have an assembly line of people that done different things. Well, and now the, we're now down to less than twelve dollars an hour for his rate he saved so far. Well, and at fifty dollars, they've got to also spend the money to package all that shit into little bags and label it all. Yeah. yeah. When you buy the pre-built one, pre-built, you know, there's like two bags of bolts and stuff that come with it. One spare and the ones you use, and that's it. Now I'm looking for a belt. I've got a belt here somewhere. And that takes a lot more time than build one once you've done it a couple of times. But the but the review is not even about the printer now at this point. It's about. <laughs> Do you want to spend fifty dollars to put it together, or do you want to do this? <laughs> Pretty much, you know. But you know, Joseph Prusa, you know, the building the printer aside, he's not a stupid man. Oh he, hell no! He's he's a no. very he's just as good with his business acumen as he is with with you know putting together these printers. <laughs> well, so. weren't almost all the Prusas to begin with the Mark Twos and the Mark Threes uh, kits? Yeah. To begin with. Well, wow. No, 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 no. They weren't. They were pre-assembled in the beginning, I think. Really? I believe so. I could be wrong. I often am, but I believe so. How long I think that was a secondary kit? thing when yeah. he when he decided that he could he, you know he could sell them as a kit and then realized he could, you know, delay certain orders and prioritize others and still make more money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's the samples that came with it. Uh, vanilla uh, white and black. Galaxy black. Cool. I have a lot of these on my shelf from different printers that I don't use. I think those are the only print samples that came with a printer I've ever used. Because <laughs> usually I don't trust the prints, the quality of the stuff that comes with it. Like you know what? Stuff. A lot of people give Creality's um, filament crap. Um, but in the it, 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 actuality, I think, I, and and I think this is right because I know 3D Fuel makes filament for a ton of people and companies. I really believe that 3D that 3D Fuel makes their filament. What, what did you get with your OCR six, Jason? Which which roll did you get? Um. Oh, here it, it is. A full roll. It was a full it's roll like, of yep. white. I think. I'm gonna. I got a full rod of black and I couldn't fault it. The black came out beautiful. It was, yeah. It, I, I, I have never had, other than it being, you know, shorter than what it takes to print a Benchy, um, you know, in in some assemblies or in some packages, but it, the rolls of the Creality stuff, because they don't make it. They're not, no. they're not a filament manufacturer. They buy it from somewhere. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's 3D Fuel that makes it. Well, you know, I bought my CR10 in 2017, and I was I was amazed that it came in a spool. You know, <laughs> I mean, loose. it was yeah, yeah. it was like a you know one quarter of a yeah. you know it was sample it was a sample, but it was in a friggin' spool. It's mm -hmm. like that's amazing. Okay, yeah, I'm not looking at directions right. now. Right. No, you, you, you're right so far, Jerry. It's all good. Just trying yeah, to work you're out good. How, yep, yep. Ouch. Focus. So I think Jared you want to overlap Galaxy them. Black is the best color from Prusa. So that the teeth, yeah. I don't know. Oh, and the tensioner would be on the end. Like Mike yeah, was yeah. talking about. Yeah. 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 So you so, might have to loosen it. If you don't back them out so that I can make it tighter. Yeah. Oh, be nice, Dennis. We're focusing yeah. on the Prusa Mini. Like for uh, 
for reference, the ones on the end of mine are sticking out about a sixteenth or an eighth of, eighth of an inch of the head. Okay. So, so give it at least half the head for. Go ahead and keep going, guys. <laughs> for the, half the head is better than the. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, hey, Jerry. Yeah. Half a head. I mean, if you don't ask, you don't get. So. And my another Las Vegas buddy is in chat, Jared Upton. He is a Prusa man. Yes, Galaxy Black. All that against him. Galaxy Black is nice. It's got a bit of sparkle in it. I've never used Prusa mint. Nor I. Well, you should step outside of the box. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I use know. more of it if I could get it in a reasonable time at, and without that is extra mint Just PLA? Del the delivery costs. Nope. I, I hate to downgrade, you know, from the cheapest crap I can find on the internet. It's um... <laughs> uh, Prusa Mint makes Pet G, ASA, so PLA, and something else. I'll yeah. try some. Oh, and the the PVB, the smoothing stuff. Oh. Instantly felt guilty because I got two spools of it upstairs. I haven't even tried yet. Shame on you. Okay, let me tighten these up so I can snug up those belts. Have you ever used a polisher? It does say they'll adjust the tension not later. Like a, there must be not, not like a legit one. one. Do or, do do or don't adjust it. Polisher. Do or don't adjust it. Uh, don't, don't adjust it. It says they'll adjust the tension later, so it must be a okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, don't stress about okay. it. Okay. What's the next step, Jason? Mount this. Um, hold on. Reward I yourself with gummy bears. I can't. Where is it at? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, those are. Is it on. twenty-two? I can't. Why? Twenty-three. So I'm twenty-three is your next step. Correct. Cancel. Okay, I already did those. I think. Yep. Yep. You're up to twenty-three now, Jerry. Yes, correct. Oh my gosh. He's not eating the gummy bears, so you need. There's a part called F1. Let's see. What? Uh, Z character part preparation, step 23. Yep. So you need the rear carriage. Yep, that's the part. Um, two M3N nuts. Which are the square nuts? I see four holes there. Let's see, two hex, oh, one square. Two nut, two nuts yep. here. Two hex nuts, one square nut, and four M three twenty, four M three thirty screws, and two M three twenty screws. Okay, this one has a press to place repress one in. Okay, one of those square ones. There we go. Okay. I found yep. you. And there. then you got two two holes for the um, normal hex nuts. Is he on 20 or 21, Kieran? 23. He's, um, 23. 23. Oh. Z oh, carriage pass preparation. Yeah. Okay. Now, I think my locks go in here. It uh, doesn't say no. No, no. The no other locks, side. Just the other side and on this side, those two. Looks like yeah, those two hex nuts, nuts and one square or, nut. Yeah, ordinary okay, hex ordinary nuts. nuts. Yep. Yeah, two plain hex and two and one plain square. square. He's got yeah, the square squares in. installed. Yep. Okay. And you need to, might need some more tape, Jerry, to hold the nuts in place. It says do not have them fall out. So um, yeah, put some tape over the nuts when you've got them in. Tape your these, nuts, Jerry. These tape two here will not fall out. They're in tight. Okay. Yeah, they're very tight in there. Okay. So that's 24 done. Mm -hmm. So 25. Mounting your X axis, which is illegal in 14 states, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> um, of which country? I'm trying yeah. to see what is mounting the X axis. Yep. So oh, turn the two of the assemblies so the back is facing you, so you can see the see the RJ forty five plug facing you on the power box. Yeah. 
that would be yep. called the rear side here in U.S. Yep. <laughs> okay, the rear well, is facing me. Okay, yeah. okay. Now mount your X axis. Sorry. <laughs> this will be a clamp it on now. I'm yep. clamping directly right on the bearings, right? Correct, yep. Now, what about that? Uh, the orientation of the bearings, though, is important, I'm sure, at this point. Yeah, but I'm concerned about the nut that goes up and down on the lead screw. It doesn't really say anything about the, lead, the lead screw. Is that the base? Deck. Is that the base of the orange assembly? It, it might go right here. Yeah, it looks like it goes in that recess there. Look yeah. At the, 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 yep. And there's like a hole there. Yep, just the chamfered hole. Yep. So hold that in place and put the two parts together. Yeah, with one hand. Yeah. I like how they just circle somebody's Your thumb. thumb. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's important. Yeah. Yeah, that looks correct on the picture. Oh, it's yep. looking good, Jer. Yep, that looks exactly like the picture. Ship it. Okay, I rolled the nut up to hold it. Yep, that should work. Yep. And then... Place the rear. Yeah, yep. So the nut should be down and F1 should be readable facing you. Okay, the yep. nut's on the left side, top to bottom, and F1 is level. Yeah. yeah the nut, the, you should have a nut on the... Um... Right below where it says F1. Yep. So you should be able to put a screw in the in the top left and the top right, or the bottom right. Yeah, top left, bottom right. What size? Um, M3 times 20. No, M330. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the next line down. The nut to the x-axis. Yep, insert and tighten two M330 holes. My bad. Okay. So going back to somebody's earlier comment, how many people does it take to <laughs> assemble a <laughs> mini? <laughs> looking, at the, looking at the wrong color, that's all. It only takes one person if you read the screen and you're not eight, eight foot away from it. Right. Um, Trying to see which one goes where. I see which ones are thirties. I need to pay for it. So I can see which ones are thirty, so I can line it up. The size chart here it is. That's a thirty. No, that's not a thirty. It's shorter. That's longer than a thirty. Let's try that one. Okay, that's a 30. Find another one like that one. Well, let's put one in for now. You said top left? Yes, top left and bottom right. Okay. So that'll stay. Okay, that'll stay. Let me find another one that long. Who keeps beeping? Uh, sorry, that's me. No, it's okay. Sure it's fine. You sure it's top left there, Jason? The, the picture is showing us the, the blue one circled as the top right and bottom left. That's all. On 26. On. Um, oh, that's the next step. The, the He's still on 25. So he's putting in the top left, bottom right. And those were 20s, you said, correct? 30s. 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 And then he'll put two thirties on the top right, bottom. So he's doing left. like a, an X pattern, right? So for, yep. for proper I'm, I'm um, yep. orientation. Yeah. yeah. Torque sequence. Mm -hmm. Yep. The smart guy always knows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a thirty. It's like Einstein said: if you can't explain it simply, you simply don't know it. <laughs> No, something's wrong there. Let me grab him. That looks a little small for a 30. Yeah, it's like a 25 or something. Yeah. And this one's like a 40. That's too long, so I'm, I'm missing one. i got to find the missing one. How am I missing one? 
Well, how I'm probably missing is I'm using whatever screws I can find to go the next step. So, if I can't, that's find why one, I like. That's why I like right? the screws to just come individually bagged. M30s, M20s, and, yeah, and just a, in a yeah. box. Yeah. Or all be in one bag, saying these are the parts you need, like Lego. Okay, now I just open up the extruder mini bag. It's got tons of bolts and stuff in it. Let's see, there are 30 there. Oh, that's too short. Or you just keep a whole bunch of parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah, what I was well, saying earlier, Dave. That's do what a I droid do. build, you'll have plenty of parts. When I'm putting something together, I, I just tend to go to my bins wow. and grab you, the size that absolutely. I need. And then when I'm done building, I take the parts that came with it and refill my bins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the 30 I got in my hand, but it's not fitting it. Make sure that your nut is pushed up far enough, like yeah. the problem you had with the other one. Although it, uh... no, he means the 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 nut the on captive, the back of the screw. The captive, the nut. captive nut. The captive nut. Yeah, no, I'm looking to check it. The one that I press in. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Good. Heard somebody slurp, and I just wondered if it was good. Sorry, that was me. Yes, it, it was. It was. It's all the last of the Jack and Coke. It was very good. <laughs> when I was a little kid, I pissed off my parents would go out to eat, and I slurped the bottom of my Coke, and you know, that's the bit that tastes the best thing. I'm, gu yeah. I'm guessing we all did. <laughs> Damn it! It's just going right through it. No, a 30 on that bottom right is uh, not so grabbing. So your bolt is too small, huh? Stop it, Karen. Okay, the bolt is there. How long is it? Looks like it needs to be longer. The bottom right needs to be longer. Okay, now it looks like it's going to grab it. Let's see if it'll screw in. It looks too long sticking out. How long is that one? A 30. Should be a 30. I don't know what his, mm -hmm. what that one is. Well, you said a 20. You said a 30. And I think it's a 40. I think this is a 40 I'm putting in. That, well, I mean, it'll work. It'll just poke out the back. But well, you might be missing a 40 somewhere later. Uh, you got to okay. get it flush because that's where the extruder mounts. The 30 is too long. Or the 30 is too short. What do the comments say? Yeah, when I stick a 30 in, I can press it all the way. It's not grabbing nothing. It says something about is the three times thirty screw too short to reach the nut? Check the nut is seated correctly to be sure. Try, the screw it definitely try, says it's a thirty. Try taking the top the top screw and loosening it just a few threads because it it may be binding, it may be binding and opening up the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. And maybe if you can kind of pull that together <laughs> as you're. Trying to tighten it? Yeah, squeeze that assembly together when you're putting the, the bolt through. And is it trying to go into one of the square nuts? Oh, that's bad if your screw goes in the square nut. I know. Yeah, the, comments, the comments were saying they're having problems as well. So it looks like yeah. they think it was too short, but it should be the right nut and bolt combination. It's mostly, usually it's the alignment on the, the square nuts. You realize that's why they call them M397265Ns, right? So that so that people don't say square nuts all the time. <laughs> now, when I press anything in the hole, it bolts all the way and bottoms out. So, Trent, 
try to squeeze the whole assembly together. Like if you've got the bolt, that top left bolt too tight. Yeah, I, call, I understand you. Yeah. You know something? You want to say it? Say it. You're, you're right. Squeeze it together, oh. Matt. That was it. Oh. Say it again, Jerry. Say it again. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> the hive wins. I just said there was just enough. It was open just enough that it wasn't grabbing anything. Yeah. Even just, though when was, tight. just when Jerry was starting to think, why the hell do I let these guys in here? No, it's fine. <laughs> Jason just Alrighty, saved this so Of all people. <laughs> top left, bottom right, or tight. Okay, what the C? Top left, bottom right. Uh, the next M3 one. M3 by 20s, where do they go? Insert. Well, first put two M3 by 30s into the remaining holes. So then the top right and the bottom left. Okay. The last one wasn't frustrating enough, so you get to do two more. <laughs> one. Yay! <laughs> I'm glad I got this paper bag here because I can line up the bolts on it to see what's what. And you're uh, so I mean, long way from here. <laughs> he doesn't like them, so they're just piling up in the corner now. <laughs> Unless they're sugar free, if they are, Jason, they get a package in the mail. Oh, of Pepto. <laughs> uh, that's what you get in the mail. <laughs> yep. Every sugar-free Haribo bag comes with a free Pepto. <laughs> <laughs> when does Sam's Droid go up on auction? Or it's there now, right? It's um, it started. I think. I think either it started or it starts like Monday or something like that. It's up. That's it's up, but I don't know if the bidding started yet. But you can go to cool. the um. Yeah, I have the, link. the auction site and see it. Yeah. That's crazy. The starting bid was 40, 40 K. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. My son's extension nice truck cost him 63. That was ridiculous. 40 you know, he could have saved some money and drove it and, you know, just drive a droid, droid around. Droid. That was used full, one, full size, one, one to one. one. Yeah. One, one, one to one size. Really? Well, I think his, the one he's, he's selling on auction though, it's all aluminum, aluminum mm. body, aluminum top. Aluminum, ever like like ninety percent of it's yeah. machined out of aluminum, it was, so it's very one sturdy. Of, one or two of the movies, I believe, right? It was in Rise of Skywalker, I think he said, or it said, or both. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rise of Skywalker. Tripod says forty something bid. Yes, what I thought. That's what he bid. <laughs> <laughs> John's opening bid. I'm like, damn, yeah, John, you, what are you trying to bid shame us? <laughs> <laughs> I gave Alfred him five bucks for it. <laughs> Cash. Uh, my question's asked. Cash. I'd have paid in silver. US Small dollars even. Bill. US dollars. I'd have given you five Canadian, bucks. One of those Canadian pesitos. <laughs> yeah, I'm out, man. Hey, it looks to me like step 27 is a plastic cover and some zip ties, right? Uh, no, it yep, says, yep. now it says secure the trapezoidal nut to the X axis with two oh, yeah. M3 by 20 screws. Yep, two, two, okay. Two. That's Monday. That's the cover. Yeah. Huh. yeah. You got to get from Monday to nuts. I got to yeah, see underneath. what position they're in. I don't remember what position they're in. Oh, there they are on, the, on that end. Okay. Slide that up. Turn that sideways. Yeah. North and south from you, yeah. M3 by 20? M3, M3 by, by 20. 20. They, what kind of head they got on them? Is yes. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> really show. No, oh, no, they're, they're, they're cap heads. Their hex head, hex heads. Okay. Yeah, hex heads. they're cap hex heads. Yeah. Yep. Well, they're all hex. The but this, a, this one's a cap head. I don't know why I look around like I can see anything different on the screen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
wishful thinking. Better? <laughs> no, no. Go back to your hand. No. Now you messed us all <laughs> up, Jerry. <laughs> no. yeah. uh, tilt it down a little bit. Tilt the camera down just, just a, a bit. bit. Yeah, a there, bit. You go. A bit. there you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, in and out really fast. No, stop. <laughs> stop it, Karen. <laughs> I was waiting for a left and right instruction, but... Damn Kiwis. <laughs> But you got a t-shirt out of it, so I can complain. I did. It's it's a nice, it's a beautiful shade of green with a blue, with a blue couple stripes the on the side. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It was even nicer underneath the, sh well, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> M3 I'll stop by what? 10? 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. M3 by 20. Okay. Now the people in the Prusa group can have a good laugh saying it took him how many hours to do that? And then challenge them all to yeah. buy a kit and build it faster and well, get an affiliate link. <laughs> no, I'll just say, hey, dude, can you build it in under an hour? I mean, maybe you could if you've done it before. But Jerry's got an excuse with Jason, myself, to try what everybody else helping or disinformation -ing. Tripod didn't throw much information on, so I couldn't hear him half the time. <laughs> Trust us, you're grateful for what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> he did make my uh, thumbnail. I thought I had a really good thumbnail for the stream, and he it says, hey, send me your logo. And then I went in the other room, and I was looking for my logo. It's got my picture next to it, not the regular logo, and I didn't understand what he wanted it for. And he made me three different alternatives. And I asked a few other people, and... A couple other people thought the one that he made looked better than the one I made. So. But then I tried to update him on Facebook, and they didn't update on Facebook, just YouTube. So I done mine orange and black to kind of go with Prusa colors. And, of course, don't tighten up the first one until the second one started, because then the second one will start. No, I don't want to start at all. Come on, damn it. All right, let's take this. You guys still there? Yeah. Yep. Still here. Yeah, the left one won't go in at all, so let me take the right one all the way back out. There, it's barely hanging in there. Should have grabbed. Try um, rotating the nut 180 degrees and repeat. Just move the um, the lead screw up enough to move it up 180 degrees and try again. Or even 90 degrees. You've only got you got two two rotations on it, so yeah, just slightly up on it. Only put a couple threads in before you start the other one. Yeah, it's not grabbing at all. Well, I think it's the first time I've sighed since I've been started doing this. How many are you trying to put in? 
Two. Just two. Oh, okay, good. Because they're trying three and four. There's no way. No. Well, one goes and one doesn't. Yeah. I'd be happy with one right now. Just, and these just are, check the screen. Just check yeah. the screen nut. The screen nuts actually push all the way through. Um, it may not be centered theory. on the hole. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can't get to the square nuts at this point. Mm -hmm. They're in turn. One from one side. One you can see one on the front. That's from the back side. That one's worked. You can yeah. still get a, a smaller Allen key in there and move them around, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Wiggle them around. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, guys. There better be something there. Otherwise, I got to tear it all back apart. I think we saw you put them in. Yeah, we well, don't think we've missed any steps so far. So, if we did, we'll blame Tim because he's not here. <laughs> Can't blame Liam because it wasn't that far back. No, we can blame Liam. He isn't. He isn't <laughs> here. He isn't here, right? Yes. <laughs> but he Everything might watch the done. replay. Well, that's when he'll find out. It's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll feel bad. <laughs> and John says you're in the same spot as three hours ago, Jerry. <laughs> Okay, that one is in the front, and I can fill it. This one will have to be behind the motor on the inside, and I don't fill it. Gotta be there though, right? Try to run the screws in before you put the nut in place. No, I'm not feeling nothing. It's only it's only four M30s to back off and check, so that's not a big deal. Yeah, but it's the four M30s that we hated. <laughs> Hmm. That's all right. They started now, so it shouldn't be too bad getting them off because he didn't do that too tight. Yeah. First one he's got to back, he's going backwards. That's not too bad. First time I've got to check one in five hours. So. That's well, not too if bad, I didn't forget it, that'll be the first one I forgot. You don't, you don't think? Yeah. Maybe just not quite be far enough in. That's all. Because um, Yeah, I was going to say, I thought we were watching. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the belt's on it and everything else. But, I'm not saying you just take the cap off. Yeah, the belt's, the belt's not going to be affected. It's, well, I'm trying to think, am I it. taking apart the wrong bolts here? It's the four in the X pattern, Jerry. Yeah, the four in the X pattern's right. That's all. These here? Yeah, those yes. four, correct. Okay, yeah. I was taking out the other side, big four corners. Put these back in. Is that a recess in the back there for a nut? 
Where are you talking about, Dave? The recess is right below, here. F, below the F1. Below the yeah, F1. Yeah, below the F1. Side. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's like, one there that, for one side. Okay, doesn't that not, correspond with the – doesn't that correspond with the hole? What did we yes. ever put in that? Uh, I put a bolt in there a minute ago, and it worked, but the other side isn't working. Yes, yeah, the other side. Oh, it's just the other side. The other I'll side is the inside. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. One of, the, one of the tips just says to loosen the 4M30 screws, and they did that, and that the um, trapezoidal nuts went in fine, and then they just tightened up all six gradually. So so when you you're back, Kim, but what's pattern. happening is one of these two here isn't grabbing. The front one's grabbing, but not the back one. Mm. So I'm thinking maybe I forgot a nut trap on this back piece. Yeah, or, so when you squeeze, or, when you, or when you uh, squeezed it to get the M30s to work, it squeezed that nut in a little too far. Now, the one commenter did say that he had to loosen the 4M330 screws and hold the two halves of the Z-axis carriage together. It allowed the two halves to slide into better alignment with the trapezoidal nuts. So just loosen these and then try to put a bolt in again. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's what they're saying. Then he yeah, but Jerry, all but Jerry tried, tried to put it in without the trapezoidal nut, and he's not getting any any to grab on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, maybe it slid out, or maybe it's not there. If it's missing, that's Tim's fault. No. Yeah. no. <laughs> yep. No, did not miss a step. I heard that earlier, too. It was my fault. <laughs> well, it wasn't us, Tim. It, we, didn't, we wouldn't say that. No. Unless no. We were, oh, not unless oh, we were oh, on the with somebody. Him. wasn't me. I I've mean, been that, that's Liam's fault. That's Liam's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's Liam's fault, yeah. <laughs> Careful, Jerry, because the, um, back those the out extreme the will drop off otherwise. Just, yeah. Yeah, just, Make sure you're hanging on to the back of the motor. Just loose. Don't, yeah, don't, don't back them out all the way out of the nut. Well, I got them really loose. Now, I was going to take them all the way out, but. but and then so um, I agree with old curmudgeon. Just be more stubborn than the kit. So just kind of shove it in there. Yeah, so put the. <laughs> or, you know, you can take a long. Have you tried taking a longer screw to see if it'll grab any threads? Is that what Dave said earlier? Or was that just the standard, the yeah, 20, M320 size? I've got a longer one here now. No, I'm not Is it picking up nothing. anything? No, I'm not grabbing nothing. Not a, but it could it could just be in there and out of place. But It may have also fallen out. Um, no, they press, they they press in too hard. There's, not, yeah. there's nowhere for it to go. Oh yeah, it would you, hit the extruder. You got the right, rod right, on the, the one hand. side and a it, it, If I put it in, it'd be there. If I didn't, yeah, I can't tell if I'm feeling it or not. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said, Jerry. <laughs> Thank you for joining in because I didn't yeah. want to be the only one. <laughs> <laughs> not just Jason and myself. Please, someone else join in. <laughs> no, I dropped an Allen over here. I think. Where to go? The only good thing there's less and less parts on the table for Jerry to put in now, which is good. Looking back, it doesn't <laughs> look unless it missed it. Well, I was not here. It doesn't look like you've missed putting anything in. Well, old curmudgeon, if if this is what it took for you to need your head examined to start a Voron build, then you're more stubborn than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Unless that's the only thing you have in your life, don't start a Voron build. <laughs> Is there a step-by-step -step guide for putting together a Voron yet? Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There, yeah. The first step is mm -hmm. go out and find everything you need. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Volor, it's probably like a hypercube. Figure it out. Print all this out and kind of figure it out. <laughs> Unless he, Michael from Teaching Tech done one, then he'd probably have it in detail. He's really good at his videos. Because he's a teacher. <laughs> well, I tell you what, if you want detail down to the detail, 
what's his name? Uh, the other guy, uh, shoot, what's his name? Vector 3D. He will, he goes into every little bit um, on those builds. Okay, what's the bet? Is there a nut in it? Yeah. Okay, try to start try to start a screw in it before you put yeah. it back together. Figure Think out why it, right? it's yeah. Definitely a nut there. Hmm. Uh your nut wasn't deep enough. Not quite, not quite. Yeah, that's all yeah, you're not talking much though. I didn't feel it move, but I'm grabbing now. Leave it there. Leave it there, Nothing. Jerry. Leave the screw there. Yeah, yep. yeah. Leave yep. it there so it doesn't yep. shift. Just leave it there. Good idea. Yeah. So it wasn't my fault. No, no, we went flat. <laughs> no, no, it's no, it's it still was your, your fault, fault, Tim. Tim. Yeah, it's still <laughs> your fault. <laughs> you know. Make sure Stop your bear are your bearings are your bearings still aligned. He didn't rotate yeah. the bearings, so I just pulled it straight on there. Right okay. No. Now do top left. Top left. Well, yeah, I'm just trying to get them in. Only a couple threads. Yeah, just a yeah, little just, bit, just, and then your bottom right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then you can you can actually once you get those two snug, your other two, your top right, and then your bottom left should be okay. You might not want to snug them though, because like they were saying in the messages, they kept yeah. it loose to get the to look at trapezoidal. Your, get your, um, Trapezoidal not for, the, for the bottom piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, he's got the screw in it, so yeah. Well, but that's not yeah, the, no, that's not the coupler. Not yeah, the, yeah, I get you. I gotta unscrew it so I can slide the things around. Yeah. Since it's being pushed out of place. If nothing else today, we've all learned that it's called the trapezoidal nut now. <laughs> and why? And why? why? Thanks to Ryan. Yep. I'm gonna find places in my everyday life to use that term. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to Google on trapezoidal better. and see if that's even a real word. Oh, it is. It Unfortunately, is. it is. Is it really? Yeah. A trapezoid is a real word. Trapezoid no, trapezoid, a... but trapezoidal. Oh, it yeah. is. Yep. Yeah. yep. No. Yep. Trapezoidal rule. Oh, and it has its own rules. Oh, look at that. We don't Bucky like finds rules. A trapezoid. We're not good with rules. Oh. The trapezoidal rule may be viewed as the result obtaining by averaging the left and right Riemann. La 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 la. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't come here to do anything, Jason. About. Come on. Twenty so right? Yeah, we're here sorry, to abuse I'm sorry I mentioned it. And cast aspersions, not to learn. Jerry, I think you got a piece of carpet on your arm. <laughs> a caterpillar. Twenties, right? It's shag yeah. left over from the 70s. 20s. 20s, 20s is correct, Jerry. Yes, 20, 20s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everything on my head went to my back. <laughs> we <don't. laughs> Gravity. Too much information. <laughs> no. We don't cut any corners here, Jerry. <laughs> It, old curmudgeon, yes. Go rat rig. Yes. Definitely. Right there. Did you enclose yours, Jason, or just the sides and the back? Uh, the back, the bottom, and the sides. Okay. But not the front. Yeah. Right. I really don't have a need to fully enclose it. I don't really do ABS do or, right or anything. So. Why is I just want to do the back. If I printed anything that needed high temps, I would just put the printer out in the porch. I'm waiting for a shipping notification. Oh, keep waiting. I know. <laughs> you're gonna check you're gonna check three times a day anyway. <laughs> day. I still got order from parts though, so SSR. Yeah, you're gonna need one of those. And yeah, when I built my Hypercube, Ziltex sent me a cheap SSR that TH3D seen it. And he's like, no, that's garbage. That'll catch on fire. He had one that he had sent me or I bought from him. So he had tested them, taken them apart. And some of them don't have enough 
epoxy or whatever the hell it is they put in them. They were very generic on Jill Tech's website, and I don't know if they ever switched them out or not. So I ordered mine from their TH3D sent me one actually. I don't think I even paid for it. I got the on off switch fused. I got my screen, the display somewhere. Are they threading, Jerry? Yeah, I'm putting these bottom ones in, but I'm not going to stop. And then I'll tighten the four in the back. Yeah. So they're gripping. That's good. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah your, your, your top right corner looks very loose on the, against the bearings. That's all. The um, it's quite loose. Yeah. Just take some of that slack up. Yeah, what you were saying about SSRs, Jerry, you just got to be careful on what you buy. Because even, even the ones that TH3D sells are just rebadged, um, you know, Chinese ones that you can call them knockoffs if you want. Yeah. It just ma yep. it just really matters what the chip yep. is inside. If, if they're getting in a batch of, you know, 50 of them and they tear one or two open and sacrifice them to make sure that they're not horrible or, yeah. you know, lying to, to you. And you know, you go to Mouser okay. or DigiKey. Yeah, DigiKey. Buy Mouser. some American. Yeah, get an Omron. Just buy an Omron, and from a, from a legit source. If you're paying ten yeah. bucks, you're you're gonna burn your house. It's not down. an Omron. It's not gonna be an if Omron. No. Yeah, if you're if you're paying forty fifty bucks, then you're it's probably from a legit source. Then it's probably legit. It's likely it's legit. Omron, um, um, right? Omron, um, um, yeah. Run. Yeah. yeah, that's a that's a, that's one of there, there's there's quite a few, but that's one of the brands that are quite reputable. One of the high high end brands, very much so. Yeah. Go right to their website and buy it, I suppose. You can buy direct. Omron sells direct to everybody as well, mm -hmm. which is good. Five hours, sixteen minutes. Wow. You're doing well, Jerry. You're doing well. <laughs> they have a variety of them. Well, the proof is still in one piece on your table. It's not through the roof or through the window. So yeah, I wouldn't have a <laughs> bit like that. I have a temper, but I've learned throughout the years to control it. Yeah, Tim, you want one with a uh, with an AC input, D or a DC input, AC output. AC output. And if you can, try to find one with a heatsink on the back. It's not necessary, but it's, you know, it's cool. There's one for three hundred and fifty dollars. No. Get two of those. <laughs> <laughs> Get three and three. send me one. Get three. Say and send one too. <laughs> Gonna buy two, buy three. Looking for that other piece of plastic to go on the track. Where was that? They're all two hundred. Yeah, the, other, the other track cover and the um the braided. Cable thread sleeve as well. Okay, I got the they, braided sleeve right yeah. here. They shouldn't all be that much, Tim. You might want to sort it by price because you can yeah. you, even direct from Omron. You can pay twenty bucks or twenty-five, something like that. But you only you need uh, single pole, single throw. That's all you need. God, where's that? In the box with the extruder motor? Well, I've got it's the one the piece right here yeah. that I put on earlier that I believe was called for earlier. Yeah, it doesn't specify the length, just says plastic cover one times. It doesn't say how long it is, so. Yeah. And the other box don't have anything else in it. And it looks really small in the picture. Yeah. Well, I already, like I said, I have one on here, but I thought it called for one earlier. 
This one here is about six inches long. Which is all you really need to keep the wire in. It just, it doesn't, yeah. like, I don't know. Is there, is there like a bill of materials in here that says how many it comes with? Yeah. Of course not. Well, not really. Uh, Doesn't really go into much detail. Um, Jerry, it doesn't matter. It's the same cover. Yeah. It's the same cover. It goes in the same slot where that cover is already. Okay. Just went down to step, step 28. Actually, it shows it in the same cover. Jerry, pull it off of like your CR-10. <laughs> No, 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 it doesn't need to. It's the, it's the cover no, that, you've got me onto already. Is well, the he's same saying cover pull off about. the CR-10 and put in here. No, There's Jerry, the Jerry, it's the same one. Okay. It's the Yeah, there's only one, it looks like. So that's yeah, it goes, the one. So when you run the cable, it goes in that same slot. And yeah, it's just saying cover. to run it in that same extrusion space. And then that other yeah. channel of first, step number 28 appears the 28, to be... The same slot. 28 has a sleeve on it. Yeah, but that cable then goes in in that same slot. Yeah, where you've got the cover on already. If you move yeah. over to the next picture, it shows it in the same slot where the cable. So it shows you routing that cable underneath that co that plastic insert. Yeah. If you look in the uh, center picture, and then oh no, Kieran, on the third picture it shows two pieces. The Z axis has to go up and down, so if you route it in there, the wires have to move freely. Yeah, you know what, Jerry? There should be two pieces of that plastic cover. There is. In my mini, there is as well. Okay. Yeah. Just borrow Tim's. No, I'll send you one. Tim probably has 10. I'm okay. printing, I'm printing <laughs> some right now. I'm actually printing some right now for the, for the scan. Yeah, you can always print one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I do have some printed somewhere for 3030. Okay, hold on. And is the one that's in, that you've got there, how long is it? Is it like a foot long? No, about six inches. Yeah. Okay, then you need to. Yeah. I thought maybe you just cut it in half at some point. I just don't see where there's another one here in all this pile. <laughs> Dominic, I agree with you. Old curmudgeon, I agree with you. <laughs> the printer's not sitting on it, is it, Jerry? No. What about the extruder box, Jerry? Something else in the extruder box with the motors? Okay. The cardboard box that had the motors in. One second. Check your pockets. Make sure the dog didn't take it to chew on. <laughs> Foreshadowing. The other is hanging out below my feet. I think Prusha should feet. refund your money. Give you the yeah. printer for free. It's missing. Yeah. You know what? Don't worry about it. You can add that on later. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not mission critical. Yeah. It's not yeah. mission critical. You'll probably find it at the end. Yeah. So we can go down to 29, 28, 29. Where are we? Next still access still mode. Yeah, 28. Got to sleeve the cable. Now, which way does the cable route? You have to go around the outside on the back. You have to sleeve it first, I think, Jerry. Oh. It's like a Velcro sleeve. I've never used this before. Somebody's phone ringing. Yeah, it's my phone. Oh. <laughs> it's probably a call about your car warranty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> truth. Mother in law, so not my problem. I keep getting calls for Marco. There's no Marco here. So the last time I wasn't very polite on the phone to the guy. Okay. 
What's your longest stream, Jerry? Have you broken the record yet? No, I've never done a 24-hour stream yet. So right now, <laughs> five hours and yes, three yes. minutes. Yes. Are you anticipating a 24-hour stream? No, no. <laughs> the Prusa Mini 24-hour Benetton. You hear the 24-hour Le Mans? The 24-hour Prusa Mini. <laughs> Yeah, somebody Play made a game. comment online. They said those printers you're selling, Jerry. Why don't you donate them to a school? <laughs> you know, I'm I'm retired on a pension. I go broke in the middle of every month, waiting for next month. I can't afford to give my printers away that I'm selling. I need money for them. The school district here, they have pops legal in Nevada, so there's like millions and millions of dollars government revenue. Fair enough. That's just sitting there. That's not getting to the schools. They said would be for the schools. So I don't want to hear about should I donate my printers? I can't afford it. If I had a huge income and they were meant nothing to me, then I could afford to donate them. But I need every penny I can get to help out on whatever I'm doing. If you're on a fixed income, definitely fair enough. Name someone who is not on a fixed income. Well, some people have jobs that are, you know, they make seventy-five to one hundred fifty thousand a year, if not more, and they can, you know, a printer donating would be nothing to them. They they don't care. It doesn't affect well, it. It even one hundred and fifty thousand a year is still a fixed income. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yep, yep. if my well, roof leaks, my boss doesn't give me more money. Yeah. Well, well, you can try asking, but you know, the yeah, but right. we all know that doesn't happen. <laughs> it always well, happens. rarely happens. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about your luck, Karen. If you're on a, if you're on a fixed income, There's some Sunday shifts, if you'd like to volunteer. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm lucky. I'm I'm on call 24 seven. So who cares, right? Yeah. yeah. I kind of am too, but, but our, our rules say I don't have to answer the phone. So, <laughs> which is good. I am too. <laughs> but if I don't answer the phone, I lose the money. It myself. could be bad. Well, that's it. Yeah. The, re the restaurant's basically. <laughs> yep. All Did you get your shirt. printers uh, sorted out, Dave? I at, did. The, at the restaurant. I did. I or should did. I not bring that up? <laughs> I did. No, that's... Uh, Shall you throw this around the outside, I guess, huh? You gotta Down love... Down the same channel as the other wire, just below the other uh, plastic clip. That's on the, in on the inside. This is on the outside. Yeah. Yep. It wraps around and goes down the same channel. Exactly okay, right below. Right. It was down the same channel. Well, oh, correct. Yes. correct. Below. Yeah, really? I can yep. do it down here. I got to have enough room to leave that the Z to rise and go up and that's down. That's correct. That's correct. Yes. Okay. But that's correct. Yep. It goes below the other sleeve in the gap yes. below. Yep. Well, take that plastic thing and slide it up. Yeah. Yep. Like that. Yep. Exactly. Because then later we're, you'll probably find that other plastic piece and then it goes over the bottom half. Okay. And the small gap between the two of them where the cable comes Let's out. See. Yeah. This is my X axis. So where's my X plug for X? It goes second to the right slot from of the, the left. first one. Yeah, second slot from the left. Yeah. If it's a you've done the first the slot. You've done the third slot. So it's the second slot from the left now. Okay, I've done the first and second slot. So it'll be the third or the fourth. It'd be X, Y, Z. So it should be the first one. No. Mm, no, no, no. Move your camera down, Jerry. So we can yep. see the motherboard. Okay. There shouldn't be anything in that second slot yet. No, it was the, the first slot was the third slot. Yep. Yeah. The first slot. Third from Z the is in the first slot. Yeah, so coming, counting from the left side, you should be in the second one to your right. And that should be your X axis motor cable. And on a regular Crowley board, it'd be XYZ extruder. But this is European, not Chinese. Yeah. So. Okay, so now my first slot's my Z. My second slot is what? X. The one in your left hand. Yeah, that one. Third slot is that one. Why? Okay. Fourth slot will be extruder. It's the only one left. Yeah. <laughs> By process of elimination. I shall this leave. is a screen. Yep. Okay, so why does the why does the uh, the wire with the loom on it 
that is in the channel, why is that? Are they expecting that to ride up and down in the channel? Because he doesn't have enough room at the top of his Z to. Yeah, this would have to be way down here. It's got to have room for this to go up and down. Yeah, so but are you, to the top of, are you to the top of your travel? Run your Z all the way up. Run your Z all the way up. That's funny. I try to grab it and push it. <laughs> John says that you should cut all the wires because you ordered the wireless version. See, it's pulling up on that. So you're going to want to, you're going to want to raise that up in the in the channel higher, so that you've got a little bit of slack on it. Yeah, yeah, that, that goes about halfway up the channel, according to the picture. Yeah, that's why he's supposed to have two of those inserts, but he yeah. can't find the other one. Because the other uh, can he take a, can he take that insert off and then yeah. put that use the top one, yeah. slide use that the top up, one. and then just yeah. slide it in. Yeah. Pop them over, yeah. But I don't want to put the insert way up here because this has to have travel room. Yeah. Well, but you're going to have two of them on there a, anyway. Pull that up a little bit higher. That Make one sure with that the loom, Jerry, is going to poke out the side. You're going to leave a space between the two plastic pieces, and the okay. one with the wire wrap on it is going to poke out the side, poke out the side, and exactly. then the bare wires will go up in the channel. Yeah. Like we, okay. So there should be a short piece here somewhere then. Another short piece, correct. Yeah. But for the time for the time being, you should be okay as you are. It shouldn't affect anything at the moment. Yeah. I'll give it one more quick look, and, uh, but I don't think it's here. Duct tape holds it in great too. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 2020, <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> you can just <laughs> use some of your blue CR10. <laughs> yeah. It's the same channel size anyway. No, the CR10 doesn't. Isn't that that like rubberized kind of one? That you have yeah, to but, shove in. Yeah, but that's a, that's a deep enough that it would it would hold it in fine. But I don't think. Well, yeah, since it's just you'll the wires that it. don't move. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. You'll find it eventually. I would leave that one on the bottom. I was yeah. going to say, yeah. I would, yeah, yeah, leave that one on the bottom. Yeah. That plastic piece you took out, leave it on the bottom. Then you, then you got your space that. organized. Yeah. That, It'll that help that. To hold it up. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry said you should have bought a real printer like an A net. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got plenty of printers. And the new A nets are actually nice printers, from what I've heard. Not the old ones, the, the new ones. That's what I've heard too. I think their I think their biggest challenge is overcoming, you know, being an internet meme of burning your house down. Slight as it happened. <laughs> well, Promotional. You know, they're rooted in truth. <laughs> All right, there's a whole bag of zip ties to go there as well. Yeah. Now it's talking about tension. Tensioning the X belt. Yeah. And apparently all you have to do is poke it with your finger and it works. Uh, it magically yeah. works, yeah. yeah. <laughs> First, uh, slide your X carriage all the way over to the Z. All the way left, yeah. And then it says, poke down on the belt and see what you feel. Some force <laughs> should be needed for bending the belt, but... Do not overstretch the belt. You can damage the printer. Says you should be able to play the first bar of dueling banjos on it. Tim, strike it up. I know you got that song. 
Oh! My printer just finished. There, I got lots of, uh, I got lots of those caps for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all of them there. Oh, that's hot. Well, these I mean, must have stripped. They're not, they're not getting any tighter, so I guess those nuts are stripped in the plastic, right? Hmm. Or you haven't even started into reaching the, the rods no, yet. The rod or, yet. Yeah, no, it, or was, you, it was slammed all the way in tight originally. Or you have to go back and in, index the belt one more tooth over wherever it's joined in there. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, good which is bad. I've got these buried, point. and Mike was talking about the head sticking out. I've already got them buried in. Yeah, like mine, mine's, mine can't play dueling banjos, but a little bit loose for that. But, but yeah, mine are sticking out the end of it. Well, you definitely got to get the dueling. Oh, there's not traps. There not traps in there. No, no those no, just went no, into no. no, those just went into the plastic. Okay, then they would easily strip, and you try to put a. A bolt in here, it would easily just strip the plastic threads. Yeah, they wouldn't. Uh, Prusa wouldn't know that. There's got to be a nut, a captive nut in there. Do you remember Does that, it? Tim? I remember the screws just going in with no. I I, I remember that. Yeah, let me. I'm going to go back and look. What's yeah, that I'll slot at the top, no Jerry? To they're just they're just cut in the plastic. Yeah, I don't remember if it had a nut down another side. Maybe it did. Because it seems like it'd have to, otherwise it just stripped the plastic. Because this could have been, you know, Tim messing you up again. Yeah, yeah, because I do that, you know. Um, there's the piece right there. Yeah, Let's Tim, see. we knew that. We just didn't talk about it when you're here now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Slide onto the rods. And it does not talk about captive nuts at all on that piece. I did when you went over that. I didn't remember that. I didn't no, remember yeah, I don't see any about it. And there's no slots for them either. But Jerry, you have slots on there, right? No, like little square. tiny square holes in top and bottom, but they're not big enough for nothing. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go look at mine and see what it's what it looks like. Oh. Yeah, show us your nuts. Well, there's no captive nuts in there, and the uh, screws are sticking out about a millimeter and a half, so they're not tightened in very tight. So maybe it is um, relinking that belt so it's tighter to begin with. But there's definitely I made a little, little chest button. plate. I don't know if you can see. It. I made a little chest plate for the um, pit droid behind me. That's oh, what you need I don't know if I did it. It's for my daughter, so if you want to just her don't name. hit those. Uh, don't well, hit your screws, cool. Cool, Jason. Yeah, in the middle, just tap them. Make sure it's in par enough. Jason, did you yeah. see? Oh, he's that helped. Oh, that helped a lot. Now I got a lot more belt here. Hmm. He's oh, dropped wow. a. Um, see, the belt was way back here. Well, that's yeah, good. Better. I would yeah, say so. snug it up as best you can. Yeah. Get it. Hopefully, you didn't strip the plastic out yet. What was that, Kieran? Grab your needle Stop nose the... and pull it as you're uh, pull it from the side. Yeah, might stick it in there. If only yeah. you had a way to make another plastic piece. <laughs> Darn it! How would you do I that? I thought Bruce had all their files online. They do. They do. 
and they revise them occasionally. That's why I think it's funny that they refer to them as F1 and that, because that's that's the revision numbering system. I think some of mine are Michael, Michael, now. Michael he dropped Bedelli an update. Dropped an update, um, a dashboard for the to put on the actual speeder bike. There's a dashboard to go on that in that front. Oh, he, he got that done. Okay, yep, I hadn't seen that's that in there yet. Now. Yeah, just drop that. I, um, I remember he said he was going to, but I didn't see that he had um, that he had dropped it in there. Yeah, he's Kieran, just dropped it in there now. Kieran, yeah, you know, uh, you live in the same city as Michael. Ah, there it is. No, he, he's he's in Melbourne. How far away is that from you? Uh, A whole country. Yeah, yeah, based to the other side of the country. <laughs> oh, okay. same 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 as New, New York to LA. Oh wow! Okay. Much far. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big island. Australia is a very big island. So you never run into them at the grocery store, then? Mm, no. No. Okay, that one only goes in so far, so I got to pull this other one out, and it's the one that extends. <laughs> Tripod says if you pay fifty dollars to someone else, fifty dollars to someone else, someone else gets to work on your rods and nets instead of yourself. Yeah, but wow. somebody else well worth fifty bucks. bucks. Wants Tripod, to somebody else is working nuts. on your I'll rods and nuts. By proxy, it's not the hot setup. Somebody's being overcharged. <laughs> <laughs> So how tight is the belt right now, Jer? Pretty tight. Pack it as a win and go with that. That'd be good enough. That looks pretty good. And these are sticking out really far. How far? Yeah, Which is where you want it. That'll work. Hold your finger. Hold your fingers on the rod and feel you'll be able to feel the end moving out as you tighten those up it'll be yeah. a tactile it'll be yeah. a tactile and then i wouldn't go i wouldn't tighten tighten them up very far no The belt looks nice and rigid now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now you want to make sure that that is parallel. You mean parallel this way? No, you want, no, you want to make sure the the end. So basically, you want to look at the x-axis from the side and align it parallel to the z-axis. So in other words, if you if you put your hand on that end right there that you just snugged up, yep. you want to look down the barrel of that and make sure that it's parallel with the z-axis. You know what it's I mean? Not twisted. It's not twisted. Oh, I see what saying. Yeah. yeah. And if it's like twisted, when I go to buy a two-by-four, I lay it on the floor and I look at it. Make yeah, sure yeah. Wait, yeah same, same thing. thing. Now, you can take the end of that and slightly twist it carefully. Oh, I see. It moves real easy. Moves easy, but yeah, you, you want to make sure that's parallel. Looks okay. I mean, it could be a hair off, but yeah, okay. All right. Okay, then, yeah. Then it says secure the X end by tightening both screws on the front side of the plastic part. On the other side, yeah. And then those screws on the side you just pointed to. I'm doing that for the sake of my video that I'm taping. Okay. Oh, okay. But I'm possibly. 
Then you want to make sure those two screws are tight on the right side of that plastic piece. Oh, yeah, yeah. these other two. I got to double check those. I didn't loosen them. Yeah, tighten those screws up. Boy, that looks red from here. It does, but on the other camera, it looks like real orange, orange though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God! I just now te realized that I was in Vietnam fifty years ago. Wow, it's a long time ago. I love watching movies about Vietnam and World War Two remakes and things. All righty. Um, tension's good. That's good. Extruder motor parts preparation. No idea what they're talking about. Assembling a extruder motor. Putting a bearing in that doohickey. Extruder front parts preparation. Extruder motor time. Must be on the home stretch now. What's that? The fourth, the fourth motor. So that's on the home stretch. Let's see. We're on step thirty-three of fifty for this this part. Let's just see. That I'm just going to cheat and go ahead and see the. I'm wondering if I can continue this stream a different day or keep going. Oh, that's up to you. Yeah, and depends I mean, on your patience, sir. If you feel you're at a good stopping point. I mean, if you guys are willing to hang out, we can do another hour or two. But I think it's going to be at least another hour. I'm I'm thinking you're on the back side of it, Jared. I think you're uh I think it's gonna go pretty quick. I'm gonna go grab a soda real quick, one second. <laughs> He's running out of parts anyway, so that's the good thing. How yeah. much of the hot end assembly comes assembled? Or is it all totally bagged parts? I think it's totally bagged parts, right? Uh, yeah. There's only seventy one steps left after this section. Only. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right, Dave. Left. Home stretch. The extruder is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, got the, you got the extruder. You got the hot end. Yeah. You got the Bond Tech. Is it is it the Bond Tech extruder on it? The dual gear. I don't know. Oh, shit. That was my vape pipe. Oh no. Oh no. Not the vape. Yeah, really. That's expensive. Now, if I break that glass. Yeah. They, yeah. That's no, right. It spilled a little bit. <laughs> Didn't crack it. No, I used to have some cheap, cheaper ones years ago that those glass balls would crack really easy. And these domes that I have now, for some reason, let's see, which looks like this, that it can take a licking and it doesn't break. Bit of quality glass or acrylic. Best glass. PLA. Glass. Bit, yeah, most of a glass for the temperature. Yeah. Mm. I'm running a droid pass to print now. Oh. Yeah, I just started printing that dashboard since you told me he uploaded it. <laughs> like, yeah. what, almost 10 to 9, I started streaming at 3 o'clock. Unbelievable. Yeah, because, you know, 20 minutes... You're, you blew, you blew that budget. Well, no, I didn't, I didn't think so. it'd take me 20 minutes. Somebody else on Facebook said, oh, the proofs are many. Oh, okay, 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes. Yeah, right. I, I saw that in that uh, Prusa group. Yeah, I said that's why it's a kit. I said it's something new they started this year. They haven't sold them before. It's $50 cheaper than the other one that you bought last year. That's now $50 more. And you got to put yeah. everything together. I you don't want to bitch too come. much, though, Jerry. I don't want to get your new Prusa brothers them. mad at you. I think when they oh, no, first started selling know. kits, though, they came kind of the way that Creality does. I don't think they came with everything in a bag. No. The Kibo Tarantula Pro was a complete build, but not this bad. I mean, not as many pieces. Yeah, the Tivos, the Tarantulas were always a build, a builder. Yeah. And, and the minis that's, were. That's why everybody liked them. Mm -hmm. And the minis were always referred to as a kit, like from day yeah. one, right? Yeah. Yeah. To make it sound intro and, you know, rookie ready. No, that's for Sandy. That's for the bottom. Okay. I'm 
gonna grab another beer. <laughs> what are you doing, Tim? You're you're like eating your parts. I'm cleaning part. With your teeth? Is well, that clean? It's sterilized. It just came off the print bed. Oh my god. <laughs> I got my island out of my kitchen. That's what I got to set up right here. You're like the 3D printing desk. badger. What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, they're just tiny little threads that I'm just <laughs> biting off. <laughs> Come on. He, he needs more roughage. Never, tell me you've never like worked on a car or something. You have a tool you just throw in your mouth because it's handy. And... No. No? Okay. A, no, I have not. Here's the extruder and everything right here. Canadian thing. Well, okay, it's not that yeah. many pieces. It's not that many pieces. So. It's not bad. How I've taken good? my mini extruder apart before, and it's pretty simple. Wait, those are those are fans. Where's the what extruder do you have with that? Right there. That's the, the cooling that's fan. The there's a the symbol there. There it is. There. Yeah, in the, right. in no, the right hand. Well, oh, that's all right. That's the hot end. There's still another pieces for the. No, extruder. where's the extruder? Right the extruder. Oh, the extruder. Yeah. It's the motor the bag. The feeder. There's the yeah, motor. Yeah. The extru I mean, okay, you can call the hot end the extruder. I know so it's an extruder yeah, assembly, yeah, yeah. but yeah. in terms of like, you know, the rest of us that slum it, that just call the extruder a thing. The extruder. <laughs> we have, we haven't all got, we, we have got, all got, um, uh, you know, we're running Bowdens. We got, we got separated extruders and hot ends. Well, that's going to be all these parts. That's going to be all these parts here, the extruder. That's the extruder. What? Yeah. It's got to find all the okay. parts for it. Yep. It's in the steps that we're on right now. We're working a, on the extruder. At it's, a fully 3D, it's a fully 3D printed extruder. Is it really? So it's their yeah. own kind of design? It's, thing it's a custom oh. extruder. Here you go. Uh, Stay in the well. house. Hey. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you 3D hold the printed. part out, Tim will come and do that same thing. <laughs> it was printed on a... Uh, uh, Textured bed. It's got a textured service on one side. I don't know what kind of film, but I'm assuming uh, PETG or ABS. I don't know. Probably PETG. Yeah. Then they use a compression fitting like you would for water, a water connection. Mm -hmm. Pneumatic fitting. Yeah. All righty. Let's see where are we at. I'm going to make another drink. I'll be back. <laughs> Less ice this time, Jason. <laughs> Let um, 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 um. Okay, wants them to put the gear on the, looks like, right? The pinion, they call yep. it. Yep, the pinion. Yep. This portion of the build is brought to you by... Michelob Ultra. <laughs> Thank you for enjoying a Michelob Ultra while we enjoy watching Jerry pull his hair out. <laughs> At least he hasn't burnt the house down yet, tripod, so that's okay. Yeah, John is actually, I started screaming at 3 o'clock. It's been a minute, right? And the only time I had trouble at the very beginning on the bed, I had the wrong bolts on those bearings, and I had to take them back out. Other than that, I've been slowly chugging along. Yeah. That's the only that's the only mix-up so far. Touch wood is, was those bolts. Everything else has gone okay. And I wasn't even in resistance, so it's not my fault. <laughs> well, I have to slowly keep working on it. I mean, I'm amazed that absolutely... Nothing is pre-assembled. No. Well, yeah. No. I mean, well, that's if, you, if you want a kit, you get a kit. This is worse yeah. than Ikea. <laughs> yeah. But at least other people that will watch a, watch a stream or the condensed version will say, wow, it really is all parts. <laughs> yep, first. Well, with the Mark III kit, even the hot end comes in pieces, right? I was going to say, this is how the Mark III kit where it was for me. Yeah, I, I've never had one, so I don't know. Well, it took eight hours. This is the way my first Chai 3 kit was. It was one of the acrylic ones from China. It was just 
like no labeling, hardly any instructions. It, it was hell. That was like my third printer, I think. Well, other fruits assembled. The bigger one, they want what two fifty assembled extra. Yeah. I've only built one Mark III. Oh, here it is. All righty, there it is. It says extruder on the back. Okay, we got some PTF. Oh, wow, there's another plastic piece. Yay, hey, found it. Found it. Oh, you found the other plastic piece. Great. Yeah, yeah. from the extruder back. So Sean said it's right there. Nice well, there you go. Of course it'll be. Once you build it, you know how to service it. Well, I can service a printer by looking at it if you're into printers and done a lot of different things. But Yeah. Well, you can't blame somebody else for the build. Right. Yeah. Well, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't give this as a gift to somebody who's never seen a 3D printer before, though. No, yeah. probably not. But they, they, they'd have given up like three hours ago. <laughs> Watching Neil Patrick Harris put together the mostly assembled mini. Yeah. Reminded me that rookies should not build printers from parts. Hey, Mike, that was taped. Was that pre-taped? I swear that was pre-taped. It was. It was pre-taped. Yeah, well, it was. because Joel didn't acknowledge his huge donations at all, and I know that he no, would. No, it was I live. Don't... No, it was live. I was there. I know you were in chat, but you know, it seemed to me like since Joel didn't no, communicate no, no. at all on. with Rewind. chat. Hold on. Joel made a statement about that afterwards, I think. Maybe before. Okay. Did he? Well, he didn't want to take the attention away from what was happening. Which well, I understand fair. because of who he had on. Yeah. Piss off the so, guy when he leaves because, you know, it wasn't all about him, but okay. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. It wasn't yeah, a Joel loyal, stream. It was uh, a Loyal was a gave him two $500. Uh, yeah. yeah well, I seen one awesome. of them come in. I figured that right there, he would have got recognition on the spot for it. It's hard, though, because you're, you're taking – someone's time that's a lot more valuable, you know, on the scale yeah. of things, right? That's why you have to tape no. <laughs> it through StreamYard when you can, and then you show it live, and then at the end you drop in like I've known people, then a few of us on here know somebody that does that occasionally based on their time, and then, you know, they just kind of hang out and chat and don't say anything because they type in chat, and they're not doing it on screen, you know, it's not live. Yeah. As far as I could tell sitting there, Trying to keep the rowdies in line, it was it was done live. He's given me a few shout outs, which is really appreciated. Them. <sighs> okay, take this plastic piece and take one of those bearings and. I can't see what the three nuts are. Um, three M3 nuts, three of them, and then the bearing, one of them. Three M3 ends and one bearing. So those three, three M3 ends are going to sit in the back. You yeah, see it on the F1 printed side. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at the F1 printed side. Is there another picture here? Oh, I see. It should Next be three picture. holes. Yeah. Two hole, three holes for those. All square okay. or hexagonal. And of course, those bolts aren't nuts aren't separate. Let's see. I actually had to rebuild my extruder, so I went through all. Now, are those, are those nylocks are just regular little bolt nuts. Regular. The first three are regular. Yeah, the okay. first three. And thank you very much, Tripod, for that donation earlier. I really appreciate it. Helps out immensely to help me buy resin and supplies. Hey, John. Hey, John. Is he off? Take care, Tripod. Right, boy. Yep, cheers. Work comes early. I think he goes in his garage, gets on his computer, and then prints something while he's working. 
You know, John doesn't I, actually I wish print I could anything. Work, I wish I could have worked Come from on. home for years and years, but I got in the wrong profession. <laughs> Is curmudgeon still on the stream? Uh, he might not be. He said he a while back. He no, he bailed about, about minutes 15 left. minutes ago. Yeah. Here's a here's a fifty fifteen, a seventy five thirty. <laughs> look at the size. Look at the size of that. What step are we on, Tim? We are on step thirty five. Thirty four. Thirty four. Thirty five. Thirty four. Thirty five. Yeah. We're on okay. Let's straighten up. Okay. Those nuts are in. Okay. Flip it over and stick a bearing in in the. Uh, Flip it over, and there's a bearing that goes in there. Flip it over and stick a bearing in. Flip it over <laughs> and stick it in. Yeah, I don't think it's a bearing in. I'm glad Jason's here to translate for us. <laughs> hey, I said stick Almost a bearing gotcha. in. Tim said just flip it over and stick it in, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, I got to go to work tomorrow, tripod. So, don't don't try the pity party. <laughs> oh. ah, long weekend we, here. We have six hundred people. We have six hundred people coming for brunch. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's a good be, brunch. That's a good brunch. That's a lot of gonna, food. Yeah, it's it's going to be crazy. It's our first one since COVID. Mm. We're still. So How often do people send here. back food, Dave? Is it a constant problem? Uh, the brunch is a buffet, so no. I know, but I'm saying when people order, it's a constant problem. People complain and send everything back a lot, or no? Um, not really. No, they don't have they don't have much to complain about at our place. You know, that's what you want to hear. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm trying to press that bearing in there, and that ain't working. If you're working 70 hours a week, John, maybe you should read up on time management. I don't know, but the. The bearings aren't going in at all there, Jerry? Well, I'm double checking where the bearing goes. Sits down into a little recess inside that bigger recess. circle. Yeah. Oh. And they all appear to be the same. Inside I got three of them. Got three bearings. They all appear to be the same size. Yeah, 625-2Z, 625-2Z. And it should sit in yes, there. Yes, it should go into it. Yep. All right, got go. it in. There you yep. go. I have a question. Yeah. What's a Z? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's it's the bearing Z. model number. It's purely the bearing model number. It's a standard. That's Z. Oh. The Z is the same fa family as aluminium. Yeah. And, and schedule. 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 Now you're going to put the rear piece together. Potato, okay. tomato. It's all the same. That's right. Talk to me yeah, about Z. this arm right here. Nope, no, no, nope. the other square, other the other square with the, the other um, square. pneumatic fitting on it. Same shape as the one you just worked on. Yeah, yep. that one. That That's one. the one. Yep. So this is where you need a, a, a nylock and a regular nut and a bearing. Dominic says don't stick it in the wrong hole. So be careful. <laughs> so it just gets messy. <laughs> So yeah, the, re the regular nut goes in. I can't see what side you're on there. On you the front. Raise, on the front. Raise it up a little. Yeah, the regular yeah. nut goes in on the other side. Yeah, that side. Yeah. Um, that right one there, there correct. The regular nut. Yep. And the other nut is right there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, Sorry, that's another one. Sorry. Sorry. So then now the nylock nut, when you're ready, you turn it over the side, you put the bearing in, and it goes over to the top right there. No, up one, up one, up, 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 there. There, that one. Nylock nut. And I'm the one sitting here chewing plastic, so go figure, right? <laughs> <laughs> the nylon would go in first, so nope, that's something I got upside down. No, well, it should yeah, be the, uh, the, the nylon facing out. Yeah, so you want the it's going to stick out a little bit. Yeah. 
Well, the bolt is going to go in this way, right? No. Well, that's where the nut goes. Oh, the, this goes on the, the motor? Yeah. Let's see. That's going to go together like... No, it's going to finish no, the other, the other way. way. The nut, finish? yeah. Nope. The nut goes on the same side as the bearing. Yeah. So if you turn that piece, Jerry... So the nylock goes inside. Yeah. You can't see it. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Blue side up. Yeah, the blue side up. Just like it's on focus. Blue side is buried, but I think that's right. Yes, that's right. The blue side is buried, but it's going in first. No, no, the blue side faces you. Yeah, the blue side sits proud. Okay. It says to use the screw pulling technique to get that right in there, unless you can squeeze it in. Well, it's in all the way, but it's protruding. It's yeah, supposed it's to. It's supposed to. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to protrude. That's that's the outside of your extruder. Yeah. That wall is the outside. Okay. 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 Now you're working on the idler, the extruder idler, that other arm that you held up that's before. That, that small piece. That small. Yeah. Now you need another bearing. You need a shaft. You really got to, and you don't have to lube your shaft. And you need a square nut. Okay, I'm looking here. You got the little shaft piece. Where did it go? Shaft bearing in place. Hold your bearing in. Hold your bearing in place. Okay, I got the square nut. Okay, there's a nut trap. Yep. Yep. That all sort. You can't see what you're doing, Jerry. No, cameras. Yeah. Yeah. And the, did you put the uh, b the shaft in the bearing there? Oh, there you go. Yeah, the shaft should slide in easily and hold that bearing in. You're Look in. That. Yeah. Look at that. Now the fun bit. Yeah, this is the fun with all the screws and the. This is where Screws, the spurs, the springs. Attach it to the motor. You're on, the, you're on step 40 slash 41. Well, I'm getting burnt out, so. Yeah, well. You want to stop? Yeah. Yeah, it's almost together, but yeah, I'll probably have to continue this. Uh, Six hours. Uh, it's a long time. What is tomorrow? Sunday. 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 Either tomorrow or uh, maybe Tuesday. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. So, yeah, I've been kind of burnt out on working on this now. It's so, a lot of work. Been streaming for a very long time. And we haven't it's had a lot standing for a long time. No, nice. it's, it's been good, though. It's yeah, it's been I stood up the whole time and my feet are actually hurting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm yeah, not tired at all. When I would go to the hol uh, holidays, go to somebody's house, I would never sit down. I would always stand. But when I had my medical problems a few years ago, after that happened, I loved sitting down. And when I go to somebody's house, I sit. I go find a chair. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you, so you have any spares left, John? Well, John, at least you only got one foot that gets sore on you. You can't have both feet hurt. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting, I looked through some more steps. I still got quite a ways to go. I probably have another hour or so here, and I, I don't want to do it right now. There's so. about 80 steps left. I mean, you still got to build the the uh, filament sensor, the extruder, the yeah, the display screen, everything. Yeah. So yeah. I'll just have to continue where I left off, but uh, thank you, everybody here. And if everybody, anybody wants to plug your channel, your group, anything, you're more than welcome to do so. So trying to find my mouse here. It's lost. Where's my mouse? But anyway, yeah. yeah, everybody that came out and hung out today, thank you very much. It wasn't a 10 or 15 minute build. I've been working on it for over eight hours. Only had a couple of missteps, but 
yeah, it takes a long time to build a Prusa Mini kit, the new version they're coming out with. If you want to save $50, yeah, you can save $50, but expect for it to be a very long build. And if you're not on live, you're just tinkering on your at your house, you know, you can work on it over a couple of days, whatever. It's, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, I'll come back in the next couple of days. We'll get this finished, and I'll print something, and then we'll go from there. But please like, subscribe, share this. I'd appreciate it. And everybody here, thank you very much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it's a fun it. Afternoon. A fun afternoon. Jerry, so. Jerry, do a poll on what your first print should be. I'm going to go with whatever's on that C card. See what Prusa has supplying. No, let us let us pick. I want to pick. I want okay. to pick. <laughs> Everybody in the chat, what should I print for my first print on the Prusa? That won't take too awfully long to print. If just type it in chat, and I'll write it down, and we'll go from there. I can always have something sliced or something. Do a poll in your um, in your Facebook group. So, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I used to do that. Yeah. So, or see what's on the SD card, but... But thank you very much, everybody. Have a great night. Happy printing to everybody. And uh, take care. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Jerry. Stay yeah, safe. Bye. Thank you. Cheers, Gary. Be safe, all.